patiently waiting for. Uh. Today's Opie and Anthony show starts now. This is the Opie and Anthony Channel, XM 105, Sirius 206. And now, a show the likes of which America's never seen. So appalling, so offensive. Yes, so entertaining. It's not your normal show. Beam from satellites in space down to you every single day. It's the Opie and Anthony show with Opie. We're experts and we already know this is going to be great radio, so shut the fuck up. And Anthony. I live in a big house, I make a lot of money, and I fuck attractive girls. And little Jimmy. I don't even like in our opening, it sounds like a little... Fuck. Be dang over here, don't listen to dang over here. Stop with that shit. And now, here they are. <laughs> Why, why, why am I introducing these buffoons? I'm William Shatner, goddammit. But enough of this palaver. Let's get the show on the road. Morning. Hi there, peoples. Uh, peoples out there. Lol. Radio lol, land. Lol, lol, lol. Monday morning. Monday morning. Monday. Good morning. Good morning. We yeah. were just uh, discussing football. Oh, yeah. All our teams play. What's your team again? I don't have one. <laughs> I, I, I know what happened in football from my drive-in. That's about it. Yeah, you, you get caught up. There were some good games, though. Jimmy's Cowboys fucked it up. 
I heard that uh, yeah, the the, uh, the timeout. I didn't. I didn't watch the game. Good. He. he yeah. I, I only saw the highlights, so I don't know why they were going for the timeout. I get I, I, and ask because we were watching the highlights before yeah, the show. Yeah, that would seem really, really stupid. I assume the coach there uh, saw something on the field he didn't like, so he wanted to call a timeout to maybe do a little adjustment. But uh, he didn't. You know, he called the timeout in time, but the play already s- started. Right. Yeah. Well, you, you know what I mean. Yeah. And uh, what's his name? Kicked the fucking field goal to win the game. But no, because of the timeout, they had to do it again. And then Oops. he fucking missed the fucking Then he field missed. Goal. He froze his own kicker, basically, is what a lot of people are saying today. That's a pretty dumb thing to do. Yeah. Well, why'd they give the timeout if it was if the play had already started? Well, no, I mean, it's it's a timing thing. Oh, like, okay. uh, officially, he got the timeout in time. But the guys on the field didn't know. Snapped the ball. Yeah, it was yeah. like that split-second thing. Yeah. Oh, how awful. Yeah, that's not good. That was not good for your uh, yeah, Cowboys. Well, at least there. the Giants lost. At least the Redskins lost, and the Eagles are not doing well. So the Cowboys are still in first, right? Are my Cowboys still in first? Uh, how my, Jet, my Jets Oh, uh, shit. You're not a Jets fan. I am. My Jets beat the Redskins. <laughs> The, uh, yeah, the Giants game, and that's a heartbreaker for Giants fans. I'm, I am no Giants fan. Yeah, they lost that one at the end of the uh, game, I guess. Yeah, that was a, that was a field goal, too. And uh, goal pack goal, still undefeated. Undefeated Green Bay, huh? I couldn't watch my Jets because I was in Philly this weekend. Yeah. And they fucking they blacked, they blacked out the game. I'm like, come on, man. I'm close enough. Uh, <laughs> Philly isn't Philly in between Washington and New York. Do I have to look on a map? So why wouldn't Philly have the game? The Eagles weren't playing. They weren't playing. They went with the Steelers, I guess. So I, uh. I, I get it, I guess. But I mean, come on. Why did they black it out? Why not show both? The Jets are like just north, and Washington is is south. Give me the fucking Jets uh, Redskins game. Where were you that didn't have? Uh... I was down in Philly this week. You were closer to New York. Than you were to Pittsburgh, and you were closer to DC than you were to Pittsburgh. I know that's what I'm trying to get that's at terrible. here. So I had to watch. Uh, you know, no red zone. Uh, well, uh, they had the red zone downstairs, and I was upstairs <laughs> with the kid. <laughs> oh Jesus! <laughs> so you could have seen. And I got all excited. I popped on the red zone on the upstairs TV, and uh, they don't have it upstairs. And I was too lazy to go downstairs. Oh, okay. So, now it's oh, now okay. it's making more sense. I was lazy. Okay. <laughs> I just wanted to kind of chill upstairs with, with my kid. And um, so I had to watch God's chosen son, Tim Tebow. Well, he's uh, thanking Jesus. You know, at this point, I this came uh, I, yesterday. I want to like the guy, but you saw it, too. They're oh, like, yeah. hey, Tim, uh, what do you think of the big win today? And he's like, first, well, hey, first, 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 let's all slow down first. First of all, <laughs> let me thank my Lord and Savior, Jesus uh, Christ. Right, shut up. It's like every shit. like the first thing. Because a like lot Jesus of, is going to be mad if he just goes, you know, hey, let me thank, you know, my coach. A lot of people um, are trying to figure out why he's hated. That is why he's hated. Yeah. It's not that he likes the God thing. It's how he comes across and everything has to be God first. First, first, yeah. let's do this. And then I'll talk about the game. But well, he'll have a seat at the right hand of God while we're all burning in hell. Well, So there, he wins again. Enjoy. He's 6-1 and one as a starter, though. Although Jesus. he was supposed to beat the Vikings. The Vikings Where was Jesus? are not a good team this year. Where what? was Jesus that one game? That, that one he, game, uh, then, uh, he didn't win. I think that was the first game he came in, right? I think. Oh, and the, Jesus didn't know he was playing? Right. No, Jesus, Jesus was busy with a schedule. tsunami or something and yeah. said, wait, what? It's like, wait, Tim Tebow's playing? Fuck. Yeah. I'm sorry. I believe that's what happened. I did think... he thank Jesus that game? Because he probably oh, shouldn't sure have thanked him. I'm sure he did. I'm sure for he... what? The loss? I'm sure he thanked him for putting him in. I don't know. Yes. But he's starting to turn uh, into a pretty decent looking quarterback. He actually threw this time, too, Ann. Yeah. He had over 200 yards passing. That's that's oh. impressive in the NFL. Wow. Well. Can we hear him talk? Is it possible to hear him yes. talk? I enjoy hearing him talk. The Lord loves me. Oh, the Bible uh, damned me. I'll, I'll tell you. <laughs> Not everything's for the air, but what he talked today, Ed had a few choice words. <laughs> well, I was saying he sounds a bit effeminate. Well, yeah, he does. I think. You know how much pussy this guy would be getting if he wasn't into that Jesus? Jesus. He could get that Jesus. Uh, is he? When he finally like kisses something, is it going to be like the Virgin Diaries? Oh, God. <laughs> I hope for his sake he's uh, at least kissed girls on the mouth. On the mouth. Not like that fucking... Not like that guy that really should figure out that he's gay. 
Yeah. Guy from uh, Virgin Diaries last night. Yeah. Do we have a longer clips of that kiss? Yeah, they show like them kissing during the like reception now and everything, and it's just he does just just sting with his mouth. It's almost like Edgar. Mm-hmm. But but it's a little point. It's a little pointier, like a turtle mouth. Oh, and God. then he just bleh, bleh, starts sucking and biting on her, her face. Oh God! It's terrible. And then the other virgin guy that was on it. I mean, I I assume uh, he's gay. And then the three virgin chicks that were roommates. I assume they're all lesbian. <laughs> they just, especially the guys mm. on that show. They just. Seem like gay guys that don't know they're gay yet. And the guy who got married made the mistake. You could hear it when he was talking. He was like, after we kissed, she just she wanted to kiss more and more. And I'm like, slow down. Yeah, Where, yeah. This is weird. What? She was, What's weird what about said. that? When they when that fucking guy says, you know, I now pronounce you man and wife. You may kiss the bride. He goes, oh, you really? Right. And and then she's she's miked. And all you're hearing is, <laughs> <laughs> I swear you hear her panting. We need clips of the show. Then Where's she, the clips of the show? She, uh, they lift up her veil. Yeah. She starts fucking making out. And her hands, you can see on the bottom part of the screen, her hands are flapping. Oh, my God. She's flapping her arms like she's coming as they're kissing. We could all relate to that, but it happened when we were what? Well, yeah, maybe I, I was, 12, 13. I wish. I was a late bloomer, unfortunately. But. Bloomer. 14 or 15 for me, to be honest with you. It was, <laughs> that's fine. At least you tell you're not fucking 30. And, and you know what? You just let it flow, man. You don't, you don't tell anyone to slow down. You're making out. You're making no. cumsies. You're making <laughs> cumsies. <laughs> the best was the end of the show. Yeah. When they finally talked to them after their wedding night. Right. They talked to them after the sex. Oh, boy. And his description oh boy. of what happened and, and hers, too. They're both like kind of sitting with kind of little disappointed looks on their face. And they're sure. like... Uh, well, it's not like in the movies. <laughs> uh, you know, their thing, everyone knows what to do, and it's uh, just not... You think it lasted you know, seconds? And she's like, it hurt. It really hurt. That means oh, he's packing. He had a and, big dick. Well, he's he got just, a big dick. Or he was just a lousy fuck. Uh, just like fucking... I think that's more big dick than, yeah. Yeah, than lousy big fuck. Cock. He's got a he's got a hog. You think cock. he didn't look like the type that would have a big dick? That's the beauty of it. What a, what a discovery! It was probably very turgid <laughs> for having not been, you know, used. So he probably was like a fucking piece of granite. I think it was just pulsating, just smacking her. Yeah, he felt uh, her, her, wow. She felt his pulse want, inside her vagina the whole time. I want clips from this show, Sam. Yeah, we need the uh, the what end. What happened? I think the end clip where yeah. they, they talk about uh, the sex. That's great. And then the other guy, the dumb, fat idiot. The that, nerd? That says he's a virgin. <laughs> the nerdy and guy, right? Not, and he's like, not by choice. Huh? Not by choice. Uh, a mother's coming by tonight, and we're going to nah. discuss my date. Uh, and I'm going to cook her lasagna, and I love making fudge. Oh. And they, Yeah. Oh. And it's like he oh. set up dinner with his mother. It looked like a fucking date. Oh. He had two gla- bottles, uh, glasses of wine on the table. Oh. And it's like this guy <laughs> is just, he's gay. Oh. He doesn't want to admit it to himself for some reason, but... You think the you know, fudge thing is a, a tell? He's making fudge in his little bachelor kitchen. Oh. He's got cats. Oh. He just... its it, Everything pointed to... Uh, get, my gaydar detector was, was beeping like crazy. Cats are rough, right? Cats. Single guy with cats? Yeah. You go dog over cat. That's rough. Sorry. Mm-hmm. Sorry. But... Uh, and, th- and then he goes uh, to a bar. First he goes on a date and tells this fatty that he's a virgin... On the date, and she doesn't even want to fuck him. Yeah. And uh, then he goes out with his friends, and it's just some gin mill shithole bar, mm-hmm. and some dikey, spiky hair hag, <laughs> uh, who's older than he is, comes comes up and starts like grinding her ass on his crotch and <laughs> licking his shaved head, and and like really, she's drunk, and all of his friends are like, yeah, she wants to do this, you, you know, go ahead, go. And then they come back at the end of the show and talk to him. He goes, yeah. I, I could have. I know I did. But, you know, sometimes you're just not attracted to somebody. It's like at that <laughs> point, just shoot your load in a vagina mm. and get over the fact that you're a virgin. And that's now uh, totally uh, engulfing your entire life. Right. Like the whole virgin thing. And those three bitches. Actually, two girls were virgins. One was a reclaimed virgin. Stop that shit. What is that? Oh, does that mean she was molested? It's like trying to reclaim Kennedy's brains after the <laughs> fucking shot. It ain't going to happen. Well, what's a reclaimed virgin? She had sex with like six guys. And then she decided she wanted to be a virgin again. So, uh, I don't know. 
What did she go? Mecca like a high mecca hymen ho? Well, she go to the doctor and get a couple stitches? Yeah, a couple of stitches. <laughs> Let's tighten that up again. And then she's fucking. I'm reclaiming uh, my virginity. She's, you know, sitting with these other two who are, who are legit virgins. You got Coke Logic on your bad side, by the way, because he has cats. He wants ah, to know, well, what the hell is gay about cats? And he is not fruit. happy with you, sir. All right, Coke Logic, you fruit. Exactly. Well, if you're allowed to have dogs and you go cats, eh. But if you're if you're an animal lover and you decide cat over dog, look, no, cat, he's a shut in. He's a shut in, yeah, so he yeah. likes the cat. So he doesn't have to leave the house. Cat with a, a single guy doesn't mean gay, but it's part of a puzzle that if if you uh, have your mom over to discuss that you're a virgin and discuss your fucking date that right. you're going out on, right. your first date in eight months, right, uh, and then you you cook uh, for your mommy and put out little glasses of wine for her, and you make fudge, right. Uh, and you're a virgin at 30 but, years old, and then you have cats. But it's a good point. I mean, you could be a shut-in. Yeah. Someone like Kirk Logic isn't going to leave his house to walk a dog. Right. But at least a cat could shit wherever the fuck he wants. Yes. You're safe, uh, Kirk Logic. Cha. We give you a pass. But it was uh, like that guy just didn't understand. And he didn't want to have sex with a crazy girl at the bar. Right. At the end, he said, no, I'm not attracted. It's like, you no, just do it. Mm -hmm. It's like, oh, people have said I should get a prostitute. I, I don't want my first time to be like that. It's like, stop with putting this big thing on the first fucking time, especially at 30. Maybe if you're 15 years old, you're really concentrating on how special that first time's going to be if you're a chick. I think, uh, what do you think? Most, the average guy around 13, 14 until you lose your virginity is a big yeah. deal. And then you, you you get it out of the way. I made it nice for girls. A little candlelight by my fucking uh, sure pull-out bed. I'm sure you and, did. And uh, a little Marshall Tucker playing. <laughs> <laughs> Can't you see? Come on, Can't you see? <laughs> That's it. You made it all nice. <laughs> yeah. For the lady. And then I suggested to one nice. of the girls that, uh, you know, because I, I went down on her. And then I suggested to her that maybe she go down on me. And she was she's like, I just don't know how. I've never done it. I'm like that matters. She goes, my friend told me to practice on a banana. Oh, that old gag. <laughs> like, all right, whatever you want to do. Fast times, I it think was. I got one inside. <laughs> fast times, it was a carrot, right? Yeah. You got to go carrot. Yeah. Go carrot. How much comes out when a guy comes? About a quarter or so. <laughs> a quart. <laughs> did she suck it? <laughs> no, she was horrified. Uh, not that night. Oh, okay. But she did. Later on. Did she get the candy? She was a fine trooper. Nah, you know what? Never got the candy. She didn't get the candy? Back in those days, girls weren't so sexually promiscuous with their mouths and assholes. <laughs> it was very tough to uh, get a girl to uh, fucking uh, suck until you came in her mouth. Oh, it really was. They'd fucking wah, wah, wah. But then you got to, you know, just have some regular sex to, to blow yeah. you alone. Where were yeah. we? Tim Tebow? Oh, shit. And I want this Virgin Diary audio, man. I want to hear some of this shit. Yeah, you got to get that. I didn't realize it was on last night. I was too busy watching football. Anthony's really good at painting pictures. Like I'm so Aww. bad at that. That's what are, you're great at that, man. Thank you, Jimmy. That's fucking difficult. It's all I would have talked mind. for thirty seconds about that. <laughs> I really would have. I'm doing this for a long time. I would have said, "Dude, the fucking chicks are virgins." Get, get, get a paintbrush. <laughs> yeah. Start painting. I'm very bad at that. Dude. <laughs> Here's uh, Tim Tebow after the game. I, I kind of uh. want to like this guy, but Jesus, I'll enough the with the Lord and, and Savior. See how bad you want it, and so. You know, I think I'm just proud of our guys because, you know, the way we came out there in the second half, you could see that oh. there was a different team that got on the field. Tim, was the plan to go with that blank in second year a little bit more today? They're to please a little bit. Uh, air team looking at the top? I, I think, you know, the main thing was we just wanted to be balanced and uh, oh. try to keep them off, off balance as much as we could. And I think Coach McCoy did a great job of, of keeping them off balance, and we hit some big plays there in the second That ass half. is and, really you know, telling. stepped up and made um, so many huge plays. And, you know, that only comes because. Sounds like you know, steam escaping. More, so <laughs> like guy, you know, but that's what it's all about. You know, on our team is is helping the guy next to you, and in you know one game or another, you're going to get your opportunity. And today was you know DT's opportunity, and he stepped up. And I'm so yeah. proud of him. You know, because he's such a great guy, and he works so oh, hard. Boy. And, you know. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> he seems like a nice guy. Yeah. But I bet you everybody on the team doesn't say it. Do you right. think Tim sounds? Yeah, he played a good game. Yeah, good game, good game. Sounds like a great quarterback. He sure, yeah, he does. sure does. Sounds like you know what you're doing. You bet he does. <laughs> Nobody wants to acknowledge it. No, no. They talk to him. It sounds like this. The S's. Are and the guys old. always let me have the shower to myself, which is just so nice. I mm. walk in and they clear out like roaches. <laughs> <laughs> the lights go on. Uh, oh man, he's getting a little more respect around the league now. Yeah. A little bit. A little bit more. Six and one as a starter. Fucking the Broncos were dead in the water. Now they're in first place. With Jesus' help. Because the Jesus Raiders got their ass kicked. 
Jesus. Raiders lost to Miami, right? Did they? 34 to 14. Fuck. The Raiders. I can't wait till he loses in the playoffs. Who? Tim They Tino. weren't even supposed to make the playoffs. No, but then we'll see what he says about God. Oh, yeah. If they even make the playoffs, and it's looking uh, pretty good right now, that's that's an, a major accomplishment for the Broncos. They were 1-4 and four to start the year. I just want to see if he thanks God. Now they're 7-5. Oh, Humiliating loss. Humiliating? Uh, if he loses the playoffs, they got a bad one. Yeah. I don't know. They're, they're becoming fun to watch, the Broncos. Fuck. I watched them instead of the Jets. Yeah. Why isn't Patty on this show? I agree. Oh, the Virgin show? Oh, the Virgin show. Yeah, yeah, Oh, yeah. fuck, yeah. yeah. Frank, you're right. I don't know. Are they doing more than one? <clears throat> oh, yeah. It's going to be like a... But you do know. you have to lose your virginity by the end of the show? No. That's Holy just shit. Holy shit. Patty like, should be on that thing. The fat guy and the three bitches. The three girls went out with, uh, with uh, on a blind date with three guys. Yeah. And it, they were all like... They showed him getting ready and talking about, oh, my special man's going to be this and that. And, and then they went out on this date... With three guys, and they're sitting across from each other in the booth talking. And then the one girl goes, you know, I'm, I'm a virgin. And then the one, so am I, and so am I. Well, I'm a reclaimed virgin. All right, shut right, up. Right, enough of that. And then the, uh, they go, well, what do you think about that? One of the guys starts talking. He's like, I think it's great that, you know, you want that special somebody. Because, by the way, I'm a virgin, too. And the guys go, I am, too. I am, too. Uh, and then I'm just looking at them like, gay. And how old are they? <laughs> they were like in their 30s, like yeah, late right. 20s, 30s. That's a problem, man. Yeah. All you want to do is spill your semen yeah. by the time you, you hit puberty, right? Yeah. Then they talk about, oh, they talked about going, they went to a secluded uh, little cabin mm -hmm. where they were joking about how perhaps some of the couches, they could all sleep, you know, on couches in the in the cabin and have a good time. And uh, they didn't get home until three in the morning. <laughs> and then they're like, and the big question is, are we still virgins? And then they look around and go, yes, <laughs> yeah. And then all I could think of is, yes, technically. What about your mouth and your ass? What Make about that? You'd be a, you'd be a wonderful host for that show, <laughs> especially if you had you from a ball, right in their face with a bullhorn. Yeah. <laughs> what about your mouth and your assholes? Are those still virginal? And Patty would be a star in this show. Oh yeah, people would be oh, out of their yeah, minds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's too old now, though. Send right? her out on a date. No, they're just looking for virgins. They don't give a Dude, shit. Dude, they would the sign her up better. in a minute. A fucking how old is she virgin? now? Fifty fifty five. Something that's, like that. That's just sad now. But she is crazy. She's very TV like. Oh, they'd love her. They would love her. Maybe I'm somebody just waiting write for in. Special guard, yeah. dumb face. Well, I'm very afraid of diseases. <laughs> People be like, "Oh my god, dude, you got to fucking see this." I, I DVR'd it. Yeah, she would be Chicks perfect. Insane. <laughs> how, how do we get her on the show? It, they, at the end of the show, they said, "If you know a virgin." I'm not yeah. So let's get all our listeners to yes. you know push uh, yes. Patty's name forward. Yeah, check She'd it be out. Perfect. Go to, uh, what is it, on uh, TLC? On TLC. Yeah, go to TLC's website. I'm sure if you go to the show there, they'll have a little place where you can uh We have a clip them. we can play? Uh, we'll I probably mean, get one. What do you got? What do you got? That's a 30-year-old version. Yeah, this is a, he was on CNN. Right now, oh. the only things online are those preview clips that we already saw. Oh. Oh, oh. man, I want to see. Yeah, the this. end, when the, when, they, when the couple talks about having sex <laughs> with each, each other, it's so telling that that marriage is doomed. <laughs> She's a, a horny difficult. fucking disaster. And he's just, I don't think he really likes sex. Mm -mm. And I don't think uh, it's that, that big a deal to him or he would have lost his virginity a long time ago. But this chick, I swear she was panting. <laughs> it's great. Plus, when she was kissing, it was like she was sucking his mouth, like she was attacking yeah. him. Oh, yeah, she wanted to... Like, yeah, her kiss was bad, too. Oh, yeah, in the terrible. Clip. They were both terrible. Hers could have been worse. The, dick the whole time. Yeah, she stuck her tongue out at one point and licked his face, <laughs> and she and he kissed her her tongue as it was sticking out of her face. The, you it know, was she, just odd. You know she had stale breath when she was licking his uh, face. Oh, it didn't matter uh. at that point. Were you watching it as the show went on with those two? That they kept going in to kiss each other, but they'd end up... Pretending they met on the cheek because they were just not in sync at all. Yeah, they didn't know how to, like, they were allowed to kiss now in their minds because they had been married. But they had been kissing on the cheek for so long that they, they would go in. It was an odd thing. To, they would go in like they were going to kiss on the mouth. Yeah. And then he'd go around the side <laughs> and kiss a pecker on the cheek. And that's how they kissed for years well, that they were uh, engaged. Why, 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 why don't we have clips of this show? It's not online. It's not online yet. Yeah. Maybe your breath stunk. You want to kiss her. Huh? Maybe your breath stunk. 
Mm. She probably had like fucking nervous breath, like sour nervous breath. Yeah. With little white, you know that white milky stuff yeah, that collects in the corner? Heads. Shmegma. <laughs> Dried shmegma. Yeah, in the corner of your lips. People are saying Bobo, too. For the show. Oh, God. For the show. I'm a virgin. Look, 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 by the way. Oh, my. He would be impossible. To he would have a rod the whole time. <laughs> yeah, he's coming in his pants. We're going to blow it with TLC. <laughs> Let's focus on Patty. Yeah, because Bobo seemed like an idiot. Yeah, we're going to blow it with the Bobo thing. Let's get Patty on the show, and then we can move on to Bobo. All right? Let's it, do this. Is there a tranny in the pal talk room jerking off? Well, well, I'll let you know. I'm saying. Let's see. <laughs> what is this? Miss Bowels? Miss Bowels. Look at this. That's a horrible name. There's a... You know, uh, what the hell's going on with this room? Speaking of this? speaking of trannies, we can move on to our next subject. Oh, good. Neil Patrick Harris had to fucking apologize for saying tranny. What? On live with whatever the fuck the name but of the show is. But he's gay. Now. <laughs> is that like saying fag to them? Like the transsexuals? Do they do they see it like that? Tranny them? is I, not good I, anymore. I, I, they they don't like it. Neil Patrick Harris, who is openly gay, was filling in for Regis. They're doing like uh, you know a bunch of bunch of people until they figure out who's going to take over for Regis. He, uh, I don't know. He, he turned that Regis joke. stool upside down and invite three friends. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that old gag. Funny every time. <laughs> I know. <laughs> he was making a joke and then he, uh, what, 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 you got that, uh, Sam? Uh, yeah. And he had to he apologize for saying tranny now. He quoted, put the lotion in the basket on right. the show in right. his Buffalo Bill voice. Right. And then uh, he said, I've never sounded more like a tranny in my life. So what's... I guess what, they were doing like a Darth Vader thing. What was he but, supposed to say? But isn't that how a tranny would sound? So what's the problem? Well, but he's yeah. using he can't acknowledge anything in this world anymore? He was using them as the reference in a punchline. No matter, how you, no matter how you said that, that might not be acceptable. Uh, I've never sounded more like a transgendered person. Yeah, exactly. Transgendered. Exactly. Well, that would be a problem, too, because, again, he's using us as a reference in the punchline. Oh, it's like, hey, they don't all sound oh. like that. Yes, yes they do. They were inhaling anti-helium gas, which makes your voice deeper. What's anti-helium gas? It's like, you Why know haven't we done that yet? Helium makes your voice high. Nitrogen? Yeah, I, Whatever I get it. Was. Um, but there's something that makes it deep? But it uh -huh. have to be a heavier gas than uh, than the air we breathe. Right. Like, like helium's lighter, so it... It makes you sound uh, uh, high pitched, mm -hmm. like a heavier gas. Like what? Like what? Like fucking. It's crazy that you just know that. I don't even. I, know I, that I heavier. I don't know how to. Who weigh the gases. fuck knows why helium? <laughs> why does helium do that? Because eh, you eat it and it makes your noise, oh, your voice you noisy. It. Yeah, just kind of. <laughs> you know that? I don't know. I just pick things up. <laughs> I don't know how that happens? Mm. But yeah, so Rippa did the Darth Vader impression while they had, and then Neil Patrick Harris did the Buffalo Bill impression. Oh, okay. And then so I've never, never sounded more like a tranny in my life. And isn't Buffalo <sighs> Bill kind of a tranny type of individual? Yes, absolutely. absolutely. Yeah. Kind of movie in the movie, right? It's hot. So what's the problem? Who the fuck had a problem with this? The Gay and Lesbian Alliance Against Defamation, of course, Opie. You wow. know them as GLAD. And yeah. GLAD did call it a slur. Get tranny. the fuck slur. out of here, GLAD. You can't make up slurs. You can't start making up your own slurs and calling things slurs. Well, until people stop apologizing. Like, he should have said, and then And, and you're talking about a guy it. that's sensitive to that whole thing, and he felt like it was okay to do. You got to relax, Glad. Yep. You got to fucking relax. He wrote, truly sorry for saying the word tranny on live this week. Twice. Should have been more thoughtful. Didn't no, mean to no, offend. No, he does No, no. he was being thoughtful. He, he, he thought that's perfectly fine. His apology is the fact that he puts a penis in his ass. Yeah. That's that's good enough right there. It's unbelievable. That should give him immunity. That's like an immunity idol in your ass. <laughs> <laughs> now you can't say tranny. How do, how do people even do TV at this I, point? Dude, I yeah, have no it's idea. Impossible. You can't make a joke and, and reference a tranny? It's impossible. We're supposed to understand trannies now? Yeah. How are we supposed to understand trannies? Explain that to well, me. First just of all, it's a little weird to me talk. still. Not saying tranny, sir. <laughs> Fuck that. <laughs> It's really oh, strange. I would never apologize for a tranny slur. I would expect them all to come out and defend me as well. No one <laughs> yes. has helped our community financially <laughs> more than this <laughs> young. <laughs> Holy fuck. You dress like a woman, you got a deep voice, and we're not uh, supposed to acknowledge that might still be weird for a lot of people. You, got yeah, you just can't them. call them tranny. Yeah. That's a slur. Why is it? I don't know why. Either. Why is that? Yeah, why is it? Glad Staven just said it's heartening to see a celebrity of Harris's stature recognize and apologize for using the slur in such a oh, timely please. manner. Please. Oh, it's heartening as opposed to disheartening when they sure. got it. I never heard heartening used. Heartening. 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 Oh, it's yes. disheartening and heartening. Oh, I've never heard that. Please. <laughs> Give me a break. 
Uh, Neil Patrick Harris should not have had to apologize. Yeah. Tranny is a word. Sure Fuck is. It. Deal with it. It is. It's just a word. It's a T word. Well, it's a transgendered mission is what you have in your car. And that's why. <laughs> <get it. laughs> yes. Oh, brother. Are we going to be left with any words we're allowed to utter? Not. Especially when it comes to comedy? Not when it describes somebody in any way, shape, or form that uh, is not some technical term that those people made up themselves, no matter what group it is. Mm -hmm. That seems to be the criteria here. Mm -hmm. What about just oh my. regular heterosexual white male? You know, uh, uh, what, why don't we come up with some slurs? What? 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 Employed American? I hate that. <laughs> when entertain or maybe it must have been from Glad Statement because it was a quote. Uh, Tranny, the A is asterisked out. Oh what? man! Look, Let me see. See Look they saying? didn't even print it on the site. The way you asterisk, asterisk, F, like yeah. blank, blank, K. Just given the word power, you idiots. It's amazing how f what what fucking you're just giving oh, the word power. You're putting the, you're, you're putting the word in a spotlight, you dopes. Tranny is one of the most hurtful and dehumanizing slurs that transgender people must hear. Most transgender people associate that word with personal experiences of violence, hatred. And derision. I don't believe that. No, I, I don't, don't believe either. that tranny is. Uh, I believe you'd. The, if someone's going to punch a, some, a transsexual in the face, they're going to call him a faggot right. or a bitch. They're not going to call him a tranny. Let's beat up that tranny. And, it doesn't even. I, I right. don't believe it that. Doesn't sound and, right. And we've all avoided that our entire lives because you don't want to be beat up by someone that's wearing high heels and has Fuck, a dick. They're cr <laughs> never. <laughs> would I fucking fight a transsexual? No way. I'm dating a tranny. That would be embarrassing. Lose lose situation. That's right. the Kobayashi Maru of I'm fights. Get, I'm getting beat up and I have an erection. <laughs> <laughs> no, they oh. slash you with box cutters, man. No you can't shit. fuck with them. And then if you do beat up a tranny, you just. Trannies, it's like, oh, what'd you do? You beat up a fucking. I tranny. would assume trannies in general don't need Glad's help. They take care of their own. Yeah. Uh, do we have the actual clip of Neil Patrick Harris? Uh, yeah. I'll fast oh, forward to the end. Of let's it. let's hear how I'm outrageous this here. was. He's got a little like five thousand volts of static electricity. Good times. Huh? This would be. A I gotta find the balloon. Oh, it's Mister Science coming in. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Here he goes. Let me go back to some what kind of gas it is. <laughs> That's what you want to know. Yeah. Yeah, well, we want to learn today. So. Times lighter than air. Is and he on helium, this guy? It, go back. Uh, differently and so little more. The... So who's on helium right there? Someone's That's already science on... Bob. And he's already on helium? He's not. That's his That's voice. his regular okay, voice. Okay, here oh. we go. Helium tank? Uh, not quite. In fact, this is... Uh, well, you know how helium will make your voice go higher? I'm sure we've all done Yeah, my kids yeah. are always sucking on a yeah. balloon yeah. and then they talk to me. Well, this is kind of helium's evil twin. Oh. So uh, helium is uh, six times lighter than air, yeah. and so sound passes through it uh, differently, and so it Are makes the high parts of your voice kind of condensed. <laughs> yeah. ah. We're okay this, with that, right? Uh, it's six times heavier than air, mm. uh -oh. and thus it has Let's the opposite effect. Say what it is. Okay. I'm going to fill up a couple balloons here with this. Probably because it's going to make us gain weight. <laughs> Absolutely with not. With this. Really? Yeah, ask. they don't want the kids doing it. Every lady wants to know. Look, like the balloon way, goes I'm down. Bob. It's heavy. So Ooh. What we do is, uh, <laughs> you, know, you can do a little host chat maybe, uh -huh. but uh, a I sulfur can... hexafluoride version of this. Sulfur hexafluoride? Yes. yes. And what is, the, what is the symbol for that on the chart? That was, <laughs> She's in trouble with outrageous. Six, six, sulfur right. hexafluoride? Oh, that sounds dangerous. All right, so here's what we're going to do with this. I yeah. love this. This is, uh, okay. this is good stuff. Is this dangerous? Okay. Okay, here we go. Uh, <laughs> fine, fine. All right, so wait, breathe out. There we go. And you're going to get the whole thing. Whip breathe it. it in. There you go, whole thing, whole thing. All right, there they go. And a little host chat. <laughs> wow, that's weird. Wow. Luke, Luke, I am your father. <laughs> the you, wanna, you don't want to mess with me. You are... Absolutely punished. Right you, in the room. You're the sick. Put the lotion in the basket. <laughs> Put the lotion in the basket. That's kind of funny. <laughs> it's, uh, okay, uh, we're uh, we need more. We need more. <laughs> Uh, by the way, when you're breathing that, you're not I getting air. <laughs> I sound like Chris I've never Jones. sounded more like a tranny in my okay, life. Okay. Okay. That was this? All right, we're fine. Yeah. That sucks. <laughs> Look, I've never sounded more like I a tranny. I don't go for that. Yeah. No, that's horseplay. That's kind of rude. I don't like that type of horseplay. The T-word is right. They, they should block out that. It's very offensive. Those people got to <laughs> fucking relax, man.
And, uh, and uh, you know, good point from Jim and New Paul. So it's funny that Glad accepted his apology and didn't make him do a tour. That's a great point. I guess because it was timely or they were heartened. They were heartened they were by heartened. it. Heartened. And the fact that, like, they, they're not going to take one of their own and really make him, uh, you know, jump through the hoops, as they say. The old hair hoop. <laughs> See, that's an asshole. <laughs> oh, I never, I never heard that. A hair term. hoop. Hair hoop. A hair hoop. <laughs> Jesus. Jump through the hair hoop. <laughs> the old stinky scrunchie. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? <laughs> uh, let's go to Anthony in Jersey. He's going to explain the gas thing for you. Ah, hit it. Thank you, hey, Mr. Morning, Science. Boys. Morning. Let's go. Hi, Anthony. Welcome. Hey. All right, so what you basically have is you've got sulfur fluoride and you've got bonds as opposed to helium where they're a lot more spaced apart. So when you inhale helium, all the bonds are really tight. They're really packed. There's a lot more bonds inside there. So when, you, when you're talking, you're vibrating, the air, uh, you're vibrating the air molecules. So for you to actually speak when you have helium, they're vibrating a lot faster because you're vibrating the air. They're bouncing back and forth. Ah, on the molecular level. Yep. So then when you breathe in sulfur oxide fluoride, the bonds are so far spaced apart, it takes your voice longer to bounce back and forth between those molecules. And make them works. vibrate. Oh, now that makes perfect sense. Thank you, sir. Oh, shit. That's it. All right, you geek. You guys know what he's talking about. He's guessing. <laughs> uh, all right. That's pretty good. So. Yeah, they, they, that, that's, that's ludicrous. Stop it. By the way, we did a little sports. Tiger Woods uh, won for the first time in two years. Oh, what, yeah, yeah. Wasn't a sanctioned uh, tournament by the PGA. What was it, just fucking he, playing uh, alone hey, in his backyard? He beat some good players, but, you know, not the whole gang was playing. But uh, regardless, Pretty, if, if uh, did he do well? Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, no, no. He, he had a good tournament. So. Maybe he just needs that, like a win in his belt now? Yeah. Under his belt? Under his belt. <laughs> yeah, the season's pretty much over, so, you know. As opposed to a Perkins waitress under his belt? Exactly. <laughs> He's got a few million more now. That dumb you could tell it to hand it back over. Oh, yeah. That's huh? great. Did that officially happen? I think so. I hope so. Yeah, so he won. That was big news in the sports world. And, and more big news. I used to be a Mets fan. Um, Jose Reyes is gone. Why? The Traded. Mets... The Mets money. sucked so bad last year, and now they don't even have Jose anymore as they go into the next year. He uh, signed with the Marlins. He ain't going to stick around. The Mets are in deep fucking financial trouble. They lost $70 million last year. Six years, a $102 million how, dollar deal. How do you lose $70 million? No one was wow. going to the games because the Mets had a rough year. That's but just it, yeah. That's unbelievable. Brand new field, too. Yeah, who's going to go? Who's going to go see a Mets game next mm. year without Jose Reyes? Ah, just a fun me? day out at the park. <laughs> Isn't he the best player in baseball right now, or one of them? I, I I don't know enough to to answer that question. I just don't fucking care. I heard he's great. He's got to be right up there, sure. The Mets don't have him anymore. He's signed with the Marlins for six years. Well, he'll still go to the games. I'll <laughs> well, go. Of course he will. Good. But wow. <laughs> Uh, isn't isn't that related to the Bernie Madoff thing? Yeah, they lost a lot of money. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Didn't they lose a lot of money through the Bernie Madoff yeah. shit? Yeah, they were invested. And, uh, yep, more people that got fucked over. <laughs> Whoops. So that's, uh, that's a bummer for the remaining Mets fans. <laughs> good luck. Keep up your good nature. <laughs> yeah. Good for you. Then there was, um, there's that Occupy Wall Street uh, woman <laughs> that, uh, She's in one of my videos. She uh, she was protesting down there, making sandwiches for the guys and all the protesters down there and uh, waving signs around. Her earlier sign said something like, you know, uh, she'll vote after the revolution and Reagan sucks and things like that. And Reagan she, is the one with the glasses? Yeah. That's in the paper today? Yeah. yeah I filmed her with a sign that said, Reagan sucks balls. Yeah. And she also had a sign that said, um, I support cops that smoke pot. Oh, I remember that. I've seen that. Yeah, that's in one of my videos. Well, that lady... She realized she was not going... a big star today. Yeah, she realized she wasn't going to get anything with that sign, so she put up another sign that she's a PhD in uh, biomedical uh, science. Right. And uh, somebody was walking around, uh, saw that, looked at her resume, and, and hired her to work. With a Wall Street uh, financial firm. <laughs> so she said, all right, fuck so, this yeah, she, she immediately went, okay, and uh, dumped the Occupy Wall Street to uh, take a job on Wall Street. And, and I would 
gather most of those people would do exactly the same, right? Yeah. If now, you're being offered a nice, cushy job, you're going to take it. Now, she's not making money hand over fist, as they say now, but she's got the potential of making a lot of money um, if she sticks with this and, and does well. Uh, do you think at any point when she starts making money that she's going to want to be taxed up the ass nope. to pay for nope. things that uh, these people were asking for that she was cohorting with? Nope. I don't either. Nope. I don't either. Well, that's in the paper today, huh? Yep. Oh, you know, wow. It's like front and center. Five. You know how annoying that must be for someone who got like laid off, who's been like hitting the pavement? Oh, All she had to do yeah, is stand yeah. out there with a fucking sign that said pot on it. Some oh, guy who wanted to fuck her hired her. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> you know you know damn well she's going to be uh, getting her hiney pinched. Yeah. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> Pinch that ass. Yeah. <laughs> no surprise there. Most people would take that gig. Of course. Mm. That ain't her, is it? Yeah, no. Sam's trying to find her so we could show you the... Uh, it's the freak show video I did for the people that know. Oh, She's the guy with the one. dumb rat, the bear girl. I, I miss bear girl. I never saw her again. Well, hopefully she's missing. Well, <laughs> I don't think I'd go down there anymore. Zuccotti Park's pretty much dead. There's nothing going on. They show up Jackson there. There, there she is. There's the is chick. That her? Yeah. yeah, that was the chick. Watch. Let's Ronald see. Reagan oh, yeah. sucked balls. And then uh, she flipped it over. Oh, wait. See, that's the one. I love cops who smoke pot. That's funny. Some people say, no, no, turn it around the other side. And the other people say, no, no, turn it around. You know, so. It works. Either side works for you, right? Hey, I'm talking here. Oh. Shut up. This is my interview. <laughs> Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> oh, that, that broad. So she's got a nice job. Now. She's working on Wall Street. Yes, with a financial firm. That's you know, right. the enemy. That's that makes right. you happy, right? Ed? It certainly does. It just shows <laughs> another part that just shows the hypocrisy of these douchebags. And um, the UC Davis clip of the cop uh, pepper spraying that line of students that were uh, yep. sitting down. Sure. I watched the entire, I guess there was about 10 minutes of a video. There's a longer that clip on Chronological line? order of everything that happened up till the uh, spraying of the pepper which, spray. Which, which I'm going to stop you for a second. Yeah. Uh, mainstream media, uh, uh -huh. we're talking CNN, uh, MSNBC, Fox, and you go ABC, NBC, CBS, all of them. They all probably could have done what you just did. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, Easily, ahead. easily. Just wanted to make that perfectly clear to the people out there. The video started out with um, some demonstrators uh, standing around, a bunch of cops uh, in a field saying, you have to move. You have to leave. This isn't allowed. It's not a legal gathering or whatever, whatever the case may be. Uh, the people started circling the cops, encircling them. And uh, the cops started arresting people. Okay. They arrested, um, I guess, uh, maybe 15 people or so, put them in a truck. And then the students surrounded the cops, the vehicles, and blocked their way and said, you, we're not letting my check, my check, my check, my check. We are not letting you leave until you free our brothers and sisters uh. that have been arrested. And the cops are like, no, we're, we're leaving. And again, five more times, the cops went up to who they perceived as some type of leadership in this organization and told them, look, you have to move or you will be arrested. We are going to use certain avenues to, to get you to move. They blocked the cops in. They locked arms and put a circle around all the officers so they couldn't physically leave without grabbing these students in some way, shape, or form and physically moving them out of the way. Uh, after numerous warnings uh, and, and threats that they were uh, uh, not going to let these cops leave mm -hmm. the area, uh, they started shaking up the pepper spray cans, telling them what was going to happen. Uh, the protesters knew it was coming. They they said, cover your mouth, cover your eyes, but didn't move. And then they got pepper sprayed. Oh, okay. So they were surrounding the cops at that moment. Yeah, the oh, okay. cops were, so, were surrounded without a way to leave and, and take these um, uh, uh, prisoners but, uh, with but them. But more importantly, and it needs to be noted, uh, the media must have had the long clip but chose that it was a much better fucking picture to just better show, story just 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 show cop, the cops uh, uh, pepper spraying what looks like a peaceful protest. Right. They're is just it, sitting they down. They fucking suck. Well, is it the same angle? Is it the same video? No, it's it's all in chronological order from different video. But you could tell it's, oh, okay. it's actually what happened and there's yeah. some... 
There's some um, you, you think the text media, on there that lets you know what's going on, too. To be fair, you think the media had this whole thing before they just chose to go with the one moment? I don't know. Fox would have showed this. Fox would have taken the side of the yeah, cops, Yeah, that's probably. what I'm wondering. Yeah, they're like, Are they going to show it today? Set them free. Okay. Are they going to show it today now that the full know. story's out there? That's I would a, hope so. That's a question. I doubt it. Like, set them free, they're yelling, and then... Let's, let's, let's march peacefully! Let's march peacefully! As one! Towards oh. what they're being held! Towards what they're being held! Where, dummy? The guy must have a hair lip. So now they're going to get up and march to where the arrested people... And they're yelling, set them free. And then they surround the cops and the vehicle with the prisoners in it. And, and they're like, look, get the fuck up or we're going to spray you. All right, this goes on and on. These stupid little backpacks. Set them free. There's no yeah. passion to these people. What is that, no. Burberry she's wearing there? What is that? <laughs> yeah, it looks like Burberry. What is that? No, no something sport. Whatever the something sport oh, is. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. What? Jan Sports. Jan Sports. Ah, yes, oh, wow. yes. All nice stuff. Jan Sports, all right. Yeah. yeah. Well, Dummies. well. thanks for that, Ant. There you yeah. go. There's, so there, there's the real story. Oh, and they that, were given so many warnings. And you can see they're surrounded. They're, they're, there's an entire perimeter around these cops who are standing in the middle saying, all right, you know, should we just plow through them, grab a few, and toss them to the side? or? Mm -hmm. You know, he's like, you got to get up. You got to move. Yeah. The cops telling him right now. How there, annoyed do like, you think hey. these cops are right now? It's waiting. To oh, I know. Just crack their heads open. Oh, so I didn't realize that they were physically surrounding them. See, that, you're right. That does make a huge difference. Yeah. And they were patient. <laughs> I mean, they sat there. And then even the spraying, it, it in, in the wrong context, it looks like the cop is so just, hey, here's a little pepper spray right, for right, your faces. Right. But he didn't want it to look like. Like, I'm in here, fuck you, you know, taking combat stance and right. spraying it. It's like, look, you've been warned probably seven times. Here it is. Mm -hmm. All right, now what? Mm -hmm. Wow, that's really great. Well, let's see if uh, mainstream the media piece. does a whole piece on this now that the whole story's out there. Children? They're calling themselves children? Yeah, they're like, don't shoot the children. Ugh, fucking hate them. Duh, I know. All right, oh, boy. And there was a problem in Washington, I guess, D.C., had their uh, occupied D.C. thing going on, and the cops uh, were kicking their asses out of there and got into a, a little scuffle, a few arrests. They were trying to tear down some uh, some structure that the protesters made to, uh, so they could have heat, mm -hmm. and uh, cops ripped that down. <laughs> hit the road. Hit the bricks. Is, uh, is any of the occupies uh, holding strong? Eh, I'm sure there's a few here Three, and there, here but and there. nothing like it was. Most of the main cities uh, have gone away. It's uh, Although it's they've moved footnote. indoors. It's a footnote. They've moved indoors. There's offices being used uh, down near Wall Street. They don't, it's so funny because they don't know what to do. They're like, eh, like when Obama was here, he's staying at the Sheridan in the city. <laughs> They were all like, yeah, let's run there. And they all run there to protest. It's like, oh, there's something going on at the U.N. Whoa. They all run down there. They're just running to get, get mommy and daddy to notice them. Shut up. <laughs> the creeps. You don't think they're sincere? No. They're dunces. <laughs> uh, all right. We should take a break. Um, where, oh, there he is. Hi, Kenny. We got Hi, uh, the Herman Cain shit this weekend was terrific. He rules. He fucking rules. That guy is out of his bird. I love it. He's terrific. Plan B, motherfuckers. And we were just talking about the gay, Nigeria. Wait till you hear what they want to do with the gay. I called it something different growing up. <laughs> Wait to hear what they want to do. I'll give somebody $10 million if they send them 1000 Look, we think what you should be able to... Those Nigerians. We think you should be able to say tranny in, in, a, in a comical form, obviously, when you're trying to tell a joke, especially. Yeah. But then you get this. This is just ridiculous. Just taking it to a new level yeah, of, of hatred. Course. <laughs> of course. Of course. We'll explain next. This is the Opie and Anthony Show. It rubs the lotion on its skin. It does this when it's told. It rubs the lotion on its skin or else it gets the hose. And when it's done, there's one more thing, a simple little task. It's put the fucking lotion in the basket. Put the fucking lotion in the basket. All these stupid women are the same. Helps me not to think of them as human. 
So I call them it instead of by their names. Mister, please, no more abuse. Can't you see there's no excuse? My family's probably wondering where I've been. Most of you, so your skin gets loose. Stop crying now, you big fat moose. Just put the fucking lotion on your skin. And then put the fucking lotion in the basket. Your chances for survival are remote. I'm impervious to all your silly whining, so I'm down before I jam a moth right down your fucking throat. Mister, please, my mom's got money. Let me go. This isn't funny. Cops are sure to send somebody. Turn me loose. Don't be a dummy. Listen to you scream and wail. Keep it down, you fucking whale. Mind the broken fingernail. The last girl climbed halfway but failed. Someone at the door. Don't make me go and get my gun and shoot you. It's a waste of skin. They don't sell fat girls in a fucking store. Put my fucking precious in the basket. Don't you hurt my one and only friend. You don't know what pain is, but I'll teach you. If you lay a fucking finger on my poodle's pretty head, put the fucking poodle in the basket. Good morning. Thanks for calling Radio Shack. My name is Danny. How can I help you? I used to have the thing on my TV where you can download shit from, uh, you know, like through, you know, the air, satellite. Like Wi Fi? Wi Fi, whatever. Here's the thing, but I mean, that's not working now because. This is Radio Shack. Do you need, like, an AC adapter? Maybe get somebody to come over and fix it. Well, I mean, we really, this is Radio Shack, you know, so we don't we don't really do that. Oh. We, we sell products. Oh, I see. Uh, well, I mean, this, uh, I'm not supposed to do this, but, like, I mean, did you get into your router settings and take a look in there? Okay, so it's right here. So what are you saying? Like, just uh, look yeah. into your router settings. Okay, so I log in. I, I find this shit right yeah, here. Yeah, exactly, right. So so get in there and then, you know, make sure that your, your Wi-Fi is enabled. But where do you fucking wired into? Well, I mean, it should just be wired right from your cable modem. It should it should just be right in there. Yeah. Why? How do you know that? Because that's just how it works. Are you talking about the, the hot, what, the heavy, thick wire you're talking about? You mean like a, a Cat5? You're talking about a, a... You know, Ethernet cable? Yeah, they call them, I think they call them hot wires. Fire wire? Fire wire. Dude, do you need like a universal AC adapter or a soldering iron? What's that? Dude, I just, let me just get back to work, man. Like, do, can you open a browser and get to the web? So it's wireless. It's a wireless connection. Yeah, yeah, it's wireless. Wireless. It's, a, it's a wireless connection. Are you on the web? Okay, so now... Can you go you to a to website? Your, can you do that? Shit. You hook it up, okay? Are you listening? The, uh, Are you listening to me? Can you open a browser and, you and go to your homepage? Is it, is it that easy? Yes! Well, click. Oh, I got it. Yeah, I, I see it. Jeez. Bingo! We have a winner. Is that it? Is that it for good? Is that? Am I set for life? Yeah, yeah, that's it, dude. Yeah, yeah. That's Thank it. you for helping me. Nice. Yeah, man, no problem, dude. There no, were some no other tech questions I needed. Oh, oh, Facebook. No, 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 no! I'm up to my limit of friends. No, if you want a cordless phone or some LEDs, I'm up to my limit of friends. Fine. Five thousand. I'm, I'm not helping. I think Facebook. somebody set up a fan page. I'm hanging up. How do I get people to go there instead of sending me friend requests? You know him as Vinny's lovable uncle from MTV's Jersey Shore. Oh, what the fuck? Now the Sicilian funny man brings his act straight off the boat and onto Broadway. Listen, I guess I guess say something. Oh, shut the fuck up. Leave, let me fucking talk. Uncle Nino presents Bad Jokes and Wine. I've been drinking all fuck a week. We're back at toast to the crack that never heals. The more you rub it, the better it feels. You could scrub it from me to hell. You never get rid of that fishy smell. Fuck it, baby. Come see what nobody else will as the stereotypical Italian recites line after line of adolescent toilet humor. First time I had sex, I was so scared, I was all by myself. I said, I was with this girl. I said, 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 I said
asked this guy, I says, buddy, I says, uh, did you ever see the numbers on the condoms? He says, what numbers? So I guess you don't have to roll it back that far, huh? Yeah? Wow. Oh. Never before has an offensive cartoonish caricature told so many bad jokes in one hour, writes the Daily News. Oh, wait, what do you call, what do you call that shit? Chuck, what the fuck? How <laughs> come only brothers could play basketball? Because you got to know how to steal, run, and shoot. Right. Yeah, he's, he's insulted. Get the fuck out of here. I laughed once, then wondered why I had, said the New York Post. Yeah, I, I have to say one last, one last thing. I'll shut up. Yeah, I promise I'll shut up. I, got it. It's not, I love black women. You know, I always take a shot in the dark. <laughs> and when asked, the New York Times said they didn't bother to show up and review it. I was with this girl. I says, Miss, did you ever have a 60-second orgasm? She says, no. She you got a fucking minute? What the fuck? You know what I mean? It's Uncle Nino's Bad Jokes and Wine. And hey, God bless everybody. Who gives a fuck? Live on Broadway for as long as people still give a shit about the Jersey Shore. Yeah, what the fuck? Sirius XM. And now, the Opie and Anthony Show. Sexy, what do we got today? <laughs> Good morning. Good morning, sexy. Well, today, little Richard is 79. 79 years old. 79 years young, I would say. Young. Is he still living in that hotel? Really? Wasn't it the Hyatt on Sunset? I don't know. We would go out there every once in a while for radio, and he had like the whole penthouse or something. And yeah. And we would see him coming and going from time to time. He couldn't just live there. Does he still have that kind of money to fucking just live in a hotel penthouse? I don't know, man. Is he Howard Hughes? I remember back in the day, we definitely saw Little Richard, and it, it was told to us that he was living in the um, Hyatt on Sunset. Huh. Uh, E-Rock, you put together the Patrice thing. Yes. With the help of the uh, the boys yes. at E-Rock. Yeah, you're getting praise, uh, my friend. You're getting praise. Don't get used to it. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of people enjoyed the Patrice special. I personally could not fucking listen whatsoever. I didn't hear it. I heard Kenny put some on when we were on the road, and I just couldn't hear it. You couldn't, right? No. It's rough. Yeah, you need a little time going by. But uh, I want to acknowledge that E-Rock uh, put together a hell of a special. He certainly did. Thank you. But what you going to do for me today? Today, mother <laughs> bugger. So... Uh, Iraq. Just want to get past the Patrice thing, whatever way that is. Yep, today at the services um, this afternoon. Yeah, that's uh, Berg. Yep. I hate these things. No, uh, no one likes them. Nah, but I really, no, really detest them. Everyone does. They're unpleasant. Yeah, everyone. they really are unpleasant. Sure. They are. Mm. Uh. So I figure it's like you know for the family, right? Huh? For the family, I figured. That's you know. what you're doing it oh, for. Oh, of course, of course. You're doing it from for me. I hate that. Even when it's my family, I don't like shit like this. It's just like oh, no one likes it. Though. Yeah, no one enjoyed. No one's like, oh, what time's the wake? Fuck yes. Right. I, I don't know. I think some people do. Huh? I think there are some people that do enjoy it. Well, yeah. Maybe old people because old. Yeah, old people. I think old people get death because by the time they're old, they've seen so many people yeah. go. I know. Just the fact that it's happening. Like, tells you somebody enjoys it. Just the fact that you're that well, people do it. I think it's, it's like, oh, we got to have this and this and this. How about nothing? How about a picture? I think it's closure. Some fucking music playing. 
It is closure. No, it's it's about uh, it's 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 people are like ritualistic. And how do you like death is the end of it. It's the one thing we'll never conquer. How do you get beyond it? And this is how we get beyond it. That's like a weird way of saying goodbye and yeah. putting it to bed. Yeah, it's just a way we get move it. It's, it's a necessity. Huh. It's not about being fun or being maudlin or morbid. It's it, yeah. it literally about, I think, nature, because we're aware of our own mortality. Even chimps are to a certain degree. Like they all stare at the, the body and the, uh, yeah. you know, they, they get it. So I think it's our way of getting beyond our own fucking mortality. It's a weird, necessary mm. ritual. Open casket mm. or closed casket? I think closed. I would hope closed. Oh, I usually for... like closed. No, general. it is closed. Oh, it oh, is. I would, I would hope it's closed. It was going to be open for a while. Why it's closed. I don't it should like always open. be closed, I think, yeah. Yeah. Open casket is a little morbid. That's I, old school. Yeah. That's fucking I, old school shit. When our pal Gavin died last year, right around now, my brother uh, Brett's best friend, you know, the owner of F.A. Trialies. Eh? And uh, he pretty much grew up with us, uh, Gavin. And uh, they went open casket uh, about this time last year. Aye. Uh, he was only 41. Gavin, it was rough, man. Yeah, why would That you? open casket is rough. Old person open casket, I don't mind. They look the same. Well, More, yeah, that's morbid true. curiosity, I guess. But when yeah, they're young, true. fuck. I, n I never look. Huh? I don't look. You don't go up? Nope. It's hard. I don't go up. I don't even look. From the back of the room, I won't even turn to the front of the room to look. Really? I avert my eyes. Are you scared you're going to cry? No, I just don't. No, I don't want to be. I don't want to be. Uh, that have that memory. No, I don't want to have the memory of that person like that. Yeah. I like having the memory of the person alive and fucking, you know, when you saw him last. Yeah. This ain't a makeup for, you know, oh, well, I should have seen him like last week instead of last month. Now let me see him today. Oh, that's right. He's dead. Yeah. Uh, Hate that. Uh, Ugh, it's creepy. You know why I go up? Why? Curiosity. See, I can't. Because I know that. can't transcend I, fucking morbid. I know the person's not there, and I know there's nothing I could say up there at the casket. It's just yeah. like I go up for curiosity, like, oh, that's how he looks now, <laughs> you know. I remember years ago, like uh, going to my grandfather's funeral, and, and everybody kind of shuffles past, and you do a little kneel thing in front of the casket, and you you put your hands together like your little praying thing, and mm -hmm. and and then uh, you know I was supposed to do that, so I did it, and like it's such a it's such a farce because I was supposed to be praying, I guess. And all I could do is sit, kneel there with my, my hands in prayer fashion going, oh, my God, get me away from here. This is so creepy. How long do I have to stay here before it looks like I, you know, so it looks like I was actually praying. I'm not mm -hmm. praying. I, oh, God, I hate, look at his face. Oh, shit, if he opens his eyes, I'm going to freak out. You're, you're saying what pretty much everyone does. Up there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You are. Creepy. It's like, okay, yeah. I, I, I count to like 10. How do you count? Slowly. 1, 100, <laughs> 2, 100, 3, 100. Uh, so, but today's yeah. the day. And then That's uh, creepy. I think tomorrow becomes something a little different, you know? Yeah, and then you just kind of, you kind of just uh, let the old days pile up behind you. Yeah. And uh, hope it gets uh, better. That's it. That's how it works. It does. You know, it yeah. does. It is. It is what yeah. it is. Yeah. I mean, after yeah. fifth, within 50 years, we'll all be in the box, you know, within Says 50 you. fucking years. 50, I'll take 50. But you know what I'm saying? Like, that's box. how, it's it's not like, wow, we're going to miss him for 10,000 years. <laughs> 10,000 years. We're here for 100, he left in 40, he should have left in 90, all we'll right. leave in 30 more. It's, it's, <laughs> it's like that brief. Yeah, yeah. It stinks, but, it, you know. When I, was, I was watching a, a, a documentary uh, about uh, these cave paintings, and there, there was handprints on the walls, and... and they're going, yeah, this is 30,000 years old. These, uh, you know, Cro-Magnon men uh, were painting uh, horses and, and tigers and stuff like that. And then the guy just put his handprint up on the wall. It's like, that's fucking 30,000 years ago. And and it was just an asshole that didn't didn't have any artistic just ability. So he that. said, fuck, <laughs> bam, my <It's> turkey. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And it was just, uh, it's yeah. like, fuck, man, that's... That seems like a really long time ago, but that isn't really that's even a nothing. long time ago. But but in, in in our lifetime, that's huge. That's like fucking sure. fifteen g but, times Jesus but, <laughs> age. But like for the universe, that, thousand years ago, that's barely a blink. That's nothing. Not even a blink. It doesn't register. Years. But thirty thousand years, and then yeah, you realize, all right, yeah, uh, well, I've, got our limited time here, don't we? <laughs> well, yeah, sure. Patrice reminds us all of that, and that's the you know, it's the mortality thing hits everyone hard when someone young dies. And then what do you do? <sighs> Fuck. 
fuck. Uh, it makes it the thing that makes it a little bit easier for me is knowing that had he lived, you know, it's a stroke. It's like for a while, it's a touch and go. Had he pulled through, or had he been able to pull through, he would have been in a terrible, terrible situation, yeah. and it never would have gotten better. Mm -hmm. Never. Or if it did, it would have been literally one percent. Like. Uh, yeah, I was wanting him to die because I wanted him to be free. I want my friend to to not f sit and, and and be in this horrible, horrible place. Yeah, and it made it a little bit easier to see it as like, whew, thank fucking god, man, I'm not gonna have to think of him for the next five years. Like, oh god, is he itchy? Is he years? I was yeah. literally for a month. Every night I would just be panic stricken thinking, does he have an itch he can't scratch? Is, is he, does, does his tube hurt? It, like, you can't stop thinking of that. It's mm. all consuming. Jeez. Everything you do, you're thinking of it. Yeah. And so I'm, yeah. I'm relieved that he's not going to have to be in that kind of horrible, horrible yeah. pain or that frustration. And he would have wanted that. Of course. I think so. There's not even a doubt in anyone's mind. I believe so, yeah. Mm. So well, it makes it slightly easier than just a guy hit by a drunk driver. Right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, that's. Oof. Hey, uh, Iraq. A lot of questions about the weekend. Uh, the Patrice tribute on Audible. Uh, no, we we didn't. Uh, I mean, will it be? We're, we're Iraq did it. Try so to it's work unedible. something out with it. <laughs> yeah, because we so get it. Lighten the mood. Yes. Theoretically, um, <laughs> we could. I mean, why? Right. We could, but I. Will they take it that large? That's the thing. We can do yeah, it. In that's a good show. question. You fucking take it that yeah, large. You like that file? Yeah. You, you want that file? It. Fuck yeah. Sit on that file. <laughs> All right, because a lot of people want to know. Well, we're trying to. There's two things. Number one is, you know, just letting them know this is a special thing separate from the show. And number two, it'd be nice if we could figure out a way to get the money to the family from the special. The money. Yeah, yeah, that would be nice. Good yeah. luck fucking dealing with that with the yeah. lawyers around here. Complicates things. They might allow it. We you officially haven't asked, but yeah. we will. But I, I just I would assume that there will be some kind of issue with it. It's you. But we'll see. Those, so. are, those are the only... Oh, my God, but Audible I mean. should be able to pop it up there. No problem. Oh, yeah. I mean, I it's think. just a matter of us sending it to them. So it's so easy, but it's just, right. you know, making sure it's done. I will right, figure right. it out cuz a lot of people are asking cuz they didn't hear the whole thing. It was like 16 hours of uh, 16 material hours. over the Wow. Weekend. Yeah. That's 16 a lot. hours a lot. And, and we have another 5 for tomorrow, right? Yeah, we uh there was a lot that we we couldn't even fit into that. Yeah. So tomorrow we'll be doing I, I guess volume 2 uh, uh, of of a tribute to Patrice. Bonus. Yeah. We'll call it the bonus Patrice stuff that we couldn't fit. Like the country music one? Country music, oh, yeah. uh, dealing with Chris Rock. Chris Rock's uh, calling today. Yeah, he's in the call tonight. Wow. Chris Rock. Chris Rock. We so haven't talked to him in a while. So it's 9.30 on my paper. No, well, maybe. It, oh, well, John Jones is in at like 8.30. Hmm. This is 9 o'clock on my paper. Yeah, it's 9 o'clock. It better oh. be 9 o'clock. Yeah, I believe it's hmm. 9. We got a very fucking busy day today. I want to get put in a hold. Huh? I'm gonna get put in a hole. Oh, with John yeah. Jones? I have to. Yes, might, you do. It's I might let him elbow me. He's famous for his fucking elbows. Maybe I'll let him the drive people's an people's elbow. <laughs> That's a famous elbow. Maybe he'll drive an elbow into my fucking chest. No. No, get it right. Oh, no. Fuck. No, let him man. give you a Charlie ha horse with his elbow. Ow, that would hurt so bad. Dude, he's fighting in a week. He's in as perfect a shape as you can be. Oh. In. John Jones is going to be in today? Yeah. That is awesome. I know that. I love John I'm just Jones. saying that. Like, fuck, that's awesome. Yeah, yeah. I'm very happy about that one. Big fan of John Jones. Came out of nowhere, man. Yeah. Fuck. Who's he fighting? Uh, Leota Machida. Yep. It's supposed to be, I think, Rashad, but he's hurt from the last fight. Okay. Herman Cain, everyone. I love him. I want to vote for him if he drops out. <laughs> did he quote uh, Pokemon? Yes, he did. That's awesome. He certainly quoted the song Look. from the Pokemon movie <laughs> and even said... This is, you know, from Pokemon. He uh it's crazy. He rules, but he's a uh, he, he's he's a pathological liar in my opinion. <laughs> a sociopath. He's batshit crazy, I think. He's nuts. This guy's nuts. I mean, this dumb fucking pizza. Then he he was uh saying goodbye to the race with his uh sunglasses on like he's a rock star up there. Oh uh, yeah, he pulled up in his big bus. He got out in front of his uh, brand new headquarters, which mm -hmm. it was supposed to be like the big grand opening of his headquarters to tell everybody, hey, I'm not running. Right. But we got canesolutions.com, motherfucker. Yeah, that's that's what you want to do is drop out of the race so you could start up your website. A website. <laughs> Go from running for president <laughs> to, to a website. To excited about your new website. That's That was his plan B, as he called it. Right. But these women coming out like this, it's like, again, until people just start owning it and going, yeah, I did that, 
until these scumbags start owning it, yeah. it's going to ruin so many. F- and here's another one that may have been good, ruined mm-hmm. because he couldn't keep his dick in his pants. None of them keep their dicks in their pants, and they shouldn't. And these broads can't keep their fucking mouth shut. Oh, they're all whores. Just shut up. Why come forward? I don't want anything for this. I don't want any money. I don't want... Then shut up. He might be a great president, you cunt. Yeah. Right. Just because he stuck his dick in your face for a job interview. Uh, he's... Yeah, the president's supposed to be infallible and fucking morally right. uh, untouchable and stuff. No. So maybe the guy, maybe the, the best presidents are, are fucking womanizers. Kennedy? You Kennedy, don't think he'd be a great president? Was good. No, but I'm saying in general, okay. though, like yeah. we don't know. He's nuts. No, and he has he has no clue what goes on policy. outside of a Godfather's pizza. Never mind. <laughs> sure, uh, sure. Uh, outside the fucking U.S. Yeah, but, I got no experience about a uh, world uh, uh, places and stuff, whatnots. Right, Jimmy. A lot of people asking if the the wake is public. Not to my knowledge, no. Okay, I don't think it is. No, but I could have just said I don't know instead of not to my knowledge. I want to sound smarter. Okay. Well, here's Herman Cain uh, suspending his presidential campaign. So as of today, with a lot of prayer and soul searching, I am suspending my presidential campaign. Hey, where are the white women at? (laughs) I am suspending my presidential campaign. In person. Because of the continued distraction, the continued hurt caused on me and my family, not because we are not fighters, not because I'm not a fighter. It's just that when I went through this reassessment Mm. of the uh, impact on my family first my family the impact on you my supporters your support has been unwavering and undying as well as the impact on the ability to continue to raise the necessary funds to be competitive we had to come to this conclusion Excuse me while I whip this out. <laughs> oh, oh, like, Herman. Um, like, um, I... Oh. I hate you. Herman. There goes Herman. Herman. Oh, Lordy Lord, he's desperate. Do what he say. Do what he say. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and now he's supporting Newt. That's what they say. <laughs> oh, he's going to throw his support behind uh, Newt. Do you think Newt's like... I don't need Could it. Could you just not, don't, maybe? Don't say my name, please. Well, please don't say my name. I think the last poll said he had 4%, so that's not... Who, Herman? Yeah. He was leading for a while, a couple weeks they ago, They all were. He? And that, no, people didn't know much about all of them, so it's kind of, you know, a mishmash of, uh, of uh, polls. Right. But, I don't know. Newt, is, uh, Newt doesn't really have any of this... Uh, in the closet baggage, you know, everybody knows Newt because he's they an know asshole. What he's been do- doing front and center, yeah. But need- they're not going to pull anything out that it's like, uh oh, this is a, is a secret thing about Newt. Everybody knows Newt and what he's done and been through, and yeah, you know, what he stands for. He might be a viable Republican candidate. Ugh. Yeah, you're starting to think that might be. Might be the guy. Go, Obama. <laughs> I really want him again. I can't deal with him in office for another four fucking years. <laughs> That's why I want him again. <laughs> God, I know, right? What would happen to you at another it's four just, years? It's just, it's just, he do, he's not, even, even his support is saying he just doesn't do anything. 17-day vacation in Hawaii now? Nice. 17 fucking days in Hawaii while the country just fucking burns. Nice. What a dick. Sorry. You would take that 17-day vacation, wouldn't you? Well, you know what? If uh, the nation's resting on my shoulders, uh, maybe maybe I'd cut it a little short. Uh, end of the I'm year. not allowed to take a 17-day vaca- vacation here, motherfucker. I can't, you know, I get yelled at. That is a long vacation. But end of the year, everybody shuts down. All the businesses shut down. It's is perfect, that what it is? It's a perfect time to take a 17-day vacation. With all this shit going on. It's perfect. Uh, well, you, he's just a tool. Well, your Romney's a little rough. He doesn't like why. He just looks like he, any day he could have a nervous breakdown. Oh, yeah, yeah. He, he just looks like something is going to 
fucking popping his head. He's gonna lose his mind. Yeah, I don't know. I'm you just, guys uh, had you guys had three years to figure this shit out. Yeah. That is true. Everyone's so scared to run. I think they just is that what's wanna... going on? Yeah, who wants to be under that fucking microscope? Hope the Donald runs. Oh, <laughs> well, the, uh, what the Donald want? He wants to have oh, a debate. I hope God. so. Maybe he could say to somebody, "You're fired." Maybe you're he could fired. fire you're somebody. Fired. Oh, <laughs> love great. I'd love that if you could fire somebody. We'd say that to the Congress. You're all fired. Who told the Donald to go fuck himself? Was it Huntsman? Hopefully, I, the whole country. Well, I guess uh, if you don't know, Donald Trump's trying to get a debate together, the Donald Trump debate or something. Yeah, and yeah. I think Enough. Newt said, "Yeah, I'll do it." And I think it's Huntsman basically say, "Go fuck yourself. I'm not joining your debate." How much attention does he need? You're fired. <laughs> You're fired. <laughs> <laughs> there he goes. He said it. He said it. He fired the person. <laughs> Uh, please. I like his son a lot, though, man. He's a very nice dude. Yeah, he's I really nice. like, uh, what is it, Donald Jr.? Donald Jr. I like, too. I like him a lot. I follow him on Twitter. He, he was in here once. He couldn't have been cooler. Yeah. But still have I still have a tough time with his father. <laughs> and I understand why Donald is arrogant. Like, you kind of have to be to be a guy who does business like that. You can't just be this humble fucking carpet. You right, know, you right. got to have yeah. a certain right. cocksuredness. Cocksure. <laughs> but he just, I just, I guess, I don't know. My, my interactions with him have been unpleasant both times. Mm -hmm. um, he wasn't rude or terrible. He just wasn't at all personable. Mm -hmm. So I just have no desire to think about him positively. Yeah. Yeah, he didn't have nice things. You fired. You <laughs> fired. <laughs> he fired the entire Congress. Uh, He's getting things done, hon. <laughs> if you elect me, I'll fire everybody. I'll fire the Congress. They're fired. <laughs> <laughs> he said it. <laughs> hey, man, I enjoy a good catchphrase. What are you doing to me, Jimmy? Distracting what are you doing to me? People. <laughs> distracting the people with his catchphrase. Uh. Oh, he'll say it all the time. I'm going to fire high taxes. <laughs> high taxes are fired. <laughs> Nothing worse than shoehorning a catchphrase, it's huh? Hideous. <laughs> Despises catchphrase. The weakest link. She was shoehorning that one for a while. Yeah, she really was. Goodbye. You are the weakest link. What happened to her? Concept. She's actually uh, um, doing porn. Ah, cool. Yeah. Granny porn. <laughs> yeah. She's the new star in granny porn. I read that too. I. <clears throat> mm hmm. No, it's a tell a porn story. I'm like, what am I doing? Oh. Hey, <laughs> <Just stop. laughs> just check yourself. I live, dude. I, I, literally, I, li I literally have been watching interracial cuckold porn. Oh. And uh, I like when the husband films. And it's just something really hot and humiliating about it. And uh, this one woman I saw, it's one of the fucking hottest clips I've ever seen. Really? Yeah. Fucking a guy with a massive dick, and her husband's filming, and he, and the, the, the black guy is making the woman blow yeah. him. And again, for years, that did nothing for me. But she's calling him sir while he fucks her. She's like, yes, sir, yes, sir. It was so fucking. Oh dirty. Jesus! And what was the guy saying? Anything? Um, was he clamming up uh, behind the camera? Was he saying anything? The husband? I don't remember. Maybe like he. I think at one point. Oh, this is my favorite. At one point, she's crawling, she's blowing the guy, and uh, and the husband says. Uh, like, you know, all right, now get up on the bed. So she does, and he goes, now get in breeding position. And breeding get in posi breeding position. Oh, it was so dirty. What was breeding position? Hands and knees. Ready Hands to take and knees. It. it was so fucking rude. Did uh, the brother slip her, uh, slip her the big one? Yeah, but he, was, he wasn't unreasonable with his penis. Like, I yeah. think he knew that his penis was more than the average fucking human can handle. So, <laughs> like, <laughs> he was giving it to her, but he wasn't, like... He wasn't trying to. You could see he wasn't trying to hurt her. He yeah, just pounded just, balls deep. Yeah, like that horse video. <laughs> yeah. Although I did see one like that too. Lady in the kitchen being fucked. Yeah. And the husband kept encouraging the guy to like go f deeper. What is? I don't know. What but is it's just, the thing there? It's hot to watch and pornographic. I don't think I could do it, but it's fun to watch. Don't think I could do. It. You have to put the word think in sure, there. Sure, I'm a pervert, dude. Yeah, but that's beyond pervert. That's that's something else. I don't know. I like some perverse shit, but that's like. I, that goes against everything you're with a girl for. It's just, <laughs> it really is like, like I wouldn't like watching that if I didn't know the girl. I think you're a traditional. That's yeah, a that's traditional. me. That's me. I think traditional. you got a little, little traditional in you. Yeah, that's me. A little bit. Yeah. What are you not put until marriage? Oh, <laughs> traditional guy. <laughs> what's uh, what's the new charges with this Sandusky? Do we uh, know? I haven't heard anything. We got new charges, man. Being a good egg. I don't know charges. The last, the newest thing I read this morning was that he specifically said that uh, what's his name never Paterno never oh, right. asked him yeah Paterno. at all 
Yeah. About yeah. any child stuff whatsoever. Uh, in 88 or, or 2000 it's not or unbelievable. This guy's a fucking creep. Look at him. Yeah, he's, he's a, a fucking creep. He's just walking around out there, though, man. He has to his trial. He can't, you know. He's just walking around. He's Christmas shopping. Just, just, uh, just imagine this. Section. Sandusky's, uh, he's, he's Christmas shopping. Yeah. He should wear a shirt that just, oh, I was in Baltimore and I made fun of him on the station I was on. And they're people. Oh. What happened? They're, nothing. They're 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 really a fun show, but apparently they were jocktobered. Oh, at one by point. us? Yeah, and the girl oh. the girl was really cool. She, I walked in and she was, "Hi, I'm the hole." <laughs> oh shit! It was it was the guy um, Nikki and Amelia uh, in Baltimore, but they were. It's one of the most fun, honestly, one of the most fun terrestrial shows I've done in years. Huh. I wonder why we hold them. I, we just got a bad show or whatever. I don't remember though. We but know. but I made fun of Sandusky, and there's a Jerry Sandusky working there as a sportscaster in Boston. I'm, I'm sorry, in Baltimore, but he spells it with a G. But he's been getting Ooh, hate mail. Wow, and death I bet. Oh, whatever. that's got to suck. Jerry Sandusky. I'm sure he doesn't want to change his name. He's oh. been developing that name for years, probably. Right? Yeah. Oh, that blows. Yeah. Where was uh, Sandusky Christmas shopping? No, I'm just saying. I mean, he, oh, I thought they. Everyone saw else him is, so you you got to assume he's out there and he's able to Christmas shop. Toys are uh, cutting the. Cutting the bottoms out of Oshkosh Bagosh. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Uh, you know what I noticed? Uh, I was just thinking about OJ yesterday because I saw Al Michaels. Oh yeah. Every time you see Al Michaels, you kind of go, "I wonder how OJ is." Doing. Yeah. Why do you associate him with OJ? OJ. They used to be good friends. Oh okay. And uh, you know that he was sentenced three years ago already. Three years. Is that possible? Wow. Yeah. To since to... thirty-three years in prison for armed robbery. Oh. Three years ago, that went down. Has armed. he been in prison for three years already? Fucking OJ really screwed the pooch on that one, didn't he? Dude, you got what away with it. I know. He got away with it. You got it. away. You fucking cut the, almost cut her head off, and, and you, you're <laughs> fucking still walking around banging blondes, you dummy. And he had to fucking hold up some people. What an idiot. Oh, what a stupid you asshole. Skated. And he'll do a lot of those 33 years, man. Oh, oh, yeah. I, he, has to, he has to do 11, I think. Am I wrong? Well, he's done three already, I guess. By the time he gets already. out, though, how old is he? How old is fucking OJ? 45? Yeah, he's about he's a lot yeah. older than that. He's got to be at least... <laughs> Perhaps more than that. <laughs> I'm going to go 63. He'll be 70... Oh, okay, maybe right. I'm going to go 63. Uh, I'm gonna the go. answer yeah. is 64. Wow. When's his birthday, though? Uh, July. So he's 63. He'll be 64 in July? No, he'll be 65 in July. Damn it! So he's 64 <laughs> is the answer to the question. He's 64. <laughs> if he gets out in whatever, 10 years, you know, 74, 73, so he's gonna, just going to be a disaster. Yeah, and he got away with it too, man. We haven't heard any stories about OJ in prison. Like, there hasn't been any news. What, what's he doing? I don't know. Does he just sit around or is he active uh, in people. prison, killing people? What does yeah. he do? Is he working out? Is he working the license plate factory? I bet you he's jovial. <laughs> yeah, I bet you, you think he's a pleasant a guy? Yeah, oh, hello. He he's laughing a lot. They probably like him in jail. He's oh, OJ. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he's OJ yeah, Simpson. He's OJ. He's Killed OJ white Simpson. people. They got to love him. Murder. Yeah. Damn. Yeah, they got to love him. <laughs> so, he okay. really, really did do bad things. Wee wee. <laughs> How annoying would it be if I just developed a fucking R lisp? <laughs> <laughs> That'd be fun for everyone. Why this, not? This old this thing in February from the Daily Mail, so it says that he was, uh, yeah, that was beaten a rumor. up. Yeah. We don't know I don't if that believe was true. anything in the Daily Mail. Yeah, we don't know if that Lying, was true. Lying, limey papers, they, they're all full of shit. Assholes. Whenever you get a headline that says, you know, uh, UFO lands... Uh, uh, spacemen get out and greet people. And then you go, oh, all right, let me read that. Click, and it's the Daily Mail, and it's like, oh, this is a scenario that could happen if spacemen come down here. Oh, really? Is that how you tease me? You get three paragraphs in, and it says uh, it was a racial attack. It was a skinhead. Uh, he spent three weeks in the hospital, said the National Enquirer. So this is their source. Come on. The Inquirer is actually a pretty good source, though. Yeah, they've, they've uh, been right a lot. Yeah, so. they're yeah. wrong a lot, but they're also right a lot. Yeah. And they're, they're trying to be more right than wrong these days. They're trying to get a little more respect. They've been sued. Yeah, they've lost that. a few lawsuits. Yeah. This guy, and our newspapers are any better? Well, you know what? <laughs> they stink, but yeah, they, they're better than, they the, are better. than the Daily oh. Mail. The, 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 the answer to that question is, yeah, they are better. 
This they, uh, they just print lies in the Daily Mail that that are like blatant. Like I could read through the lies in our paper. Mm-hmm. Oh, uh, new, new uh, OJ update. News one for Black America oh. says OJ Simpson is bored out of his mind. Bored in jail. out of his mind. Oh, poor guy. God, that's gotta suck. What do you do? Exactly. Especially if you don't know how to read. <laughs> 33. <laughs> oh, uh, no, we don't need OJ's verdict. Everyone has heard that a million times. Why does he just talk to me? Hey, Rock, would you talk to everybody. To He's told you 50 times. Talk to everybody. Just talk to everybody. What did you say? People know you now. I have his 2008 verdict. We, we don't need it. Okay. <laughs> don't reference me again, Athlete. Oh. Edgar? Don't reference me. He Ath- referenced you an hour ago, Edgar. Edgar. I, I like it. Anthony. Anthony. What is that? It's dry. <laughs> Oppie nose. Oppie. Oppie. <laughs> you guys want to? You guys want to learn about Nigeria? Uh, I think I could figure it out, but yes. See, we're we're reasonable people. We we think Neil Patrick mm-hmm. Harris certainly should be able to say tranny on on network TV as we're he's reasonable, absolutely. man. And then, of course, we completely disagree with this this warshit. Nigeria wants to ban homosexuality, punishable by fourteen years. <laughs> fourteen years. In the areas in Nigeria's north where Islamic ah oh, Sharia law has been oh, enforced yeah. for about a decade, That's gays a and one. lesbians can face death by stoning. Under the proposed law passed by uh, Senate this week, couples who marry could face up to 14 years each in prison. Witnesses or anyone who helps couples marry could be sentenced to 10 years behind bars. So this is uh, the gays that get married, right? Yup. The bill also punishes the public show of same-sex amorous relationships Ah. directly or indirectly with 10 years in prison. So, so holding hands holding or hands kissing or a little peck on your your boyfriend's uh, mouth mouth or a blow there. job or a blow job in uh, public will give you get you ten years. Well, Sharia law is reasonable though. I mean, you're, all the religions are the same, and it's it's good. Sharia law is a great thing. Oh yeah, it's great. Yeah. It's a great. They treat women well. They treat gays well. It's wonderful. Sure. Wonderful, wonderful way to live. <laughs> the bill must be passed by Nigeria's House of Representatives and signed by President Jonathan uh, before becoming law. You just know that's all corrupt. And like like they talk about, yeah, it's got signed into law. It's got to pass Congress. And the, you think it'll be passed? Shit. I don't know. How much money is trading hands? Nigeria, Jeez. yeah. If it's Sharia law, of course. Well, that's only part of Nigeria, right? They're saying that's probably a pretty fucking strong little arm of that. Did place. you know that? What that they, were they had Sharia, Sharia law, law? I didn't in know North no. uh, Nigeria? I, I thought it that. was just pandemonium and fucking chaos over there, <laughs> just everywhere. I didn't even know they had some pseudo government. If people are fucking in jail, do their prison sentence get extended? Oh, that's good. Oh, gee, Sam, mm-hmm. kill a guy in that. jail. Do an expose. Get your ass over there in prison. I'm not going yeah. to yeah. happen. Go undercover. Go deep undercover. Yeah. I just learned Sam's got some sick fantasies. In Breathing that. It's not a fantasy, but it's a good What's question. What's up with that? Yeah. What's a Nigerian armed robber to kiss his back and his razor bumps and sodomize him? <laughs> I'll kiss them bumps away if I, you baby boy. <laughs> I'm doing better with my bumps. You're not doing better. Yes, I am. Face is very red. I know, because I had to put lotion on that irritates the skin at first, and then we'll bring it back down. Why did you to irritate the skin? Because it softens the skin, and that way the hair will be able to... What kind of lotion is it? Is it called the after-show lotion? <laughs> <laughs> Irritates everything? <laughs> 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 you use a razor with just one blade. One blade now. Why? Why? It's and much better. It and is. why is that? Try it on your wrist. <laughs> <laughs> Anytime I've used a one-bladed razor, it's terrible. Well, it's the horrible. shave is not nearly as close. It's not a good shave, but in terms of bumps, it's much better. So you'd rather have the Fred Flintstone look? With the perpetual five o'clock shadow, then the bumps. Yeah, white guys don't get bumps, uh, Sam. No, you, they you don't. Be part they don't. Black. My hair is coarse. You gotta be part black. There's so much black in you. Yeah, you are so negro. Bumpy bump, bump, bump. There are. Bump, I mean, the bump. The razors that I use are specifically. I mean, they're black people. Black people on right? the razor. Oh, and do you use some yeah. oh, right. cream <laughs> for black yeah. people? And yeah. It's like black people cream. Yeah, they change. I think I used to use uh, an aftershave thing. That was uh, called Bump Patrol. That used to have black people. Uh, I love them guys. I listened to them in the '90s. The Bump Patrol. (laughs) They're good. They used to have black people on the box, but I think now then they started diversifying, which I don't like, and put like white people. You need black people on the box, so you know it works. That's bullshit. It's like it's you know embrace the community. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know that's good. All right. 
but it's getting better. Way too easy. I'd like to slap them off. <laughs> I wish, like, that, I wish that was my solution, just to keep slapping Sam's bumps until, until they, they melt off. Yeah, until they fall off, like like fucking those little candies that come on the paper and you spit them <laughs> off with your teeth. Dots, yeah. yeah. Dots. <laughs> All right, we'll if it worked, I would do that. We're going to break. We got Joe DeRose and Bill Burr probably next. Then we got oh. John Jones at 8.30, Chris Rock at 9 o'clock. 9.30. 9.30? It is Chris 9.30. Yeah. And I got an email confirming what we talked about before. Right, I'm not going to say it on the air. Minutes. I'll show it to you off the air. I've been, I've been, I've been livid this whole break. Yeah. Livid. What? I'll, tell, I'll show you off. Oh, yeah. Should, Should we talk hang? about it? No. no. Let's see what happens first. Because, again, it could be a... I, I don't want to... Especially with something like this. <clears throat> clear your throat. I don't want to uh, misspeak. I'd rather wait. Wow. Let's all make love first. Wow, wow, wow. Cool. Really? Yeah. I'll take Sam. Cool. All right. We'll figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> Sam's not black His ancestor's Thomas Jefferson He's not black He doesn't have big lips Just a real big thumb Well his skin's kinda weird It's not black or white If he's white, then he's dark If he's black, he's light Who the hell can figure Who the hell can figure If Sam's white or a nigger White or a nigger Yeah, we're teasing, you know Cause he's white with an afro Sam's not black He's not black Don't smoke crack He ain't black You're listening to the Opie and Anthony channel On Sirius XM What's up, baby? You wanna get some dirty talk going? Yeah, get it. I'm gonna give some cyber sex. I'm I'm good. I'm I'm gonna lay you back or something, and I'm gonna lick all the way down your neck like this. I'm gonna take my tongue and just go like. Oh. Oh. I'm gonna clean out your ears or something and get wax on my tongue and then lick all the way down your neck. Oh, that's a nice dark nipple. I wouldn't mind getting some milk out of that. Oh. And then I'm gonna get my tongue and I'm gonna start. Looking it all over your nipples so much that you start coming. You're gonna come so much that your shoes are gonna make sloshy noises. Oh. And I'm gonna get down there and just start licking your fucking cooter really good. I'll just I'll open up your cooter. I got I got like long nails on my middle fingers, so I'll dig my nails into your cooter lips and I'll open them up and I'll just go like oh, 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 oh. and I'll get in there until you come so many times or whatever. Stick it right in you too. I'll climb right up, up on you like you were building or something. I'm gonna climb on like you're a tree or something and just cram my oats in you. Whoa. I'm gonna put a finger in my ass. Serious XM, the Opie and Anthony show. Uh. Got Joe DeRosa in studio. What's up, Joe? Oh, and I Jimmy, wanna, how are you guys? Hold on, let me do the big plug here. You're going to be at uh, Caroline's... Where's the Joe DeRosa sheet? You get a sheet now, man. That's really a sheet? You get a fucking sheet. Look at that. That's nice. It doesn't have a lot on it, but you got a sheet officially. <laughs> Look at that, a sheet I like for it. Joe DeRosa. I got a sheet. Uh, what, next Wednesday, Thursday, and Sunday at Caroline's, right? Yeah, uh, the 15th. 16th and 18th at Caroline's? Or 14th, 15th, or, and 18th. Excuse me, 14th, 15th, and 18th at Caroline's. And, it's uh, it's yeah. next week at Caroline's. Wednesday, Thursday, and Sunday at Caroline's. We're, we're, we want to get a bunch of people at Caroline's for Joe DeRosa. Yeah. 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 Right. Oh, good, man. Good. Thanks, Jim. Thank you. Yeah, that'd be um, awesome. Yeah, yeah. Right on, man. Yeah. It's a good week. You know, this fucking holiday's nice. Yeah, yeah. Good time. Oh, Ooh, good time. Well, a lot of people yes. in Times Square around yeah, the yeah. holiday season. It is. I don't know if driving business not going through there has hurt Caroline's at all, because people, it used to be like you'd have massive traffic. Oh, right. No, um, but now you got the foot traffic, so it's probably easier for people to come in and out. I'm thinking. Maybe. There's so many more people down there. Oh, you pass by with yes. your car and be like, I can't park, fuck this. 
It makes it, now you're walking. You're like, hey. <laughs> right, Fuck that DeRosa guy. What is that? I'd like to see it, but I can't park my car. It is. I mean, I live basically in Times Square, and it is yeah. a fucking shit show now. They shut those lanes down. I mean, it's like, oh, it's awful, man. It's oh, yeah. Awful. Oh, yeah. And then conveniently, the day they shut the lane, the driving lanes down, the subway fares went up the same fucking day. Oh, it's like, did they really? I didn't know that. Yeah. yeah. I wonder what happened there. I wonder yeah. what happened there. That oh. sounds like one of those conspiracies. Uh, yeah. They got us. What the fuck? Yeah. So it sucks. No matter what you do, they get you. I'm so. right there too. I'm right there too, which is kind of cool. I got the uh, the Compound West apartment. <laughs> I like to call it the Compound West. How about you just call it your home? Is uh, <laughs> no. What's wrong with you? No, nah, I need like a Why place. Why does everything have to have a name? I need no. a place. <laughs> compound. A, I need you? something with a big boulder with a name painted on it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was, uh, Is it really a compound though? It's just it's just a one bedroom apartment that you could crash at every once well, in a while. Well, yeah. If I didn't have, are the you compound, jazzing it up? I would have to. I wouldn't call this a compound, but since it's you know an offshoot, it's a satellite of uh, the compound. All right, a, a, a satellite compound. Yeah, all yeah, right, fair enough. <laughs> are you, now, you, are you going to have soirees at this compound? Well, as you do at the other it's sometimes? a little, a little, a little, uh, a little small tight. for a soiree. Yeah. All right, yeah, it's, it's more it's, like a swingers party kind of place. Pretty much, yeah, it's pretty much uh, in lieu of a hotel room. Uh, I have this. Okay. Uh, by but, the way, if I hear anybody in your camp referring to it as com- hey, we gotta be a compound west. I'm gonna fucking throw hot coffee on them. I don't care who it is. I know. Anybody in your camp says that. It really is bad. <laughs> <laughs> yes, people in this camp. Too. Yeah, this camp. Uh, compound oh, I west. Gotta, I gotta upgrade some shit. Oh, I need a camp. Yeah, uh, people. Yeah, oh, you need a, you need compound, compound Westies. Yeah, <laughs> Times Square this weekend. <laughs> We're gonna be staying uh, CW for the weekend, and then I'm oh, gonna go oh, back. No, uh, you don't do that. Oh no, oh, okay. I guarantee he texts it though. I guarantee because it's faster. I'll Never see it CW, CW with a fucking half a winky face. <laughs> Never. Fucking boo. <laughs> the in, the um, truth of the matter is, I usually just put APT period. The apt. Ah, oh, that's good. All right, partner, I can accept that. Yeah. Oh, that's all right. Yeah. I like you again. Yeah. I don't really. I don't really call it the compound. Okay. I like you again. When There's... are you? When are you there? Are you there ever? Ah, uh, you know, no one ever knows. Really. Here. When here. I stay in the city, here and it's there, I'm like there. Batman. Yeah. When I'm in the you city, never know. and I'm yeah. going to be hanging out, and and it's going to be a chore for me to drive home. And by chore, I mean I'm drunk. Right. Or it's going to be a chore for me to drive back to work the next day, which. By true, I mean hungover. <laughs> I uh, I stay in the city. It's okay. so much easier. Mm-hmm. I get to sleep in another half hour because I don't have to drive. Yeah. Kenny comes and picks me up. Hello, it's Anthony. Like your, it's like your cabin in the woods. Yeah, like yeah. Only it's spot. in the middle of Manhattan. He's uh, <laughs> wonderful. Is Bill Burr coming in today too? He, so I hear. Any he minute. Says. All right, good. Bill Burr. What do, you, what do you got going on, Joe? Anything? Uh, I got those Caroline shows coming up, but I'm going to actually Minnesota. I'm going to be in Minnesota at the House of Comedy this weekend. No, I meant like just ooh. what do you got going on in your world? That's all I got, Ope. I got, no, <laughs> I got nothing except the work at this point. Uh, nothing. I'm trying to uh, actually. Right, I'll, I'll, I'll go with the Minnesota thing. How is Minnesota? I've never been there. It seems like a great place to live. Minnesota. The, it's cold as balls, but they, uh, but but they embrace the followers out there. They embrace the cold up there. Dude, I looked During the, the game yesterday, I saw people doing some of that cross-country skiing, and they seem to enjoy it. You looked, know when they have to do little vignettes when uh-huh. before they go back to the game? I looked on weather.com to see like how I need to pack. It's fucking 23 degrees every day. This Like, the peak That's... highs are 23. No. So they're in the middle of winter already. Yeah. Do that? Middle Fuck. of winter. No, that's the beginning of winter for them. Yeah, that's true. It gets a lot colder. I just turned down New Year's Eve there because... Uh, it, the wet flying in. I'm too scared to fly in because right. the weather there is too bad. Like, I, oh, I, I love yes. that. There's a lot, a lot of fucking O and A fans in Minnesota. He's right. Well, they yeah. put the skis on the plane or something. I'm not flying. It's, it's, in. Yeah, no. It's like you're Minnesota, minute, minute juice. I don't know. That's a good one, Chip. <laughs> Let's look at Minnesota on the map. Is it one <laughs> of those states that could be part of Canada? Like, is it above Canada? You know what I mean? How, no, no. How some like, of the uh, how, how some of Canada dips down into our fucking. Territory. Get some of the shit. Yeah, close enough, though. It's, it's up almost. There. It's right up there. Oh, boy. Sam doesn't know where Minnesota is. Oh. It's, it's obvious. He doesn't know. <laughs> All right, come See, on. He doesn't Minnesota. know where it is. It's right, it's right next to He doesn't know. North he has no Dakota. idea. He has no idea. He's Fucking just saying the A. Where's the A? Ridiculous. And I was right. Technically, it could be part of Canada because look at all that shit that dips down from Canada. 
to yeah. the east. Yeah, Canada's cock dips right down into fucking <laughs> Ohio. Canada really could have taken like, mm, yeah, Michigan yeah, and Wisconsin, and and, uh, and just taken it and given us like just North a big Dakota. swoop there with no Great Lakes or nothing. We wouldn't miss North Dakota, I don't think. They really did it right with the states in Canada. How they just chopped it up into those suck fucking big six squares regions or whatever. It just is. big giant. Yeah. Yeah. Good, en good enough, hey. This is good enough. Yeah. <laughs> they just yeah. stopped. Yeah. They, yeah, they don't need, like, why is it cut up in nice small little states? They didn't yeah. know where to stop. How come there's no white stuff falling there in July? I don't want to go there. <laughs> <laughs> that looks like things actually grow. <laughs> <laughs> the bums. I, I, didn't, I didn't realize Minnesota was that much further north than, like, Buffalo. And Buffalo's cold, oh, as, yeah. cold as balls. You know what? I gotta be Holy honest. shit. I didn't know it was that north. I didn't know where it was. I'm just terrible at geography. I didn't know it was that far north I would have moved Minnesota a little east of what it is now. And really? That's where I thought it was. And, oh, <laughs> wow. I was a little further east than that. A little, a little really south. Did. A little south. And I would have went a little south. A little south? Yeah, yeah I would have went. Gonna be, if we're gonna be honest <laughs> yeah. with you guys. Yeah. <laughs> I would have went a little south. I would have said it was, like, kind of parallel to Buffalo. Maybe just north of Buffalo. Everyone knows Slightly it's north fucking of Buffalo. freezing. It's further north than Maine. I know. It's well, way the fuck up there. Uh, the the club I'm at is inside the Mall of America. Is that, oh, is right. that mall cool? Well, look, it's, it's 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 yeah, it's yeah. As far as malls goes, it's great. I would never tell somebody like you got to go. You got to make a point in your life to go to the Mall of America. It's a mall because it has the same shit every other mall has. Yeah. It's just a lot bigger, it's just gigantic. And there's a roller coaster. Mm -hmm. I think in the mall. I think so. Yeah, yeah. 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 Inside ice skating rink too. I think. Yeah, yeah. yeah there's a bunch of activities underneath their roof because uh, it gets very cold there, and people are able to go to this mall and kind of. You it's know, be it, warm. Yeah, it's like a great. It's like a dream to me, at least. It's like a dream road gig because you can you have something. You can go to the mall and like walk around and not feel like fucking lonely. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm sorry. I'm just laughing at what is that? <laughs> what is the Hulk? Oh, Sam? It's not there anymore. But the Mall of America was once home to Hulk Hogan's Pasta Mania. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Everything after that mania. But, uh, it's just pasta. Uh, yeah. Pasta mania. So his restaurant business failed too. Oh, huh? Pasta yeah, mania, like Hulkamania. Pasta oh. mania, brother. Yeah. What yeah. terrible is that? What, they just throw the spaghetti. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What do you want, Rotini? <laughs> right. This is America's gnocchi, brother. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! Look at that <laughs> pasta. They actually. They yeah. Filmed, uh, the first Nitro in the Mall of America, and the whole thing was just an advertisement for Hulk Hogan's Pasta Mania. Oh, oh God. God. They did a the, oh, wrestling no. show inside the Mall of America. I... And a great train store was ringside, <laughs> and it was all just a commercial for Pasta Mania. What a fucking shit. How long did it last? And Pasta what, Mania? And what did you get at Pasta Mania? Pasta. I would love to see their menu. Sauce. Everything had to have mania. That's they're right. all wearing wigs out of pasta, like oh. long straight hair. Hulk hair pasta. <laughs> yeah. It's pasta. Very wispy. Oh, I like the pasta in heaven. That's a really small <laughs> portion that you just throw on the floor. <laughs> I, yeah, I bet it had a... Yeah, everything probably had a wrestling... Yes, wrestling. Yeah. Yeah. Turnbuckle, tortellini, <laughs> stupid shit like that. Yeah. Oh, oh, God. Big boot macaroni. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> fucking suck. I've never in my life gone from such, like, l like revere, like just loving somebody to like being like I fucking hate him. Yeah, you hate the Hulkster. Yeah. I hate the Hulkster. What's Why, he, man? E -Rock, he's down on his luck, dick. And, and that's one of E Rock's heroes. <laughs> really still. is a dick. E Rock, <laughs> is he still on your hero list? Uh, look, I don't hate him like Joe does, but my appreciation of him has has sunk. Oh come on! God, all your heroes have let Dude. you down. Huh? I know. Yeah, everyone. I was the only one. <laughs> Once the reality show came out. And he was like introspective Hogan, where he'd sit yeah. there with his kid and be like, Let me tell you something, brother. <laughs> <laughs> when, brother, even though it's a chick. Yeah. When you eat lunch, when you feel that full feed and you stop eating, man, and you, this is how you get rich. It's like, oh, Shut up and you, scream Hulkster. America at somebody <laughs> and get the fuck out of my face. Like, <laughs> <laughs> he just did the <laughs> word. I don't think I ever liked Hulk as a wrestler. Do you, do you like him, Jim? <laughs> no. I don't think I ever liked no. him as a wrestler, man. Yeah, but you... I liked him in Rocky Three. Go fuck himself after that. Yeah. Uh... Thunderlips. <laughs> yeah. All right, here's but Opie, uh, Opie, you liked him when uh, he was driving by his old house on his boat. I howled. <laughs> what did I tell recently? And they were horrified that I was howling I think at CM them. Punk. CM Punk was like, even CM Punk's looking at me like, what the fuck? Why do you think that's funny? I'm like, <laughs> it's the, it's the. Could you find that scene for Joe DeRosa yeah. so we could all laugh? <laughs> 
So he loses his waterfront mansion to his uh, his uh, ex wife there, uh-huh. and he visit visits the the mansion on the water, but he's not allowed to touch the shore, or he's in violation of the uh-huh. court order. And his, and his dogs come running up right up to the boat, but he can't touch them. Can't touch uh, my dogs. You've never brother. seen this. <laughs> this barking. makes me fucking howl. The dogs this are is one of my <laughs> go-to <laughs> clips. This is an ad. To, huh? Ad. This is the. This is it, though, right? Uh, yeah. We haven't it. played this in a while. The dogs are barking like. I've never on, seen this. Oh, oh, this makes me howl. I've never seen this. Actually, make explosions. It's still advertising. Is this the Angry Birds? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. The angry dogs birds. just thought Dad was coming home. Why did Angry Birds seasons uh, not do a Thanksgiving one? They went from Halloween to to Christmas. I'm confused by they that. They felt they didn't want to celebrate uh, 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 the holiday. I ran out of steam. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I mean, if you want to put genocide into a video game. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's it. true. Have you played Angry bird. Birds lately with the big orange? The new bird, the stupid orange? No, I haven't been playing Oh, that. it's ridiculous. I've been a man playing Call of Duty. True. Oh, All right, here it is. Here it is. <laughs> All right, pause this. Pause this. It needs a setup. <laughs> She's already <laughs> Who is that? That's, That's Brooke. Brooke. That's his daughter. He's fucking rotten. Listen to your laugh. Oh, it's great. Because <laughs> it's so ridiculous. I'm actually on Hulk's side on this whole thing, but it just shows you how the judicial system is so ridiculous. <sighs> he fucking bought that house, not his wife. It's his money. Look, uh, yeah, yeah. And it got so bad that he could only visit his old mansion on the water with his crying uh, daughter. I love that his daughter's with him, though, because then he... F- they broke up because he Whoa. fucked her friend, didn't oh, she? I thought you were going to say, uh... uh no, come okay, on up. Right, Let's keep it above right, the belt right. in here today, please. <laughs> Thank God we don't have to fucking make believe we like her music anymore. Oh, Thank God. Be. She, uh, but he fucked her friend, it right? Bad. Yeah, apparently. I guess. We don't yeah. know. Yeah, I think so. I think that is. I think yeah, yeah, he admitted yeah. to it. All right, here it is. So the, the setup Warrior is... Warrior good, yeah. The, <laughs> the tiny little boat, because he can only afford a small boat now, is idling outside the oh, waterfront no. mansion. It's not there. a yacht. He got it from Renner Center. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Let me tell you, brother, yeah. you need a boat at Renner Center. Probably, hey, uh, probably. Hey, junkyard dog, can I borrow your boat? <laughs> uh, junkyard dog is don't dead. Bring, yeah, don't bring oh, it. Oh, Jesus. Jesus. VH1 probably gave him the boat. I was going to say Macho Man. I was like, oh, he's dead too. Yeah. I yeah. couldn't think of a wrestler. Bill Burr. Bill Burr uh, is, uh, is here. All right, show uh, Joe DeRosa this clip as Bill gets comfortable. Yeah, this is uh, this makes the me how thirty years destroying my body to build that house. And some kid that's nineteen years old lives in that house. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking your wife. Look how sick this house is. Montage of how sick the house is. I miss you. Looks like an Applebee's. What did you do? <laughs> <laughs> over there. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. I was thinking about calling Brooke. I heard she was here in town. She's visiting her dad, and I'm, you know, she hasn't called me. I'm just a little bit, you know, freaked out by that. I really wish you could sit down and take the time to meet you and I together. Yeah. When do I get to see you? When are you coming back? She got a young Hulk. Three or four days. I bought you a surfboard up here, too, by the way. You did? Are you serious? You're such a cutie pie. Oh, she's trying to act young. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> All right, baby. I'll see you in a she's few in days. The, be she's safe, in the she's in the beautiful mansion. That Hulk bought. Okay, that Hulk right, broke Dave, every bye. bone in his body. Go back to yeah. Hulk, who's on the water. Here he is. Back <laughs> <laughs> Uh, the Hulk isn't even allowed in there. I can't pet Cookie. Brooke, I can't pull in there, otherwise your mom will have me put in jail. I can't. I can't pull up there. I just want to touch her for a second. He's feeling the aches and pains that it took to buy that house. Molly, Dude, he's three inches all the short. Bumps. Yeah, yeah. From all those yeah. years. Look, all they the can only just look at the old dogs. Ugh. And now he's not crying. <laughs> and now Hulk's crying. Oh, wait, that's Brooke. Yeah. <laughs> oh, she's crying, Dad. I hate this. Uh, she's crying, brother. I was just going to say that. <laughs> you want to kill brother. your mother, brother. <laughs> <laughs> They're all crying. That's correct. They're Ed Hardy boxers. <laughs> Fucking... Oh uh, God! Just weeping by the house. Is the that the brother or the boyfriend? Everyone's the brother, brother. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's not. That's, that's awful, man. That's not her brother. Uh, but, divorce. But it's bullshit because they filmed it for TV because she could have fucking petted her old dogs. Yeah, yeah of course. but they they had to make it even more dramatic. I don't know. Restraining for order. Uh, yeah, and he's not the gonna... daughter isn't allowed to touch the dog. Get the fuck. And what's he going to get thrown in jail for? He didn't beat his wife around. He just cheated on her. Who gets a restraining order for cheating? I don't know. If she if she uh, has uh, the house and he gets on that land, that's trespassing. 
I don't know. Really? I don't know how it works. I just know everything in divorce well. sucks dick, and it's uh, all about uh, the guy getting screwed. So. The, someone just has more money. Hold on. Someone, yeah. someone yeah. just sent me the an guy. article. The guy. Someone <laughs> sent me an article <laughs> that uh, Linda McMahon got 70%. Of what? Uh, in the divorce. Yeah. Linda McMahon. What? I mean, uh, uh, Stephanie. Uh, uh, oh, okay. uh, yeah. You, you uh, Linda flustered. Hogan. Sorry. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm sorry. there going, wait a minute. When sorry, did that sorry, happen? Jesus. 70%. She got 70%. This Fuck guy just sent me the you. article. There's no fucking way to to actually do the math there. What? How does she get that much money? It says, so much for 50-50. Uh, Linda received more than 70% of the couple's liquid assets, but the pain doesn't stop there for the Hulkster. His ex also received a 40%. Ownership stake in Hulk's companies, plus she receives a three million dollar property settlement. Oh, how does he not kill her? What, the, ridiculous. what did she do to earn that? That's Nothing. A, she spread her legs like a fucking whore. But he must have had a shitty lawyer. Yeah, he now, got to like, I know the guys like he get tapped out. It sounds like he said, "Look, I just wanted to be over, brother." Yeah, yeah. I know guys get fucked in divorce cases, but he yep. he must have had a shitty lawyer. Yeah, on top. hired Colin Ferguson. <laughs> that would be great. What a lawyer. That's uh, she horrible. got a lump sum of $7.44 million from the couple's investment else. account. <laughs> uh, come the, on. The now. remaining wow. 2.97. <laughs> the top. So listen to this. She got 7.44 of the investment accounts, and he got 2.97. How is that fucking possible? That ridiculous. That isn't even He made right. all that money. It's ridiculous. Yep. You know what's great is to bring shit up like that on, on while you're doing stand up, and as you're doing it, you hear the women in the crowd go, That's right. Oh, yeah, That's yeah, right. yeah. I mean, don't uh -huh. ever do it. Because the hatred you'll have for women will go through the fucking yes. roof. Yes. Right. No fucking embarrassment from it. Yeah, how do you not just yell cunt at that point? Yeah. They're not I mean, embarrassed. If I was on a date anything. with somebody and something, you know, they flip it around and I was with someone going, That's right. That's right. I'd be like, Okay, thank you. Thank yeah. you for that lock the door test. <laughs> 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 the fucking yeah. word. Yeah, they they just fucking you. You that's the thing with with women in the in the audience a lot. Of it's like you'll talk about shit. Like I have a bit about women aging, and I talk about it. And I'm like, yeah, you have you an age, idea, Joe. Let's be honest. You, you <laughs> age <laughs> something you present. An idea. Yeah. Yeah. Before you yeah. give us your little stand up comedy. I'm class. not gonna do oh, the bit. It's like that time when I was down in the Elks Club. Bill, I wish we could just hang out for once and just be pals. <laughs> Come on, Joe. You know this is the way we show affection. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. I got a bit. He got an idea. But uh, oh. uh, you yell it, and you fucking cunts, y'all just turn immediately. It's so funny. Yeah, <laughs> I'm hanging in there. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, I do want to hear this. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna Opie, tell you. Opie looks like he's preparing for some Oscar-winning role over there. What <laughs> <laughs> that castaway beard? What's going on with you? Nah, it's uh, my horrible beard. I like it. You're looking at a little, little, yeah. little uh, Greg Opie Hughes as Ernest Hemingway. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, he became Ernest. Yes. <laughs> he wanted to be called Ernest. <laughs> oh, Opie always, Hanks. It's, he's <laughs> always in character. As long as he's got the beard. It's not staying. If you need to know, it's, it started with the whole Patrice thing a while ago. Oh, it was a beard of woe. Wow. A beard of woe. <laughs> well, it started with, like, I just stopped shaving. And then yeah, I said, why would you it, care when something like that? Right. I have, my, I have happens. my beer of woe. Wait, Opie's on TV. If you need to know, the, real, you need to know the real answer. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Richard Branson. <laughs> Richard Branson. <laughs> <laughs> what are you, an adventurer? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that's the real answer. Let's but, host, but, but host Joe, the show please. from a hot air balloon. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Proud to announce Opie Airlines uh, uh, premiering uh, this week. Fuck a wish. <laughs> God, where's your idea? Let's go. Uh, it's, it's, I'm not going to... Uh, the well the play is... is what? Well, well I'm get, yeah, you, got, you got it right off you. I'm sure awesome. I'll get. Yep. <laughs> There's plenty of beer jokes coming it's my way. Gonna, I, you know, speak to Bill's point about chicks ragging crown. I just I do a joke about how women age worse than we do, and then the women always do get mad. I'm not gonna do the bit, Joe. Well, I just don't like you saying I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna speak to Bill's point like you're two congressmen debating. <laughs> <laughs> Fighting over. Right. Yeah. I was trying to tap dance my way out of a trashing. <laughs> it didn't work. Yes. So what is your stance here, Joe? The chair recognizes William Burr. <laughs> <laughs> so, but it's women get mad at it. And it's like I'm I'm taught this bit is written because of shit that women say. I, I'm not just up here being. A, so it's just they just eh, like they, you ma like you're making the shit up. No, Joe, don't give up. Yeah. Yeah, they just want to be. Point. My point is, they just want to. They just want to run their fucking mouths. 
and uh, they're wow. lippy, and I don't like it. Oh, there you go. I think <laughs> they need to learn their place. <laughs> I got to say, I saw there both of you guys at Carnegie. It was obviously Bill Burr's show, but uh, Joe, okay. you, you fucking killed. And uh, speaking of women aging, Bill Burr's material on plastic surgery. Holy fuck did that have... I was oh. howling. Oh, thanks. I don't want you to do it. I'm just giving you a compliment. Well, I could never follow Joe's yeah. awful material. <laughs> your fucking... <laughs> your new shit, especially on the plastic surgery, that had me fucking howling, man. Oh, thank and you. And Carnegie Hall dug it. You had a great... Thank you. Well, I, you had a great I show I wouldn't there. have been there without this show. You had a great Ooh, show. That's oh, true, right. man. I, that's all... This whole area. Right. I sold nothing until I got on this show. <laughs> I showed <laughs> nothing. Nothing. <laughs> nothing. I was doing... Uh, and, and I just listened to you last night. Uh, you did a podcast on Black Friday that was really fucking funny. Oh, those fucking idiots. Just go there on Tuesday and yeah, buy yeah. less. Go yeah. in like a gentleman and just be like, I'll take one of those in that color. Why yeah. would you get involved in that? They don't Why have the sale on, on Tuesday. They the do have the sale. Yeah, the price well, don't saying, change. Yeah, but you, this year especially, they started the Black Friday deals way before Black Friday. Yeah, Joe, I'm saying you obviously can't afford it. If you have to really put yourself... Ah, you, you're, 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 you're fucking health at risk. I disagree with that a to, little to, bit. To go buy a, uh, a Foreman grill, Joe? <laughs> really? <laughs> Why don't you just... Do you think that by, by buying that, you're now going to be rich? <laughs> I went to uh, I went to one at midnight. I hate how you already knew what you were going to say, yeah, and did. you didn't listen to Wait, the rest of that. Wait, you didn't listen to a word. Wait, you out completely. <laughs> 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 you did Black Friday, Joe? I went at midnight, like Thanksgiving oh, night. Oh, my God. I didn't even Why? look at you. I had nothing, I had to, nothing to do, so I you went to Walmart? Anything. <laughs> no, I didn't go to Walmart. I went to, I, went to, I went to the Joe Jeans outlet. I got a bunch of pairs of Joe Jeans for like 60 bucks each. You couldn't fucking You're beat it. You're in show business, Joe. I'm not at the level where I get free shit yet. But I would so, have money. I mean, you could have got those jeans on Tuesday. <laughs> Joe, yeah. Yeah. Oh, shit. Bill Burr's right. When, no, when I, just, Joe, I was bored. If Joe ever becomes an out. icon, he'll be one of those people who goes in for the voiceover and is stealing mints. <laughs> 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 you tight fuck. I, you uh, is Joe, Joe a chiseler? Totally. No, 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 no. no. Joe, like, Joe thinks it's all going to go away I'm right? not any second. I'm not a chiseler, but I do enjoy a deal. I'm not going to lie. I like a <laughs> nice bargain when I find one. Did you fight? But I, won't, I won't bargain hunt, but if I find one, I get genuinely excited. Did you oh, fight yeah. the crowds for Kansas your jeans? City. No, it was empty. <laughs> but you had to go at midnight? Ugh. Dude, I was literally sitting on my mom and dad's couch at midnight on Thanksgiving. I was wired. I had nothing to do. And they're, they live by these outlets. I was like, I'm just going to go over and He's see what it's shit. all about. And I went he over. He planned trying to make yeah. his entire fucking visit for his parents yeah. around yep. this goddamn yeah. city. trying to make it yeah. sound logical. Yeah. You I was wait. wired. When I'm yeah. wired at 12, you know, I'll what jerk else? off. Uh, it's some way I'll to wind down. Sandwich. Not go to the store. Yeah. Holy shit, John Jones right. is making his way down the hall. He's here early. What? John Jones, man, he's the UFC fucking, champion. He's yes. the fucking like man these days. Oh. Yeah, yeah, but what? you got to get Joe in the seat. He's yeah. early. Should we, over there. Do we have Jesus. to break for live reads, or are we good? I think we're good. Oh, okay. All right. Oh, oh Joe's getting the fucking ejector seat. No, get 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 Joe another. Just how much for those sneakers, Joe? Did you get those down there too? Here, Joseph. <laughs> Take your coat. <laughs> yeah, beat it. Take Bill your is, coat. Bill is surly today. Take yeah, your coat what? and your breakfast and beat it. Just beat it. Joe, so I, I just I don't like pontification. <laughs> really? Did you ever listen to your own act? Oh, hey! Joey DeRose! Joey DeRose! Jody! Hi, uh, Joe. I want to see if that mic's on. Joe, were you talking to that real fast? Oh, sorry. Yes, yes. Hello? Okay, I got you. Is it on? Holy shit. John Jones Hello, in the studio. Yeah. How you doing? Pleasure. How you doing, it's man? a pleasure to meet you, sir. He's in fighting shape. Obi and Anthony. What's up, man? Fuck that. John Jones, man. Uh-uh. We, be you we, are became, in... we became instant fans of yours. Oh, instant. Yeah? When, well, which when... fight was it? Shogun fight? Uh, which one was it? Uh, it was before Shogun. It was before Shogun, and we before wanted Shogun. you in here badly. I was at the Shogun fight. That was... It in was, New Jersey? Person? I was sitting behind his family. Uh, oh, it was poor, really, poor yeah. They were not happy. With God. Uh, <laughs> These tough Brazilian guys who were like part of his crew and his family, and they were weeping. Like there was, there wow, was like, they really? couldn't believe he lost. Yeah, because he really beat up Shogun. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, it was funny. I was actually nervous to go to Brazil because of that. You know, he's like a hero over there. You know, like an icon. I was <laughs> like, I don't know if I'm quite welcome there yet. <laughs> oh, um, he beat up there, Elvis. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. Uh, yeah. 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 It wasn't even a close fight. Like if it, maybe for the first few minutes of the first round, but I watched it again yesterday. Oh, it was humiliating! Humiliating <laughs> yeah. to lose your belt like that. Like you know, mm -hmm. if you lose your belt, you want it to go out maybe yeah. in the fifth round. 
Not like that. We're not talking about losing bills. Here. No, no, All right, no, yeah, no. you're fighting uh, next week. I'm sure you'll be fine. <laughs> Rashida. Yeah, yeah, I'm excited, man. Lyoto's a tough, tough dude. Were well, you supposed to fight Rampage, but he's hurt and you can't? No, I, I fought Rampage. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I mean, uh, Rashad, Rashad. Rashad Evans. Yeah, me and Rashad, we've, we've both had like uh, injuries, and the fight's just not panning out to happen so far. But uh, it'll happen. I'm sure right after this uh, Lyoto fight, it'll be uh, that's either a, That's Rashad a fight Evans. everyone wants to see. Yeah. yeah. John yeah. Jones and Rashad Evans. Holy they're, shit. They're calling that the Ali Frazier of our sport, you know, yeah. that comparison of just that. Uh, the hype that's behind it. So I'm you excited. had no problem with Rampage. Were you surprised by that at all? Um, you know, you know, I, I I knew I was very confident in my game plan. I knew that my best chances of losing the fight was to stand in the pocket with him. The guy has devastating knockout power, left hand and right hand. Um, he can hit any angle. So you know, I knew if I stayed out of the pocket and used my longest range weapon, which is my leg kicks and my, my push kicks and things, that I'd be fine. So right. um, I was confident, but I didn't know it was going to go like that. I mean, yeah. he, he actually only hit me one time throughout mm -hmm. the whole fight. Yeah. Which is nuts. Is there ever a moment in a fight like that where you're like, do you know you're going to win? Or is that sport just so crazy that you can't even allow yourself to think that? Yeah, you, can, you can't even allow yourself to think that. I mean, one... <laughs> this is going great. you just down. Yeah, no way. You got to be on point. At all, at all times of the mm. fight, you know, crazy thing with me, I think I have ADD. So just keeping that level of concentration and focus. <laughs> he start looking at people for in the 25 crowd. Twenty five rounds, yeah. I'm like, when is this gonna be over? You know, so. <laughs> I could have ADD. That's, <laughs> That's hilarious. Yeah, he gave it up to you too, Rampage. He never does that. He's like, this guy's the real deal. He's great. Like when he was talking at the end, he really praised you. Yeah. Oh you know, yeah. It did. was nuts because uh, before the fight, you know, Rampage. He kept making fun of me. He had a thousand different names to call me. Uh, every media outlet we did, you know, he was down on me and down on my game, down on my coaching staff. So I was like, you know, kind of, I'm really starting to hate this guy, you know. And uh, so uh, after the fight, there was a, a photographer caught a picture with my foot literally inside of his mouth. <laughs> and uh, I was like, you know what? <laughs> you know, I just wanted, it was just so iconic, you know. Uh, but because, because he was so respectful right after the fight, and gave me the props that I deserve. You know, he, I, uh, I decided not to make that the uh, display picture on my Twitter page. <laughs> <laughs> does that go into making you want to hit a guy more, like, or does it mess you up? Like, because Ali would get in people's heads, and, and then they couldn't fight him because they were so mad. If a guy is just shit talking you, does it, does it, does it kind of put so much anger in you that it could throw you off? You know, it, it, it doesn't. Not it doesn't work for me like that. You know, I try to keep it more about the competition. You know, let's let's. Save all the trash talk and let's see who's the better athlete and the better combatant. Um, but with Rampage, you know, he just kept insulting me so much. It um, it didn't cloud my mind or, or throw me off, but I just, it made me want to finish the fight more. You know, I didn't want the fight to go to a decision. I wanted to try to knock him out or embarrass him. And that picture was pretty embarrassing. <laughs> I didn't see the photo. Yeah, yeah and that's because I never put it up because he was respectful after the fight. So I said, you know what? Let's shake hands and walk our you separate ways, like, man. Yeah, I'll let you slide you on let that him one. Slide. Yeah. I'm trying to think how to ask this question without you giving up any sort of secret. But what is the most like? I don't know. What hurts the most? The elbows. Everyone, ever I watch that, I always think for some reason, just laying on the ground, that ground and pound. Somebody just yeah. dropping yeah, yeah, those elbows. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's my signature. The ground yeah, and pound. Yeah. yeah, every time I get my opponent down. And start raining elbows down on him. You know, when he gets back to his feet, he just doesn't seem the same. It takes a lot of people's will. <laughs> yeah, what level of training can you do where that. you can handle that that Charlie horse kick? Ooh. An Olympic level moment. I can't believe you guys yeah. can still stand up. Ooh, I was in a cab said. yesterday, and Bobby punched me in the leg, and I <laughs> limped into the restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> that was, that's Bobby. Yeah, just you know, sitting there, like half a jab. <laughs> some some traditional martial artists, uh, they do uh, body conditioning, and that's where they literally take turns kicking each other uh, oh, in the legs, and, and they they do these drills where they bang their forearms together, and, it, and after a while, your body starts to harden and and uh, you know not be susceptible to damage. Right. Um, you know, <laughs> I haven't taken things that far. I just rather yeah. get out of the way. So uh, <laughs> so there is ways to condition yourself, but uh, yeah, I, I don't think imagine. it's very common right now. In oh, our sport. Right. Can't imagine. Yeah. Well, my, oh, shins, are pretty, taking those my shins are pretty conditioned. That's <laughs> yeah. unbelievable. Your elbows are, are but that's the, the, the worst thing in, in MMA is his elbows. Yeah. There was one, you hit Shogun, I think you spun around and hit him with a left elbow in the face. Oh, like, yeah, you, you're impossible elbow. to figure out because and big guys, when you get in on a tall guy, at least his reach can't be used, right. but you just put your knees and, and elbows in the guy's and, face. Yeah, and we talked, at, one -on -one. we talked about that move on our show, and your arms are so long, It, I swear to God, it almost looked like it was a fist. And it was his <laughs> elbow coming around. Right. Yeah. Remember that? Yeah, I love it. See, 
see, I found myself being at a disadvantage whenever guys are too close to me because they have an 84.5 inch reach. It's the same leech as Linux Lewis. Uh, so, you know, I had to figure out what am I going to do to defend myself when these guys are all up on my grill. Right. Uh, so I started working tons of Muay Thai, tons of knees, tons of elbows, and more importantly, tons of takedowns from the clinch. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's become a good uh, defense and offense, Hell short yeah. range. It seems like there's no, there's no good way to approach you for, from a fighter's point of view because the closer you get, the more likely you are to take a knee in the face, and that's just a horrible, horrible mm -hmm. place to be. I'm yeah. glad it appears that way. Yeah, it really does. <laughs> We're, it's fighting. We love how you fight. It's exciting. Right, Jimmy? Yeah, it's unpredictable. It you, really is. Everything that people think you're going to do, you don't. Like, again, in, in the Shogun fight, there was one, as it's, you went for a leg lock, and then he's laying on the back, and you just hammer fisted him back in the face. Ah, oh, <laughs> embarrassing. <laughs> yeah. The least expected is hard to block. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. It yeah. seems like you train like that, or is that just your natural instinct in fighting? Um, a lot of it's training, and then a lot of it's just having an open mind and creativity. You know, I'm always meditating, I'm fighting, and thinking about new openings. And you know, I think I'm a, I'm a really big, uh, a big student of myself. You know, I watch my own fights a lot, and I and I realize, man, you know, if I had more awareness, maybe I can add that in there, or do that next time, and do that next time. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, I take that mindset and I bring it to the gym, and I start working all the things that I could have done. And, and uh, then once you get to the fight, you know, you just find yourself uh, way more openings and way more uh, ideals. And you just start throwing all types of creative things out there. When was the last time somebody didn't know who you were, just like a civilian, and started giving you shit? <laughs> Uh, and what you know, do you think during that moment? You know what? That's funny. Uh, <laughs> that doesn't happen too often. You know, whenever I'm out, you know, I'm usually out with a few buddies, and I'm always like one of the more fit guys around, and and I'm always I always have a smile on my face. So, uh, you know, people want to start with me. It's just it's just rare. Oh, all right. Yeah, <laughs> I, I would love that. The that smile would just be the, That would be oh, the greatest yeah, yeah. YouTube video yeah. ever. Oh, <laughs> oh no, kidding. What's up, buddy? Hey, Stop. Stop. Fuck you, fuck yeah. it. Get off me, get oh, off me. There he goes, yeah. <laughs> That's what guys like us fantasize about. It's like if we if we were like that, it's like the moment the guy said something, we're like, excuse me? Right. Like I would be reacting like I react as a nerd now. But like, yeah. That's just not the way you carry yourself when you can fight, I think. Yeah. I know. When was the last time you were afraid walking home? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I can't remember. Superhero. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's funny because uh, uh, I train in Albuquerque and uh, me and about five of my teammates that train at Jackson's MMA, we were out downtown one night, and uh, a guy was getting jumped. Uh, he provoked the uh, the whole fight, but he was getting jumped by uh, a group of guys. So it was, it was about five against one, and it was me and my five buddies uh, huh. that were out. You know, we were watching this happen, and uh, one of my teammates was like, "Yo, let's get over there. You know, let's let's go get him. You know, let's go stand up for that guy." I'm like, "Well, first you got to realize all these guys are drunk, and the guy that's getting jumped." To try to take on five guys, so right. this is his own problem in a way. And I was like, "Could you imagine a YouTube video with us <laughs> pro fighters? Oh. It looked like the Power Rangers, like <laughs> <laughs> beating up these idiots." You know, I'm like, "Dude, come on!" <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, you got to let that guy learn his lesson. Yeah, well, the police came before we know it, and it, it, it wasn't that too bad. He actually fought them all off. But did all like, right, dude. Like we're doing spinning, spinning crescent kicks. And he's like, Who are these guys? The guys you know? just windmilling at you, <laughs> yeah. like, trying to get a punch in. <laughs> <laughs> so you have no temptation to step in. Like if you saw, I always thought like, what would I do? And build a funny bit on it. You see like a domestic violence episode or whatever. What, what would you do? And it's like you want to help, but it's scary to 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 think it would be turned on you. Would you jump in or? Yeah. Well, uh, my last the last time I, I stood up for someone and used my martial arts um, was the day of my title fight in Patterson, New Jersey. You know, uh, me and my coaches we were meditating at a park in Patterson. And uh, we hear a couple screaming, run over to the scene, and uh, there's an old couple with their windows busted out. They're standing next to their car, their car crying, and uh, they said they had just been robbed. So me and my coaches, we catch the tail end of this guy, and, uh, and we chase him down. You know, and me being probably in the best shape, getting ready to fight. You know, four hours later, uh, I catch up to the guy first, and, and I leg kick him and take him down, and I hold him to my coaches come, and we all subdue this guy. And the Patterson police, they come and. And uh, they arrest the guy, and we get this woman, what happens to be her GPS system back. And she was just so grateful. God, you know, it was all over TMZ. Jesus, and that guy's guy's, he's got to still be telling that story. Oh, yeah. 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 All right, two old people, easy target. Easy <laughs> fucking target. <laughs> out of fucking nowhere, this goddamn superhero shows up. Wrong time, wrong place, man. I love it. His whole body felt like an elbow. <laughs> <laughs> I love, yeah. that, uh, I love that fighting is so second-hand, or first-hand, you just like, yeah, 
Yeah, the day of the fight, I just got into another quick fight. If I fought, if I kicked somebody, I'd be down for a month. Yeah. I'd be like, that's it for me. And you, you just whatever. It's just like small, you know. It's business as usual. Day yeah. at the office. I mean, we all have uh. our niche, and, and fighting's what I do best. But you know, it was cool. You know, to use like my my gift in a positive light like that, and mm. to show people that you know mixed martial arts uh, not only builds character, but you know you can. You know, it's just so much yeah. greatness to that. You're not the Cobra from. Kai. Yeah. <laughs> you're, 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 you're the, the, the friendly dojo. <laughs> How silly is it, this misconception that it's so violent when the fights... No way MMA fighters take the abuse boxers do, because you're not oh, getting no punched way. for 12 rounds. No way. And you're going to make a lot of boxers upset out there to hear, but it's just true. You know, it's factual. MMA is actually one of the safest sports you can play. You know, you, uh, you got football players. You got these 230-pound men running as fast as they can and clashing into each other. You got the linemen, um, you know, blasting each other off the whistle, play by play. Those guys get tons of concussions. Um, you guys, you got, you got, uh, what, uh, boxers, you know, boxers, you know, the primary goal is to knock each other's heads off, right? Round after round, you get knocked down, you get an eight count, uh, eight count right. to stand back up and get another concussion. You know, these sports are pretty dangerous, you know, um, you know, I'm a champion, and, and, and out of my last four fights, uh, I've been hit about five times in the face total, uh, which is a nut statistic. And, uh, you know, a lot of times fights are won by leg kicks or mm. submission. There's a there's an honorable way to just say I've had enough by tapping out, you know. So um, where I guess it looks brutal because of the blood and the ground and pound and everything, uh, common injuries we go home with is maybe a, a cut over the eye or or a black eye, or maybe some bruised ribs or anything, but, I mean, it's it's not nearly as dangerous as a lot the of The only sports. one that looks crazy is after the dude's knocked out, and you guys are so quick that you Dude. get those other 17 in is that, that <laughs> rap is running all the way. No! 17. <laughs> really? I, I'm just saying. Really? I'm just, you know what it is? I put myself into, into the, who I would be in the fight, and it's always the loser. So I always see myself uh, laying there uh, going, uh, stop, uh, stop. Yeah, hoping uh, someone would just, get there in time, yeah. right? And the you can see your job opportunities going down, like manager of a restaurant, waiter, busboy, <laughs> eating out of the dumpster. Please, get to this guy. That's funny. You know what? A lot of times the fans are so upset because they feel as if fights are being stopped too way too now? fast. Yeah. You know, the referees, mm. they're aware. You know, they, they know our backgrounds. They know our stories. And and and, uh, and they also know that our wives are sitting on the front row. Uh. So, uh, you know, they stop the fights pretty mm. fast. Do you ever get annoyed when some crowd, when there's really some strategy going on, when it's down on the ground and they start booing? Does yeah. that ever bother you? Yeah. You just want to stop fighting and be like, do you understand what the fuck I'm doing down here? <laughs> Don't start an arm yeah, This is important, assholes. too. Right. Yeah. You right. know, that's the biggest difference between uh, <laughs> the Pride organization man. and the UFC. You know, Pride originated, originated in Japan, and the Japanese uh, fan base, they had so much more respect for every aspect of martial arts. You know, they really carried that, that martial arts demeanor and energy with them. You know, UFC fans are a little bit more about the kickboxing and the big knockout. They just want to mm. see some blood and some knockouts in America. Yeah, they yeah. don't want to see two guys, you know, rolling around on the mat. Right. Uh, so, you know, the UFC fans, uh, they're really starting to, to pick up and realize that jiu-jitsu is a, is a cultural thing. It's a thing that has lots of history, and they're really starting to understand what guard passing is and full mount and all the different positions. And they're having, you know, a lot more respect for it nowadays. So it's not as bad as it used to be, but hmm. they're learning. We're getting there. And and it's got to be said, youngest uh, UFC champion, John Jones. We 23 yeah. Uh, 24 now. When you want, I mean. You see this beard? Well, I'm getting oh, you look like a, a much more distinguished gentleman. But now, when you won the belt, you were 23, I, I think, right? I won the belt, yeah, I was 23. Okay. And yeah. and you've only been fighting in the UFC, what, four or five months now? Actually, years. I, I uh, yeah, I uh, my first martial arts class was four years ago. Four years ago. Yeah, which is it's nuts to me to think of how far I've Who's made the it. poor bastard locked up with you? <laughs> But, yeah, I'll, honestly, I'll take the new fish. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It, was, it was some uh, some kid from uh, from Boxborough, nope. uh, Massachusetts, and this kid had no clue what he was getting into. Uh, <laughs> right? No, and I, I I mean, how long have you been in the UFC though? Uh, you know, just about two years. Oh, okay, just about okay. two years. Wow, been moving fast. I'm so passionate yeah, been about the sport. Fast. How did you take martial arts for? Like, did you? What did you do before that? Were you fighting your whole life, like boxing, or just? No, um, actually, you know, I wrestled. I wrestled in oh. high school, and I wrestled in college two years at Iowa Central. And uh, you know, after I graduated from school, I just had this void. Like, I felt like I wasn't living fulfilled. You know, I had to continue competing somehow. So I ended up joining a jujitsu school. Got pretty good at jujitsu. My jujitsu coach encouraged me to 
go with martial arts full uh, full speed ahead, and and that's what I did. And you know, I just I had this vision that I would be a champion one day, and I carried myself like that, and I trained that way, and meditated on fighting, you know, study fighting as much as possible, and I found myself catching up to guys who have been doing it. 12, 14 wow. years. I met you briefly. Uh, me and Bob Kelly, actually, it was, it was the very famous Frank Muir. It was the Muir Lesnar yeah. fight. Oh, yeah. Uh, you were, and we were back. We just said, Reed Harris introduced us very briefly. And Bobby goes, That guy's going to be a champion. After we walked away, he goes, He's the best Bobby fighter in the shit. Yeah, Bobby's really. Uh, he great. really knows his shit. Yeah, he's not here today. Uh, intuitive. Are you, uh, you're from Rochester originally? Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah, inner city, Rochester. When New did York. you leave? I moved from Rochester in 98. Oh. 98. I think I was about 10. 10 oh, okay. 11. You've never had a garbage plate then. I have Nick Tahoe's. Yeah, oh, yeah. I love garbage plate. <laughs> I try plate. to explain the garbage plate to these guys. <laughs> yeah, it's been years, though, man. Honestly, it's been a long time. I probably shouldn't be eating too many of those nowadays. Yeah, no. The Nick Tahoe uh, <laughs> garbage plate is legendary. Up there. Oh, yeah. It is just a slop of nope, everything. Nope, people. You haven't had one. No. It's so You're hard to have living. discipline. You know, it's like I try. I do, I do three three days in a row. I've done elliptical, and I'm like, all right. <laughs> now you can treat yourself, Jimmy. Treat Dude, yourself. Is, is there an applause button? <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> yeah. Three days in a row, and I figured, why not have dessert last night? I don't know how you guys. Can I we talk to Jimmy. He likes to treat himself. I do. He he likes to treat, treat himself. <laughs> and by the way, he's a nice man. But what he did is, is he looked and he just looked down at my stomach real quick, and then oh, looked back up man. and laughed at me. <laughs> oh, three days. I bet you he yeah. never treats himself, John Jones. Yeah. Discipline. When do, when do you? We, we always ask fighters this. When when do you binge? I mean, there has to be a time where you kind of let yourself go for a week, or do you? Yeah, definitely. Um, right after a fight, usually I take off about a solid month. Oh. You know, no training. You know, I try not to even watch a fight and mm. just you know maintain like somewhat of a normal lifestyle. Mm. You know, I am 24, and all my friends are around that age, so their their priorities are way different than mine. The responsibility <laughs> levels are way different than mine. And uh, sometimes it's just good to go back to my hometown and just remind them that I'm still one of them and, you know, hang out, play video games for several hours with the guys and just, just sit around and chill, you know, mm -hmm. and kick it and let them know that none of this has changed me. So When you, when you start to train, how, how long do you train for a fight? I train about three, three to four solid months of all nutrition, you know, three times a day, four times a day. It's a lot. It's taxing on the body. And on the mind, man, the pressure of knowing that, you know, if, if you were to lose, everyone's going to have that on their DVR. Yeah, how do you fight that? Yeah. Oh, you wow. You know what I mean? That's, that's what really gets my you don't foot think out of bed in the way. morning. Oh, it's, it's some oh, pressure. Fuck. Yeah. That's what's pressure. always blown my mind is just sitting there training, and you just know there's somebody else training to kick the shit out of you yeah. at, like, the the, the, the highest the level. level. Yeah, it's it, way different than, like, you know, being on a basketball team. Like, oh, we lost the game tonight. You know, you know that sucked. You lose the game, man. You're going to be hurt or, or the embarrassment, the fear of being exposed. Yeah. I think that's really what it is. You and know? it's not a team either, really. Even it's though you, you have your crew, it's you, you're, It's like almost like stand-up. Like, I always got jealous of people in bands that if he went out and it wasn't going well, at least you had three other guys there oh, to drummer was off. with. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you could yeah. always kind of go down. But yeah, it's totally, uh, it's totally on you, man. All improv, man. Jesus. And you can't control, uh, you know, you can't control what your opponent's going to do, you know, reactions. You got to control your own body, your own energy, and his. And it's just one big masterpiece. And you fight only, what, two, maybe three times a year, right? You know, I've actually fought four times a year. It's wow. the first time in our sports history. That's a lot, uh, right? That a champion's fought in three world titles. And, and uh, you know, three world titles in one year. Wow. So, yeah, Can't I've had a you're busy sitting on it. 2004. <laughs> yeah. Do you ever have a problem with uh, the family of someone you beat down as you're walking out of the ring? Where they ever get, like, upset? No, you know, I haven't had that issue yet. UFC fighters are pretty, uh, pretty down to earth and pretty cool, most mm. of them. You know, um, a lot of times, you know, you find the guys at the same after parties or sharing a drink and, hey, you know, man, you kicked my butt tonight. You know, uh, you know, good job. I'll come back and get you next time type of thing. Mm. So there's, there's very little animosity after a defeat. You know, we all respect each other and know what we go through to, to get ready for a performance. So how can I wish you not I could respect be that, a guy like that? That respectful in defeat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I wish I could be that respectful in victory. Yeah. <laughs> if he kicked my ass, I'd go, oh, next time. But if I won, I would be an arrogant prick. <laughs> Stink. <laughs> Smack you in the face. Get away from me. Is that all you had? <laughs> <laughs> Send your wife over here. <laughs> yeah, exactly, like Mr. T and Rocky yeah, yeah. Three. No, because that's what I was thinking. <laughs> hey, woman. Hey, woman. <laughs> I was thinking that shit because, you know, when you're tell, telling jokes on stage, you ever do that and you see the boyfriend start getting mad? Oh, yeah. But you literally beat down the boyfriend in front of his wife or girlfriend. That's just a whole nother level yeah. of complete domination. So oh, I yeah. would figure that there would, be, there would be some sort of animosity. Give her a wink. Did you like that? Yeah. Huh? This is <laughs> yeah, how a real man throws at me. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Rashad and you had a, a history together, too, like of training together. And everyone says that that's a pretty good matchup. 
um, or, or harder for you than, say, fighting a rampage or whatever? And what, what is your situation with him? Uh, it's funny. Yeah, we haven't tried ever as we trained together for about a year, um, you know, and we obviously had our falling out. You know, he got injured, and the UFC offered me the chance to step in his spot and, and challenge the champion for his belt. Uh, when he got injured, he said, listen, John, you're like a little brother to me. There's no one I would rather see uh, take my place for the belt, uh, you know, challenge than you. You know, I believe that you're ready and that you're going to win this belt. So, you know, best of luck to you. Came to my, my dinner, you know, with my family and closest friends and, and gave me this spiel. And I said, okay, cool, man. You know, and our friendship was tight. You know, I had his blessing to go out there and win the world championship. I don't think he expected me to win it, maybe. So then I mm. actually won the, the championship. <laughs> And his tone changed pretty fast, saying, oh, if he was really my friend, he would have never stepped in. And, and I'm like, hey, listen, I'm a young man trying to pursue my dream. And I had an, there's a job opening, and you gave me the blessing to take this position. And now that I'm doing so well at it, you know, now I became the enemy and I become the traitor somehow. Um, so, the, you know, for the people who follow the storylines pretty closely, they, they totally understand that that's exactly what it was. And... Uh, so, you know, now he's he's doing all this these interviews telling people that, you know, because he trained with me, uh, he can crack my my code and he, he knows the best ways to beat me and mm. and he's seen me quit in practice and he's and he knows my openings and all this stuff. But what he doesn't realize is that I've only been competing for four years. Rashad's have been he's been competing for, you know, eight years or maybe ten years. So with the experience come many tendencies and my game is elevating by the month. So I'm not the same fighter that he competed against when we were training against mm -hmm. each other. And, uh, and where he feels as if he knows my tendencies, I totally know his tendencies because of the fact that not only do I have way more footage to study, but I've <laughs> trained with him as well. So uh, I'm excited for when that fight takes place. I'm more than confident that, that, uh, that I'll do exactly what you know, that I've been doing, you know, studying these opponents, knowing my enemy, knowing myself, not being naive to my downfalls and weaknesses, and just... Uh, and just can you, playing the game that I love. Can you give us an Ali prediction? What round? Uh, What's it going to be? Mm -hmm. You know, um, you know, I usually don't give predictions, but for Rashad Evans, Anthony, well. come on. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> yeah. And you mean from from Rashida for this. the Saturday? You know. <laughs> yeah, you know, I, yeah, exactly. It's probably not smart to look past Leo. No, Rashida. that's what the Tyson looked past Buster Douglas. Big mistake. Yeah. You never want to look past the next uh, guy. Yeah. But at the same time, the Rashad Evans fight is inevitable. It's, it has to happen. Yes. The UFC fans want it. And it's going to happen. So, um, obviously, I'm not looking past Lioto. Um, but for the Rashad Evans fight, I'm definitely predicting a knockout. Um, mm. And Lioto, I would just say I'm going to go out there, have fun, play the game that I love, and, uh, and do my best, like always. By the way, did you see the great advice I just gave him? That's all I would offer in training camp. Hey, remember Tyson Douglas? <laughs> That's all I would have to say. I offered you nothing. You Thank God. My, you can be my hype man. Yeah, <laughs> God, Tyson Douglas. Douglas Tyson. I just keep saying it different. Mike and Buster. <laughs> <laughs> Bring up one of the most famous fights that there's no way he doesn't know about. I know. It's just, there's no way that motivates any fighter anymore. It's 25 years ago. But uh, it, I can see where it would be hard to look past one guy to another guy. Do, do you think with you and Rashad, because we had him in and he didn't speak badly of you, but uh, is it harder to fight a guy who is a close friend? Like, Do you almost need something that makes you willing to, to go out and kick the shit out of him or him you? Yeah. Well, the thing about me and Rashad is that, you know, we're not we're not close friends by any means anymore. You know, there's been lots of words uh, said between us. And, uh, you know, I'm honestly, I'm honestly kind of over it in a way. You know, I just want to see the competition. You know, it's same thing with Rampage. There's so much talk going on. And I just want to see who's the better athlete now. Um, but we're, it's safe to say that there, there's no friendship there at whatsoever. So it'll be business as usual when we get in there. I'm sure the first time he swings at me, uh, I'm like, okay, let's, uh, <laughs> you know, let's do this. Let's do this. So wow. would it be harder to do if you were still close? It would be it would be harder to do. You know, I don't think the kickbacks on the expert would be very hard uh, because I kickbox my teammates all the time for practice. Uh, but one thing I don't do in practice very often is ground and pound my teammates. You know, <laughs> yeah. ground and pound is always practice on a, on a big bag on the floor. Right. Uh, so you know, I've I've never elbowed a friend in the face, and uh, that part would be hard. But you know, swinging swinging for home runs 
on the feet. Yeah, I, 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 that would go a lot easier. See, if I was Rashad, that would be a, a ploy I would do. I would say nothing but nice things about you because it may, even though you would maybe still win, it would make it harder for you. Mm. Like on the ground, you'd like, you know, you remember that shit I said? It was nice. <laughs> <laughs> you're trying to make yeah. eye contact with yeah. them, make a little sad yeah. face. How's a family? How's a family? <laughs> right. Yeah, you kids. have an elbow in the throat. I, I was watching that too, and, and it, it was you were covering, and you were allowed to do that in mixed martial arts, cover the mouth. Oh, yeah. So you can't breathe. And it's yeah, like, that's old school. Yeah, you know, wow, you can breathe is. through it, but uh, it, it just disturbs the breathing, your breathing pattern, and it's just, it's a very uncomfortable feeling. It kind of makes you feel like you're drowning under there a little bit. And you're bit. so constant, I'm sure you're so concentrating on the fact, like, I gotta breathe, I gotta breathe, that you're not really thinking about what you mm -hmm. have to be doing, like yeah. throwing punches or getting yeah, the fuck out of there. No way, you're trying to focus oh, on getting your man. breathing pattern back. Well, he was on That's his back, brutal. and you, you're so long that your legs are open, it's like it's hard to, to, to grab, le it's mm. impossible to get John Jones off you, and you had your hand over his face, and when he finally got rid of that, you just put your elbow and the ref had to keep saying oh, on the face not the neck not the neck because your elbow is kind of uh, stopping his head <laughs> right, right, right. it was terrible <laughs> terrible beating you make it sound so brutal <laughs> no but it wasn't it was it, it wasn't uh, anything unnecessary it it's was a just... beautiful thing people oh, let me ask you, this. <laughs> you ever watch those shows on people going to prison and that type of stuff they'll just show inside like me those shows are absolutely terrifying to me going there's no fucking way i could survive in there do you do you just watch those that's like a comedy <laughs> you gonna try to shank me are you serious <laughs> you and how many of your cellmates what are you gonna do with that thing Really? What is it? Oz? Is that what the show called? Oz, Oz, yeah. No, I mean, look, literally, like on like uh, National Geographic, where they'll go into San Quentin and yep. you just see, you know, you just <laughs> see these people, you know, some people having a good time in there, some people not having such not a good so time. Not so much. I haven't really fell in with a gang or anything. I was just wondering. Uh, <laughs> was well, a skinny redhead white guy? I don't know. Oh, yeah. I'd be, I'd be, I was yeah. joking on my too. podcast. I would be exotic in prison. <laughs> 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 Exactly. That's awesome. I don't even Classic. try. I just tie my shirt off at the waist and try to pick one guy that looked like he'd kill everybody else. And hey, be like, oh, hey, I take care of you. Uh, Jesus. Uh, you know what? Oh, I, just realized, I just realized oh, I couldn't shit. do it. I don't know how I'd fight you. I think I'd just kill myself. No, I got no, I remember I came out, I would attack a guard. Because I figure at the end of the day, at least he's not going to rape me. You know, I'll just true. take the beat down. And, and you're guaranteed he's going to look the other way when you are getting raped. Yeah. <laughs> yeah that is true. Hey, that's the <laughs> asshole that hit me. Yeah. <laughs> fuck up. Literally, fuck up. <laughs> they wouldn't rape you if you're exotic, though. They would all try to woo you with desserts. <laughs> <laughs> I just keep taking cigarettes, see if I can buy my way out of it. Come on, guys. Come on. I got some commissary here for you. <laughs> but oh, shit, I went to San Quentin with Kenny when we were in San Francisco. Uh, um, and, and they said that Liddell had been there not long before we were, and they said the place went fucking berserk oh, for him. Like they oh, just the applauded UFC, and screamed. Like, yeah, they all love these guys. Oh, yeah. Oh, so, my God. He walks in with that mohawk. That, they must have felt like they were in a movie, like they were going to take <laughs> over the prison or something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I saw uh, Chuck recently, and, uh, you know, Chuck is known for his that mohawk. That's his yeah. signature thing. And uh, he has a wife now. Is he get married? She gelled it mm -hmm. and curled it. Oh, shit. And it wasn't quite right. Not, not no. quite that uh, intimidating the Chuck look. That, Chuck, you know, I looked up to you, Chuck. <laughs> what is this curly, curly locks? <laughs> was it wasn't thing. blood sport Chuck anymore? It wasn't. It wasn't. <laughs> Chuck done Hollywood. I was, I was a little disappointed. Uh, he's, uh, yeah. he's, he's so intimidating. He's still my yeah. brother. We, we've had him in Liddell. here a few times. He's All you guys are intimidating, obviously, but Chuck Liddell takes the cake. He fucking breathes like a bull. <sighs> oh, yeah. yeah. <sighs> it's hard to get a reaction from him. That's the and ice man. We, but you don't want to hear. Here he loves us, but you, we don't know because he's never really shown any emotion. But you don't want to hear Liddell going, "Come on, don't use those soaps; she'll kill me." Right, right. You know, nobody wants to. I know. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Come on, it's not <laughs> worth it. It's not worth it. <laughs> yes. Yeah. You know, he deserves it though. He he's paid the road for guys like himself. Yeah, so yes. you know what. Wear what you want, Chuck. There you go. Yeah, and if you yeah. want to curl your mohawk, dye it, and... dye it pink if you want. To. <laughs> Chuck, no it's one's going to say it to his face. Yeah, <laughs> uh, Jimmy, I, I think maybe if you could take a little bump uh, somehow. What we what do, do, do is we we do this thing where um, like I'm I'm not a fighter. Um, <laughs> Sorry, I, 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 I like to really say that. <laughs> that. Amazing, no, no, right? I know. I just. But uh, I always have the guys, we've had, uh, well, they'll do something on me. Like, uh, we've had, uh, Kane has done it, and we've had Fedor. Like, a lot of, uh, Rashad put me in, like, some floor move. I, I don't want to, like, Anderson kicked me lightly. He, he, his hurt the most, I think, because it didn't hurt as much in the moment, but I had a headache mm. for two hours. Um, because I'm not used to being jostled. You've done about 10 or 12 of About 10 or 12 fighters have put me. something like that. Do you yeah. have good health insurance? Uh, uh, I do, actually. Okay. After. So <laughs> I, uh, it's, it's a split-second thing, like, like... Y 
he taps within a split second of oh, these holes. That's no fun. Well, it was. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> they all they all let me go very quickly, except Fedor did an arm thing on me, and he kept. Uh, well, that was oh, a he translation. Gave, he problem. gave a little more. No, he understood because I tapped, and he laughed, and he smiled, and then he tightened up again, and, <laughs> and then he loosened it, and then he tightened up again. Very unpleasant. Uh, yeah. But the recommendation people have been like uh, twittering me. What's the, what's the? It's D A R C E. How do you spell that? Uh, the Dorse. Oh, the the Dars. The Dars. Okay. The Dars. Yeah. And what, what is, is that entail? I don't know. Ah, well, let's see it. All right, let's do it. Well, what is really? it? Really? I'm actually not the best at the Darst choke. What is your What is your favorite choke? Hmm, favorite choke. I was actually planning on spinning back kicking you. That's what I'm <laughs> I really, I, I literally would be afraid that I would die, but I would love to take a punch. I just couldn't do it. I, I just know oh, that it would be unpleasant. On. Spinning control. Do you? Look, he, yeah, yeah. He's, he's confident, Jimmy. Where would you kick come me? On. Right in the solar plex. No. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, because you, you'd feel bad. Your foot would smush in at my stomach. It, you don't need that. I'd take it maybe in the... <laughs> It would just be embarrassing. Um, yeah, you might actually get a, hurt. How about a good leg kick? Okay. Get a leg kick. Yeah. Sure. Leg kick. You're going to be walking funny for a while. I know. I would take. It, I would request oh. mild, though. Not to. I can't, I can't think of John Jones kick for mild. real. Mild. Yeah, I have to. Salsa. I have two legs. Yeah. <laughs> no, you don't. You have, you have <laughs> devastating, devastating legs. Yeah, we've seen your kicks. Holy yeah. shit. Yeah. At least leg I don't. kicks, lady and oh, ladies and gentlemen. My. All right. Uh, yeah. All right. Here we go. All right. Oh, shit. Jim Norton. Yeah. A little leg kick. You ever thrown a leg kick this early in the morning? I haven't. Five and nine. Think. This is like a singer. I Has remind him of one of those bags that he uses. To just, s- <laughs> just don't pull anything, please. All right, All right. Where, where are you going to go? Just so I can. Uh... All right. So I'm going to get you right around here. Oh, that uh, already looked painful. Oh. Right there. Okay. Oh. All right. So you might want to brace yourself. Not that hard. Okay. Wait, wait. All right. Can you get the get it? Okay. Give me a good angle. Right here. What? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Jesus Christ, Jimmy. All right. Perfect. Hands up. Oh. Oh, do I have to do that? That seems combative. How about? You want to close your eyes? <laughs> no. Uh, I don't. I don't want to be combative with my hands. Go ahead. That seems good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Where, where are we going? Uh, right here? Yeah. All right, here okay. We go. Oh, no. One, two, and three. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was a delayed pain, too. Yeah. Oh. Come on, Jimmy, don't go down. Don't go down. Oh, don't go down. Oh, yeah. I never oh. went down, right? I feel like I have to shit. <laughs> That was all shit too. Oh, that was the worst one ever. <laughs> oh, is that, is that, yeah. <laughs> the best leg kicks are when you don't hear the noise. Wow. Yeah, you just, that's just all, all the earth. Straight to bone. Dude, the all vi- the weight oh. going behind and everything. And that was just T ball speed, too. Oh, yeah, that was, that was, that was just Jimmy. a little. Yeah, Jimmy. Oh, oh that God, that's a great Jimmy doesn't picture. know if he wants to keep standing or sit down. <laughs> Jesus Christ. The visual oh, of that on tomorrow. my phone Fuck is. That. Wow. That you guys gotta look at this on my phone. It's Jimmy's entire body in the frame, and then just his torso. That's all you can see. <laughs> <laughs> it literally looks like a giant oh just coming in and kicking Norton in the leg. Yeah, I was expecting to hear like a crack or a snap oh, or something. No. Oh, that no. was just that all thud. power mm. thud mm-hmm. into. Oh. And where did it hit you, Jimmy? In right in the thigh. In right the thigh. Side, was it yeah, like a Charlie Horse feeling? Already, I have yeah. to piss. <laughs> what, Jimmy, oh what, what kind God. of pain is it? What kind of pain I is it? I have to puke. <laughs> no, it almost, okay. it almost instantly takes away from your cardio, don't you think? Uh, did you get uh, Did you get woozy? Are you like, like I feel like I'm gonna puke. Faint? Uh, really? Uh, yeah. It was Doesn't it hurt so good? Uh, he kind of uh, likes it. I think Jimmy secretly yeah, likes you're, this you're, shit. You're pale. You're pale right now. Oh, I do have to pee, though. Jimmy's into the s and oh, Why don't you go yeah. pee? <laughs> well, we're ready for a break, really I think. Like, he's a, right. Jimmy's I'll, a funny we'll take gimp. a break. Wait, Jimmy, we'll pee, you're right? Jimmy's oh, green. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> you guys splash some water on your face. <laughs> yeah, your color's a little weird. He's, like, going to throw up. Oh, I'm going to go pee. You ever do that where you hurt yourself and you feel like you're going to throw up? Don't like you fall on your knee or something? <laughs> That's how he no, feels. Now, we, uh... now I see why Rogan loves the leg kicks. That took any fight out of him. Oh, I like the look, 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 he's limping down the you hallway know what? to go to the bathroom. Uh, he's he's done about a dozen of these. I think it's over after that today. That was it. I, I think he's not doing any more. That was it. That was the one that got him. Literally. I loved how he thought that initial pain was the pain. Yeah. yeah. One three seconds, he went, ah! Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, oh, and the best way to get it out is to rub on it, which only hurts worse. Really? Yeah, yeah, you got to kind of work it out, out I guess, mm-hmm. right? That's oh. gonna be that's gonna wow. be a, a big time pain. bruise, man. That's a good one. Jimmy man. does not look good. Tweet me a picture of his leg tomorrow. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck yeah. <laughs> uh, what are you on Twitter, Johnny uh, Bones? Yeah, at Johnny man. Bones. At Johnny Bones. L N N Y B O N E S. I start following you today. Yes. <laughs> all right. Johnny Bones on Twitter. Let's all follow John Jones. What's your Twitter? Uh, Opie Radio. Oh, easy. I yeah, I'm actually the. I got a little video. I'll uh, I'll I'll at Johnny. That Bones. was what was that? Was that like eight percent speed? Would you say? Uh that it, was about a uh, 
Fifteen percent. Fifteen oh. double digits. Yeah. That's pretty respectful. Oh, oh god, that face and everything. He got <laughs> some great still shots. You guys, see Jimmy's still face shot. in that is. He's just like ah. Yeah. <laughs> we'll be tweeting Jesus. all that shit later. Classic. Yeah. He'll he'll tweet it with your name so you, you can check it out. Oh, we got great pictures. You guys see the it, video that Sam took too. I got the front. I got to oh, commend him. Funny. I would have gone down. You would have went yeah, down. Yeah, yeah. That would be interesting. Jimmy it's was for, leaning on the console like, oh. In for fear pain. that the fact I didn't, he would do it again. Oh, I should have kicked him harder. <laughs> no, no, no. That's all he could take. Uh, he, he's hurting. Believe me, he's in the bathroom right he's now hurting. just about crying, yeah. splashing water on his face so Often it doesn't do you faint. get a free one. Man. And it looks slow, but it must, have been, it must be like if a car hit you at like 10 miles an hour. Yeah. You know what oh, I mean? Yeah. Right. That's not going that fast. Right. Trust me, it hit him deep. <laughs> oh, I, I man, really focused yeah, yeah. on the shin bone Does digging that, right into the appropriate you spot. You hit and then straighten your leg out. Yeah. It's like all that just is pushing. I don't get how you guys kick each other basically shin to shin. And yeah. that doesn't. That's that body I, conditioning I was telling that's you about. That getting hurt. Uh, getting yeah, how kicked do you build to the up shin. anything in your front of your shin where it doesn't hurt uh, you? Oh, yeah. It takes a long time to, no, to get used to that. Uh, the guys in Thailand, they kick trees. They kick these. Oh, oh man, yeah. that's crazy. But they, they can't walk by the time they're 40, right? <laughs> Uh, no, no, actually, oh, right? it, it just strengthens your, your, as long as you're not hitting with your knees and you're hitting at, uh, an appropriate part of your shin, okay. uh, it conditions your shin, and, and uh, <laughs> it's amazing what the human body can get used to, really. You can't get used to the foot trees. stomp, though. Foot stomps, no, those are, those are all fragile bones. <laughs> and pretty much, uh, <laughs> no most guys don't that. do that, right? Most guys uh, don't do that. I the actually foot do stomp. it, I do it. You do <laughs> but you know, it's really not as effective as people uh, may think, because the heel of your foot isn't really that hard, you know? Right, uh, yeah. So the yeah. stumping, it's more annoying. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just trying that. Like, are you God. serious? Oh, and you God. guys, you know their heels are like a Timberland. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> steel. Like an axe handle. A um, martial arts Fuck heel. Yeah. It would work Doc if you had like, a nice stretch uh, End of my toes would explode. <laughs> <laughs> We're getting the wrap up, so. Uh, what happened? Oh, we got to get Jimmy first. Uh -oh. Did he puke? No. You puke? No, okay. You know what? I should have kicked you a lot harder. <laughs> oh, no. That was really good. Like, uh, Dude, no, no, your color's to, back. Yeah, your your color got a little weird. I'm not used to taking that kind of impact, and I know that's not nearly as hard as he could have done it. Oh, no. No. But he's uh, bummed out because we, we just showed him the video. He's like, ah, I should have hit him harder. Oh, no. I, can, I, we, I, I, can we try it again? Let's go no. on the legs. What do you say, ladies and I would, I would have thrown up on your leg. I'm amazed. I, and the reason I do that is I'm, I'm such a fan. I'm amazed by these guys that they can take... That, like you did that in a gentle compared to what you. Well, could he do. said it was about fifteen yeah. percent. But 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 dude, can you imagine a hundred. But imagine, and his motivation was, I'm trying to take his belt. Like, John, I, and, <laughs> John yeah, if you did it hundred yeah. percent, yeah, and to you talk like, shit about him too. If Sorry. you did that hundred percent to someone like Jimmy, would you break his leg? Would, uh, that, his would leg, that break a bone? He probably wouldn't break, uh, but a deep it, it'd be bruise? it'd be hurting real bad by uh, by five minutes after the impact. I would probably pass out. Yeah, you'd yeah, probably pass you'd probably out. want to be walking on it. Yeah, yeah you'd I, probably want to go to the hospital. See, the thing is, <laughs> at hundred percent, you, you wouldn't even see it coming. Oh, you know, so just oh. imagine the someone swinging a baseball at your uh, at your sciatic I, nerve without even knowing. Jeez. You're yeah. just like, "Hey, how you? Oh, fuck!" <laughs> Kenny got me a bag of ice. Thanks, buddy. I'll put this oh, on my leg. <laughs> <laughs> Were you bruised from that, Jimmy? Uh, uh, he will. By the time John Jones is in the elevator, I'll be bruised. He will. I, really. I didn't even he kick wants... him hard. Put that on your badge. <laughs> 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 Could you bleep that? Okay. <laughs> uh, on, the, on the video, I'll just say this was only fifteen percent, dude. And I got uh, he, uh, Frankie he Edgar hit me. He gave me like a little left in the arm, and uh, oh, what a bruise I had from that. Well, he wants to see the bruise, so you got to tweet him, Johnny. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, Johnny well, Bones, absolutely, <laughs> Johnny <laughs> Bones. I swear to God, I'm I'm so like I, I like if he he wanted to see the bruise, I was ready to just drop my jeans in the studio. Well, I don't think it's bruised yet. You'd be though. doing that in prison. <laughs> <laughs> but literally, it's and they just don't like, give you ice in prison. <laughs> <laughs> you see these things, but you you never know what these guys are dealing with. Yeah, it's amazing like. to me. We we have to do the oh, old wrap up. We, unfortunately, oh, okay. oh shit. We've been looking forward to this for a while. Uh, yeah, uh, we're fans, man. Hey, we're big real, time yeah, fans. Thanks, yeah, man. I used to be a fan. Um, <laughs> you used, used to be a fan. No, I, I, I'm rooting for you against Machida this Saturday. Um, let's let's plug the. I the, think he's the, my favorite in uh, the UFC right now. Yeah, it's hard to like anybody more. Yeah, honestly. Well, thanks, guys. It's hard just to. how you fight and stuff. We just love it. I appreciate it. Uh, it's Machida this uh, coming Saturday, live on pay per view. It's Johnny Bones on Twitter. What else? 
And Frank, well, also Frank Mir is fighting uh, Minotaur uh, Nagara, and uh, and Ortiz is fighting again. He fucking yeah, just he's doesn't a, stop he's I know, right? against uh, Antonio uh, Rogerio Nagara. Who, which one is uh, Little Nog? I always that's that would be uh, Antonio, right? Yeah, okay. Rogerio. He's the younger one. Right. He, he'll be fighting Tito, and then uh, Minotaur Nagara is the older one who will be fighting Frank, uh, Frank Mir. Mir. Yeah, so it's UFC 140, December 10th. Check it out only on pay per view. What Very weight do you cool. fight at before you go? You're... Uh, I'm light heavyweight, so uh, yeah. I compete at 205. Two Okay. Right now, I'm about 220, so I have 15 pounds to lose this week. Because the Anderson Silva comparison people get, but he fights at like done. what, 180? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's how is that strong, done? Amazing. Strong dieting, strong dieting. You like, wear those like that glad bag the, running the suit. Suits. You know, yeah. I try not to do too much of the sweating. It's really not good for you uh, in the long term. Uh, but you know, the day before the fight, the day of weigh-ins, I, uh, I cut about four pounds of sweat, uh, which is pretty easy because you know with. Uh, Peter Light, maybe an IV or something. You know, you can you can get it all back. Jesus, that's amazing. Uh, you guys, but you yeah, lose strong fifteen diet. pounds this week. You know, you I, was a, go... I was a wrestler throughout high school and college, so I, I think I've uh, uh, kind of developed that yeah. level of discipline to uh, walk away from the cheeseburgers. Yeah, days. yeah. So wow, unbel Jeez. unbelievable. You that... almost made me throw up from a leg kick. That is yeah. a wow. That's a fucking I really amazing. Wish I would have kicked him harder. Uh, oh, I couldn't. Uh, you're, oh, to see him just that would have been the greatest ever. Vomit. Oh, he kicked him and he just projectile vomited. We would still be. I kind of wish it would have looked cool. We would still be laughing. Yeah, but that that was a fucking <laughs> wow. I say you guys have me on after the fight, and I kick him in the other leg. What yeah, do it. Yeah. Why not? I mean, just put That's me a, a celebration of your big victory. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes. No, because he'll be a little surly after the fight too. And uh, <laughs> don't lose. No. How about after? Yeah. If you lose, then that kick is going to be ugly, <laughs> Jimmy. You'll take your leg Jesus, off. How do you take that in the face? I, I don't how get the it. Fuck the guys take that. I just don't get it. They don't take it. Superhuman. That's the key. Well, John Jones. The key is have not take it. Hope you're a champion for a long time, man. I really Absolutely. mean that. Uh, you're Thank a great you champion and, and great spokesman for the for the UFC, and uh, you were great on the Tonight Show when you, when you did Leno. Oh, that was awesome. So, uh, Thank you, man. Yeah. I really appreciate cool, it. John, Happy. thanks. Hey, proud to be a New Yorker. Thanks for having me, guys. Thank you, man. Good All luck, right, man. John. All right, John. Good luck. This is the Opie Anthony Channel. Serious XM. Thanks for calling the Opie and Anthony FU Live. Here's the latest batch of FUs. Fuck you! Yeah, I'd like to send a big fuck you to all the women in my gym that walk around naked in the locker room. Nobody wants to see your ugly flapjack kiss and bush. Fuck you. Fuck you! Yeah, I'd like to give a big hearty fuck you to the asshole that gave me crap. The one time that I go out and actually shit in a public toilet, I pick up crap. So fuck you to the asshole out there that puts such a fucking dick and stuff. Fuck you! Hey, this fucking goes off to Chip Chipperson. For every girl who's been trying to have sexual phone contact with your man, and every answer at the end is... <laughs> something. Or, you know, the occasional... Respond, fuck you, Chip Chipperson, for ruining our freaking sexual, freaking dirty talk sex life. Fuck you. Fuck you! Yeah, I want to give a big fuck you to my co-worker, Billy. You sit around the shop all fucking day with your one-legged, bitch-ass motherfucking self, not doing a goddamn thing, but sure shit with everybody, and I'm fucking sick of it. You're a bitch. I'm going to fuck your wife, I'm going to fuck your children, I'm going to fuck your mom. Goodbye. Fuck you. Because after you go out to Anthony, you work five hours a day, you live in a mansion, you get paid millions of dollars, and yet you're still worried about your fucking taxes. Fuck you. Fuck you. Boy, 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 boy. Good boy, 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 boy. Fuck you. Fuck you. I have never heard a person on this line who does not sound like complete fucking white trash. You're a fucking wife, you fucking low life. Fuck all of you. Fuck you. Fuck you, Mars. Everything in my life now is, damn, that's a good oatmeal. Damn, that's expensive. Damn, that's a nice haircut. Fuck you, Mars. Fuck you. Call the Opie and Anthony FU line. 866-FU-LINE-1. That's 866-FU-LINE-1. Sirius XM. And now... 
The Opie and Anthony Show. That was awesome. We got Bill Burr in studio still. Joe is floating around here. Uh, Jimmy's uh, back. I am in pain, man. And John Jones. <laughs> what a nice guy he is, too, man. I, like, I, I literally like him a lot. I don't know why to say literally first. Yes. Oh, man, you are really uh, aching that I leg, almost huh? threw up. Like, I almost yeah. threw up from that. And I realize it's because my body is not used to taking blunt force impact like that. Oh. Maybe right. on your ass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if, if he had put four fingers in my ass, I would have laughed my way through the entire segment. Where did it hit you? <laughs> <laughs> he hit me. Right above the knee? No, 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 no. He didn't go close to the knee. He did it at a place where he knew there'd be no real damage. Up on the upper, like the strongest part of your leg. Oh, that's going to be a like great The Charlie bruise. Horse place. He did it where yeah. the Charlie oh, Horse is. Oh, that's going to be a great bruise. The fucking I light. I can't wait. Heavyweight <laughs> champion. Frankie, did I show you the Frankie Edgar picture? No, you never, a, I never saw that. I, I Twittered it. He uh, he gave me dude, a little shot in the, in the arm. Like a little, little fucking... But these guys punch. Mm. That is like a melon. <laughs> and dude, I don't know how anybody like these guys. I know that they're conditioned, but when they're up against the, the cage, there's a guy standing there. That's what they're doing to each other. Like when they're trying to like get out of a clinch, they're just they're doing these leg kicks and these knees, the fucking face, and and, and constant. Like imagine you, you oh, felt that. God. Imagine feeling it again and then again dude, in the same place. What I just felt about one of those at a hundred percent. At a hundred percent, and then and, then, and meanwhile, then they do it over and over again after that. And yeah, he's continuing was, to try to do it. Yeah, like how Rogan, you know, always talks about those leg kicks. They're starting to wear them down. I've seen oh, a few fights where yeah. you just keep hearing the slap yeah. of the guy's oh. shin against the dude's leg. And even and then those guys after like probably like eight is when they start to start leaning. Yeah. I, every every off. Oh. I can never handle it. We, I love that guy, though, man. Johnny, John Jones. Hi, buddy. Oh, my God. He's got he a big from... bag of ice on yeah, his I leg have to. now. He's, yeah. Only because, uh, you know, I don't want to, I, I want to be able to walk today. I have, yes. to, I have to, you know. Yeah, you, you oh, man, that's going to hurt. When I, if, I, if I take my knee, like, you know, remember when you're a kid and you do the cannonball where you tuck your, uh, your knees in. Uh -huh. If I tuck my knee in, why well, I couldn't just say that I had to mention the cannonball like a faggot. If you tuck your <laughs> knee in, uh, it hurts. I, I can't tuck my leg all the way in. That's only going to feel worse as time goes on. <laughs> of course on. it is. And like tomorrow, after sleeping and waking up, it's just going to be. In I would utter guess by pain. the end of the, well, he's icing it, but by the end of the show, just sitting down. That's yeah, yeah, I, it's going to freeze up on you, lock up a little bit. Icing it is smart, though, right? No, not really. It doesn't, doesn't help. <laughs> Opie. What do you think, Joe? <laughs> What? What do you think from where you were sitting? Uh, the guy's amazing. I had to shit so bad, though, through the entire <laughs> interview. <laughs> I couldn't focus. That's why I had to leave. Wow. My stomach hurt. So this guy's talking about choking people down in the ground. <laughs> and I'm just like, my tummy hurts. Like, I got to oh, shit. You asked that one question. It kind of went around and around in a circle. And I heard you be like, yeah, 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 fuck it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, fuck it. I got to shit. I couldn't get it out straight. Did you see the kick? Yeah, no, I saw that. Oh. that but what I was trying to ask you, I don't think I was being clear when I said, how did it? How did it hurt? Mean, I mean, I know it hurt a lot, but what kind of pain is it? Is it shooting pain? Is it just like unbelievable ache? No, it's 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 a, it's it's your whole body says, uh, fall down, <laughs> get everything out of your system, vomit, yes, vomit, and it's that it's that tingly. I'm glad I walked to the bathroom. I just I really did have to piss the whole interview because we didn't break before John came in. Yep. So I did have to pee, and I'm like, let me just walk down and pee, and I splashed a little water. I was fine. By the time I pissed, I, I want to see okay. him do it to Derosa. Oh, DeRosa oh, would man. cry. You, for some reason, <laughs> Jim, you're, you're, you're built for pain. I think you get some sort of odd right. pleasure out if you feel closer to the fighters. There's something, there's something in the field. This kid here, I'm telling you, his glasses, just the whole thing. I just realized we were on the air. <laughs> uh, what, you, you told that shit story thinking we were just off the air? Yeah, I don't care. I just yeah. thought we were on a break. Oh. <laughs> when I walk in the like Joe, Joe just really just puts it out there. He doesn't give a shit. He's like, oh, no. is this on the air? <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> Why? We why we all had headphones on? And we're talking into microphones. I, I, I oh, wish it was better though. I blew Bailey J. What? <laughs> <laughs> Don't say anything, guys. <laughs> what do you want to make everyone jealous? <laughs> look, oh, at Jim, look at Jimmy keeping no, his legs moving. Yeah, I am. I'm just fucking. Uh, I'm just moving my right leg. Here's what it is: when an athlete's training, sometimes oh, we take boy, a few bumps. Am I right or wrong, guys? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. We can't argue with you. He said the best thing that when you were gone, he said the best thing to do was rub it out. He said, but that's going to make it hurt worse. But that will get it out. Yeah, like like to rub on it. 
like oh. uh, like a, a I rub it out every night. <laughs> deep tissue <laughs> massage. Yeah, probably right. Should have kicked Apparently you in your dick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, that I, hurt. He right probably there. really would have kicked me in my solar plexus. He might have he knocked the wind out of me. Oh, that would have. You'd, you'd have been. <laughs> that that would, I'll be afraid that would kill me because he, he's a young guy. John's twenty four, and again he's he he's I I he's to me much scarier than a guy like Anderson. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because Anderson Silva probably kicks as hard, if not harder. I'd love to hear you go. Oh, 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 oh! <laughs> but Anderson, <laughs> oh, 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 with all that, oh, oh, with all the wind knocked out of you. <laughs> oh my god, I couldn't have take, but I knew better than to take it there. Not oh, against, yeah, not yeah. that. I don't want to get my fucking ribs broken. You or... took it with poise, man. If I if, if I got hit like that, I'd literally sound like one of the Three Stooges. I'm like, oh, 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 oh. That like, one, uh, by, by, by far, yeah, that was like, the worst one. By far. Jesus Christ. And he did 15%. By far. What's his name only did, what did he say, 10? Uh, Anderson Silva did about, um, uh, but we didn't have Anderson because he speaks broken English. He's, 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 Portuguese, he's Portuguese. We we didn't have as much. We had a good time with him, but not as much of a, it was more question and answer instead of just hanging yeah, out and goofing yeah. off. You should keep upping the percentage to the, no. see what point we get where you actually uh. puke. All right, I took yeah. 15. Your color. John Jones. Gotta go 20. Hey, I literally puke. I was going to vomit. Your, your system, whatever happened Dude, to your, your color system. changed, man. Yeah. The that color was, left oh, your yeah, face. Yeah, it was just white. You were kind of a whitish green. Was there was funny. a green hue to you. But you do feel cl not Fuck closer that. to the fighters like I, I, I could do that, but to understand like the respect level goes so much farther through the roof. Because Absolutely. Like, to take that fucking punishment from this guy. I just want to hug Loyota Machida. Like, what are you doing? Stay home. <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking terrible what you guys do. Hurts. Everybody wants to do that. You want to go to a baseball park and have someone just don't hit me in the head, but throw a fastball. Let me just just throw it like at three quarters. Let me see if I can get around. Yeah, that's it. boring to those oh. guys. He wanted to kick you full. He wanted to kick you at least fifty percent. Nah, he wouldn't. I don't think he would. I don't think he wanted to 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 put me out of commission for good. But you know, he's he's one of those guys. Again, he's he's in fight mode, man. He's fighting in a week. He's in fucking fight mode. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Jimmy Sykes. Yeah, I have to ice it. <laughs> or imagine a, a fastball pitcher just radio. What nailing are you doing one into your back. Dude, I, I would rather have right taken out. it in the stomach than where Get you took it. No really? way. No, no way. You'd have I would have, I would have thrown up. I would have yeah, thrown no, up. No, no, I rather would have. Because I feel like you can tense that up. You can exhale. The shit you can do. I mean, I'm not saying oh, I wouldn't tell kill. Houdini that. I, I can't. But, <laughs> but that, nothing fucking hurts. Dude, Charlie Beyond horse, the yeah. balls, nothing hurts like Charlie Horse in the shit. Yeah. Yeah, but it's, sim it's yeah. simple, but it's such a strong muscle in, in your body. And, and I have, I've been told by a lot of massage therapists, I have great legs. I have very strong legs. <laughs> he really has inexplicably Mr. Olympian-like midget legs. Yeah. I don't understand. <laughs> like, he really has shapely, in it, shape. It's fucking, the calf muscles. Dude, my calves are fucking... They're terrific. I have beautiful calves. They're pretty amazing. They're a thing of beauty. Bowling yeah. pins. I yeah. can argue with you, Jimmy. They're beautiful. But can I see? Can you all your up voices up? go from like the belt the belt up, like all his, his awful <laughs> shoulders... Like I just look at that. Look, he, he's got like Larry Zonka legs. <laughs> <laughs> hilarious! It's like somebody twisted his out of shape body into those things. I've never understood it. I've always said it's like I'm two different people. I like, literally is. from the waist down. One all American. Thing. He's an all American. Yeah. Yeah. Larry Zonka. <laughs> oh, that's fucking great. <laughs> okay, you really do. You have you have white fullback legs from the 1970s. But to imagine having your leg broken, like I think of that too, like when Thysman had his leg, like the agony of that. He said he watched that replay yeah. once. He goes, I never, oh, need, I never need to see that again. Yeah. That? Really? <laughs> that was the original bloody sock. Everybody That's brings so up Kurt Schilling. <laughs> yeah, it fuck was that. His, yeah, his was a compound fracture. I yeah. bet Thysman was like, yeah, I really don't see the big deal of this. I can't, I can't imagine. That. I have never broken anything except a finger. But I mean, I can't imagine what a leg must when feel When you like. see him go back on that leg and then it just does that... <laughs> that it's it's the rigid rigid pop it's gone. One of one of uh, Joe's shoes would have came off, you know. You know, <laughs> <laughs> you know, you get hit by a car, you, you, yeah, you yeah, yeah knocked out of your shoes. You get your shoes, yeah. That's how out of shape Joe is. No one ever ties uh, their shoes tight enough. These days. <laughs> that's it. I don't know. <laughs> Just seems how, how do you get knocked out of your fucking shoes? It's no, amazing that, that, to me. that's that's when you get into the epic level of a beatdown. If if you lose footwear, like yeah. there's really yeah. like <laughs> if there's if you have to like I used to do a bit like you know, if you have to like collect your personal belongings. <laughs> yeah. like, Where's my comb? Is anybody pick them off? Yeah, after a beating, you gotta pick your shit up. Jesus Christ, <laughs> that is bad. Jesus Christ. I saw two guys when I used to work in a warehouse got into a fight. It was one guy was like six six and skinny, and the other guy was about six one and fat. 
and the fat he had on these sweatpants. And I don't know what the fuck happened because they started going at it. So I called my friends. By the time I turned back, somehow the fat guy was like upside down and it was change just pouring out of his pockets. It's <laughs> <laughs> fucking onto that, you know, there's no carpet in the warehouse. Yeah, that clang. Uh, like five guys came over to break it up and immediately dropped to their knees and were just couldn't even move, paralyzed with fucking laughter. <laughs> What were those fucking pants people had in the 80s? The, the sweats by Ebies. They were like that oh, style the, with the, the little line thing. The Joey Buttafuoco uh, yeah. sweats. The oh. Zubas or whatever. Yeah. That looked like the, they had like the zebra print and shit like that. Is that what they were called? The yeah. Joey Buttafuoco's. Yeah. yeah. I just Joey remember Joey Buttafuoco and change porn. <laughs> it was almost that's, like he had, him, embarrassing. he had him in the guard and then the six foot six guy stood up and he kept his legs wrapped around. I think that that's how it came out. <laughs> if I could over explain it anymore. <laughs> Fuck uh, it. Never, Fighting stinks, man. Never I'm a big there. fighter, yeah. man. No, me, I'm, use, I'm useless. The last I, one, I'm so, uh, af I'm too afraid of getting hit, is what it is. I do not, I don't like the idea of getting a fist into my face. I don't, I'm not yeah. afraid of getting hit. I have a complete inability to not get hit. Like, you could literally tell me, Bill, I'm going to throw a straight jab. Right? It's not even <laughs> I'm throwing it right really? at your face. And I could still, I don't know what the fuck I'm looking at. I how could do you never, defend against I could yeah. never get out of the way of it. Ever. I don't even know how to set up for a fight. Like, I don't know the right stance. I, I, I would absolutely get the, the, the one from the side of the head punching me. I just, just watching you throw a hook right there, yeah. you could yeah. just tell. No, no, that Jesus. was like somebody else yeah. doing that it's to you me. Like you're swinging your <laughs> purse, you Mary. Yeah. <laughs> Look, what are you, the you, really you measure when you swing your I head? was imitating the other guy <laughs> punching were, me on the side of the head. Like, Jesus Buzzy. <laughs> 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 uh, oh, no, I'm right. just, I'm useless. I have fighting. No I now see why you collect guns. Yes, I need I need lead to be propelled at great velocity even, he into my use enemy. He couldn't like a sword. He couldn't do anything that involved just the simple movement of pulling a trigger. Do you have problems with rifles where you have to coordinate both hands to hold it? No, I'm very and close good. One eye? <laughs> ah, shit. I just saw. All, I just saw all the torture of every gym class you ever went to. All right, who's picking Anthony? <laughs> Sitting there in his Kevlar fucking sweatpants. <laughs> That was me, the guy not to pick. Yeah, I uh, just tweeted John Jones's shin kick to Jim Norton's thigh. Is and, then, and then Sam's got a better, a better one. But this one is pretty damn good, just off my dumb phone. Okay. And then Sam's gonna put a, another video up later today or tomorrow. So uh, check it out. I just tweeted it, Opie Radio. It's hilarious. <laughs> I think it's the best one yet. I almost threw up. It's no, but far. I mean, yeah, but just your reaction one. and everything else, oh, the whole fucking thing. Yeah. Oof. You fight? Did you ever even fight Ope? I've been in a million fights. Were you like a good, a good brawler? Uh, I did all right back in the day. I did okay, I guess, just okay. You and Burr got that like yeah, Boston, kinda, Long Island, kinda, you know. We're kind of psychotic. I'll make it perfectly clear. I don't ever want to be in another fight. I'm not going to be cocky about it. But back in the day, yeah, bar fights and shit. I never Stupid had those. I, I had those uh, dual headlock fights. You give, you give. Like, well, a lot of wrestling. Yeah, yeah, more wrestling, yeah, more no. wrestling than, you know, just uh, squaring off. Right. right. I, was, I was in a dumb fraternity, so there was always a problem. You always were in a bar room brawl. <laughs> yeah, and you you were back like when fraternities were. Yeah, like, am I saying fraternity? Frater fraternity, fraternity was a fraternity. Sorry, I, I would I would say so. Even yeah. though I still get abused for being pre date one, rape. Yeah, pre uh, <laughs> hazing well, laws. Yeah. Oh yeah, pre hazing laws. Absolutely. It was yeah, just man. a girl that was. Uh, I had to pick up to marshmallows party. with my fucking ass cheeks, man. I oh, never hardcore. understood the homoerotic shit. I know I, to go into those. Like I came in. I didn't you know, a few years behind you, so I was right at the... Did right, you have some of that shit that you I had was, to do? I didn't. That's why I never went out for football. Like, football, they had this whole thing. You had to fucking... They had the cheese ball race. You had to run over, put pick up cheese ball up with your butt cheeks and run over and drop it into a cup. It's like, what? what the fuck hey, is that about? I want to play hey. football. Hey, he did the same thing. Did you actually do that? No, that's why I didn't go out for football. I had to do the same thing with marshmallows. And you did yeah. it. But we I had did a it bomb. We had a bomb. <laughs> <laughs> 
this is, <laughs> you know, this is really embarrassing because we haven't had Chris Rock on our show in a while, and he's he's hearing us uh, talk about lifting shit from our with our ass cheeks. <laughs> no, I, I tapped. I, I was you like, you no, didn't do that. It. Yeah, I was like, right. I don't, I don't get. Right. Oh, fraternities were the same thing. Like they had all yeah. that fucking yeah. weird fucking ass play, and it's just yeah, like, it was, and then what? Then we're gonna hang out. I know. It's like all I want to <laughs> do is like have, have a cake party with the sorority. Yeah, I don't no. have to pick up things with my ass cheeks. I don't know. Yeah. With that, we say hi well, to Chris that, Rock. Chris Rock, everybody. Sorry, Chris. Chris? Or maybe his people are, are getting Chris Rock. This Chris. All right. Hey, Chris. Hey. Hey, man. How hey, are you? Hey, buddy. How are you? It's been up, a while. We're on the air. Yeah, we're on the air. We got uh, Bill Burns Studio, Joe DeRosa, Jim Norton, and me and Ant. When do the funny people get it? <laughs> <laughs> God how you damn, doing, man? Chris. Can't complain. <laughs> Well, uh, you're done with Broadway. Before you even talk about uh, anything else, I had to say to you publicly, you were fucking amazing in your uh, you. in your play. You're you're a much better actor than I realized. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. You know, after Pootie Tang, you know, it's all uphill. <laughs> <laughs> I love Pootie Tang. I never saw it. What? How do you not see Pootie well, Tang? Well, Louis told us the story about how, like, you know, you have one vision, but then sometimes the studio steps in and they they do what they got to do. And well, they... when we do Pootie Tang on Broadway, you're all invited. Oh, <laughs> right on. <laughs> I don't doubt that that would happen. <laughs> like, there's no doubt that that could actually happen. Can I tip my... Also, I've, I've, Chris, I never really met you before, but I've always wanted to tell you this. Uh, me and my friends in high school, before I ever did comedy, were obsessed with CB4. I'm still obsessed with it. I think it's hilarious. And I tip my hat to you for recognizing the utter genius of Charlie Murphy. Thank you. Before anybody did. Mm. Before you know, anybody. Chappelle is such a genius, because all those... Charlie Murphy stories that are on the Chappelle show, mm -hmm. he told them on the set of CB4. <laughs> <laughs> I, I knew all those stories years and years, 15 years in advance, and then I'm watching Chappelle's show, I'm like, oh my God, I could have had all of that stuff. <laughs> <laughs> you're you're kind of like the college coach that you could have drafted like Jeter to play for you, but you just kind of like in, enjoyed watching him and then exactly. ignored him. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right, man. <laughs> Obviously, With this 12th selection, Chris Rock selects Ken O'Brien. <laughs> <laughs> Dan Marino reference, nobody? How's it going? No, I got it. I'm a Jets fan. Hey, hey O'Brien's, you know, better than Sanchez. <laughs> yeah. Miles, old pick six. Yeah, Sanchez, I don't know. He makes us a little nervous as uh, I like Jets Sanchez, fans. Sanchez, but O'Brien, you know. What, what do you think of Tebow? You want to talk football? Wow! <laughs> no kidding! <laughs> Wow, man, I guess other teams are going to start letting linebackers play quarterback. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's 6-1 uh, and one as a starter now, and it's very un unconventional, as we all know. Yeah, but it's, it's like baseball. You know, he, he, you know, like in baseball, the guy gets hot, then, you know, go, what, when he goes through the league a second time, let me, yes. let me see what happens. When they figure him out. When they figure out that prohibition era offense that they're, <laughs> they're running. <laughs> <laughs> fucking pit, pitch it to fucking right now. Curly or Larry. <laughs> they need the update. I swear to God, I saw that offense on the Three Stooges one time. <laughs> hey, lateral it to me, Mo. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, we, we missed that. What was that? I'm sorry, Chris. We were lucky. If Tebow plays like there's no black guys on the field. Yeah. <laughs> and, and, and he loves his God. He wants everyone to know how much oh, yeah. he loves God. Well, Which, you know. No, in defense of him, God actually decided to back a shitty football player. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It, it's working for him. What was Bill going to say? In defense of Tebow, he oh, he talked about Jesus in college. He hasn't done it yet. They just keep putting the camera on him when he uh, starts speaking in tongues mm. every time they uh, <laughs> kick a field goal. <laughs> yeah, yeah. His job is like like God really cares. Sounds like an auctioneer. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I just know everybody. <laughs> I just, everybody in the red states is so are so excited. This is has got to be their 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 guy for the, like the like the last twenty oh, years. Oh yeah, very religious and, he and he's a, winning. He wears a vest. He's yeah. clean cut. He's into Jesus. He's pretty, a good boy. Pretty amazing what he's doing. Though. Unbelievable. <laughs> well, Chris, obviously, uh, you know, fucking Patrice. We're all just obviously. You want me to replace Patrice, and I accept. Yes, yes. <laughs> come on in. <laughs> we're, we're sick over it. It's this is uh, everyone has been saying how rough this one is. This is just a rough one. It is a rough one because I mean, first of all, people don't realize how full of life this guy was. Yep. Yep. <laughs> like, like 
just absolutely filled up a room when he walked in a room, and he was so funny, and he was just he was just figuring out what he did. You know what I mean? He was just figuring out how to take that thing he did mm. in the restaurant and put it on stage. You know what I mean? Yes. The thing he did off stage was coming on stage, and he was, you know, it's it's it's, it's like the comedic Lynn Bias, if anything. You know what I mean? <laughs> right. Like, like mm. this guy was really getting ready to to. We were all getting ready to have work for Patrice O'Neill. That's basically <laughs> what was getting ready to happen. He, he was figuring it all out right in front of our eyes. He was uh. he was there, man. Yeah, I know. When when Elephant in the Room came out, I was excited for him and I was nervous. I was like, is he going to make me look like a child? Because like he was that. <laughs> Like, it was literally what he was saying. Mm. I almost felt like once it was his to take, once he just decided he wanted it. That's it. That's the level. That's yeah. what I always told funny. him. Yeah. Right, right. When I he... always told him, like, look around. Do you see anybody as funny as you? Really? Really? Mm. <laughs> yeah, uh, Jimmy said it last week. He could be funny with anyone. You can't think of one person he wouldn't be as funny or funnier. Like, any... Yeah. A- any comic you could put him in the room with, who's ever worked, and he would be comfortable being funny with them. Yes, yes. I mean, we're all established guys here. Is any one of us, does any one of us really want to follow the guy? <laughs> right, no. No, he used to hold court. with. He actually was so funny, he could get comedians who are always trying to top people's stories to actually shut up and become audience members. <laughs> yeah. Like that time he went at it with the, the transvestite out in front of that. Oh, God, I forgot about that. Dude, that. It was literally just some transvestite was coming down the street, and he was just in one of those moods where he felt like fucking with somebody, and he fucked with this transvestite, and she immediately came right back at him. Said, remember that line? She said, you got so many spaces between your teeth, looks like your tongue's in jail. <laughs> that's, what, that's what started it. Jesus Christ. And he hit her with shit just as big. Dude, and we just sat there. It was like, it was a comedic version. You ever see that, that tape of Biggie when he was just got in that rap battle in the middle of, like, the purest yeah, right, form? Right, It was like the purest form of comedy. There was no security. There was no crowd. Like, a crowd just developed around, around what the around fuck the was happening. And he just sat there. <laughs> and, you know, she hit him with a couple of stock lines, and he, like, Ali, leaned on the ropes, let the he-she punch <laughs> herself out, and then he just fucking destroyed her. And But it was it was unbelievable. I remember uh, just really in that moment going, this guy is, like, this guy's he is truly special. Mm-hmm. You know, you're really not, really not going to see another one. That was a one-off. Yep. That, that was yeah. it. He's fucking, his ability. I showed my parents, my parents were up visiting this week, and I showed them Elephant in the Room. Because they didn't know who Patrice was. They just knew that he was. I had a friend that passed or whatever. And uh, I showed it to him. My dad's a Catholic church deacon. <laughs> and my dad was red faced and laughing hysterically at Patrice going, Why can't we have harassment day? You know, excuse me. <laughs> how, I was wondering, you know, you, would you suck my dick in the broom closet? <laughs> like the fact that he can make a fucking man of the cloth laugh as hard as like Bill or me or any, you know, whatever. It's fucking, it's uncanny, man. Uncanny ability. There was nothing better than seeing Patrice meet somebody for the first time who was, like, impressed with themselves, and they thought they were on some level of accomplishment. I saw him one time. He made this fucking white dude, a 50-year-old guy. You could just tell he ran a company or something, and he just was so used to running shit. As he sat in the crowd, he had this vibe like he was running it, even though he was at the show. <laughs> oh, like you were performing for him. You know, Patrice got on stage. He just, he, he didn't have to meet the guy, just sensed it. He made this guy so fucking mad. I was actually standing behind the guy, and I could see the anger in the back of his head <laughs> and his shoulders. You know, Patrice had that laugh when he was really getting you that. Oh, what? yeah. He enjoyed it. Sounded, like sounded like a fucking <laughs> trumpet. Yeah. And he's just <laughs> yeah. laughing in this guy's face. And then he finally said something like, you look like you want to fire me, but you can't. And that was oh, the shit. one that just, that was the one that just Jesus fucking Christ. leveled the room. And I'm so fucking sad about this shit. I, I, I couldn't wait for him to get big because I wanted to see those TMZ guys to try to fuck with him at the airport. Like sure. how much he would have enjoyed that and destroyed him. And they yep. would have, I, I just, it's just, it's the worst fucking thing ever. It's, yeah. it's horrible. There's so many things that were, you know, are going to happen that you would just love to know what his take was going to be on it. You, uh, um, Chris, you helped him too in a weird way because when, when you were on the, the show at K-Rock with us and, and Patrice was in and it kind of turned into an intervention because you were <laughs> telling him that like you wanted him for your show and you know, it, it just, he might've been hard to be here and you told him kind of with love and with, and, and that really, I think it changed. It him. absolutely changed him. I love guy i you know he's just one of those guys that so the moment he started getting out of his own way 
That's exactly it. It, it, it was all going to open up for him, and and that's what was happening. And I, when I was on the show, and, and by the way, what what I did on the show is what I did to every time I saw him. Right. I was like, "Money, <laughs> you're funnier than everybody. Jesus. Embrace it. Come in." Smile. Don't, don't worry. The white man does, is not going to beat your ass today. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. You know? And I, I, he, he loved putting a spark to a bridge, though. <laughs> he loved putting a spark to a bridge. <laughs> oh, boy. You could burn a bridge like that <laughs> oh, guy. Amazing. And it was fucking hilarious, but, like, oh, so you'd just I know, be like, you're thinking, what are you oh, doing? Why, yeah, it's why like, cross it first, then burn it. Not every bridge. Cross it first. Right, right, right. right. <laughs> did, did he ever tell you that story when he went into CBS, which was like a notoriously cold room during this era? It was like you walked in, they had the lights low, like that guy who ran that team in the natural. You know what I mean? Like the fucking baseball owner. It, you would just go in there, dude, like already sweating. You'd start tap dancing, and they wouldn't give it up for anything. And he walked in there, maybe tap dance for half a second, and right in the middle of the meeting, you know, you're pitching a show to get a deal. There's a yeah. invisible bag of money sitting there, and he just says, fuck it, and he starts looking at every executive there and starts pointing at everybody. You don't like me, you don't like me, and you don't like me. He just started trashing him. Yeah, Unknown comic. And I was, I was laughing my ass off. I'm like, Priest, do you realize that that story was on the other side of Hollywood before you even got back to your <laughs> rented Dodge Neon? Why would you do that? And he's like, man, I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. I'm fucking going to sit there and 3,000 miles to have you staring at me? Because you, you, you got a desk. The audition for Everybody Hates Chris. Didn't mm. know his lines. Like, y'all don't want me. Y'all don't. I'm like, I was dying to give him the part. Oh. Jesus, can you imagine? Yeah, he was defensive sometimes when he didn't need to be. Like, uh, like he, I think sometimes he, he didn't understand how much people would just love him or how much people enjoyed him. Um, he knew he was so funny, but, you know, look, everybody else, he's, you know, he's a comedian. He's fucking got major problems like we all do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I think he never understood that, man, people really will embrace you, and they don't mind your shitty, cynical, you, like, you're, you're so funny, people will just love you. We used to joke about the supreme confidence that hacks have. You know what I mean? Uh, they just never, they never question their talent. They just never they do. They never question their talent. They just always, they go on stage with supreme confidence in their, their fucking prolific mediocrity. <laughs> Always coming out with another special. Always feel like, yeah, America needs to hear this. And then you get a guy like Patrice where it's like, dude, you talking to yourself in the shower should be a fucking album. Yeah. And you, you're trying to get the dude off the... F I don't know, man. That's, it, that, that's probably going to, you know... It just fucking yeah. hurts. Because he was about to do it on his terms, too. You know, we talk about all the bridges he burned, but he was about to do it on his terms, mm -hmm. finally. Yeah, Chris. Oh, sorry, Chris. The other, the other moral of the story is... Uh, you know, despite, you know, Biggie being, gr you know, so big and heavy D and all that. Hey, fat's not good. Yeah. yeah. Right. Yep. Yeah. And just because you're popular and you get laid, it doesn't mean you're healthy. <laughs> God yeah. damn. I know. Uh, you know yeah, Louis was saying that. Off of chicken wings from the Chinese restaurant. <laughs> Louis was saying he, he's just pissed at himself for not going over there and saying, hey. Asshole, what are you doing to yourself? I think people tried, to be honest with yeah. you. Yeah, Patrice is smart enough to know. Yeah, they He's tried. not a dumb guy. He, he, he knew, um, but it's like anything else. When someone's drinking too much or smoking cigarettes, it, it's it, death is like an intangible, faraway thing. You know it's there, but it's not right. It's not like a gun pointed at you. Do you know last, Do last night somebody from England, a comedian from England, this is how much this guy's love, flew all the way over here on his own dime to come to the funeral today, and he was telling this story. They were doing a TV taping in London. So a of course, Patrice doesn't give a fuck. He's treating this like, you know, Europe's Friday night videos. He doesn't give a shit, right? And for some reason, they had a book in the green room, I guess, that was... It had a list of all these comedians that were so far down the ladder, they didn't have a manager or an agent. They just had their phone number, their home phone number. So Patrice, oh, wow. instead of preparing for his set, starts calling these guys over in England. <laughs> he called one guy up at a puppet. And he goes, yeah, how much uh, to book the puppet? <laughs> I just want to get the puppet. I don't. I don't want to book you. Oh, he asked another fuck. guy, "How much do, would it cost to get you to just stop?" <laughs> <laughs> Fucking oh, hilarious. Dick. Yeah. So nobody was paying attention to the taping. They were all gathering around Patrice once again, holding court, and yeah, everyone yeah. just laughing. Like, call another one. Oh, call another man. one. Just this... effortless. I've totally butchered that story, but no, no that's, this... that's him. That is him. It's funny man. The same guy. God. It's Brendan Burns. Who we talking about? Yeah, yeah, Brendan. Burns. We were at the. We were doing the nasty show in Montreal, 
and Brendan came over to hang out backstage, and he was he was going off about English comedy and how good the scene is. And Patrice just goes, "English comedy stinks." <laughs> and did a ten minute just improv <laughs> sketch of an English comedy club, and he's just going, "Coming to the stage, Ian Iglepuss," <laughs> and he's just making up these ridiculous things. Uh, get the fuck out of here! You stink. Y'all are thirty years behind us. I was the king of England when I went over there. <laughs> it was so fucking funny, man. Uh, <laughs> motherfucker. Yeah. And you're God like, wow, damn. I wish I had anything in my act half that fucking funny. Yeah. And he just said that all off the top of his goddamn head for 10 minutes. And that was, you know, it was almost like, like he didn't even write. That was the creepy <laughs> thing about Patrice. He didn't know what was his yeah, material don't, don't, that don't he wrote. Go with that, Opie. Go with I'm that. I'm serious. <laughs> he, no, he didn't. He just, let's You like, don't think he wrote it all, it's right? It's like Jay Z. Jay Z, I heard he just is all in his fucking head. Right. The same thing. He, he, I don't think, I've known him 20 years. Never saw him go, hey, I got to go into CVS and get a notebook. <laughs> right. <laughs> Never saw him with a laptop. Special, though. I, don't, I don't care what he says. Right. Yeah. 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 <laughs> there were so many times on the radio show we would say, please save that for the air. That's amazing. Like, he, he didn't, he couldn't stop. We'd go to break and he was just as funny, just hanging oh, out. Oh, yeah. 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 I haven't uh, seen Elephant right. in the Room because I don't watch stuff that, you know, you just don't want to see what the guys you know are doing because it it's, really is fucking good. Man. I watched a clip. I just, the a clip yeah. about being mean to animals and it was like, God, a fucking yeah. body was oh. great. Yeah, he nailed it. Mm -hmm. You never want to understand that it. your peer is so great. Like, you know what I mean? No, nobody recognizes that they're, they're working with, with, it's such greatness, and, and it's like when someone dies, then you reflect. Right. But while you're seeing it, you don't realize. He's it's like, God damn. Shit. He's got a CD coming out called Mr. P. Mr. Too, P. Yeah. That he was putting together. This isn't one of those things where the family rushed out because uh, you know he died. Oh no, he was he was responsible this is, for. This it. is something he wanted out there, and uh, yeah, they're taking pre-orders now. And and Jonathan said the other day, it's brilliant. This thing, Mr. P, is brilliant. Yeah, and it's available on iTunes and uh, Amazon now for pre-order if you guys want to go out and get it. And the money's going to the family. Yeah, the, the, the up, CD up, company up. actually switched the deal to give his family more yep. money. They, they, they're great. taking a lower percentage. Yep. Hey, was <laughs> any, anybody else on that benefit we did that one time for the rescue dogs? No. It was that, that was, a Steinberg no. gig? So we did this gig, and it was like we show up. You figure it's for rescue dogs. We're working for free. Everyone's going to be paying attention. It was this Manhattan just who's who shit. And nobody was paying attention. The only two people paying attention were two cast members of Queer Eye for the Straight Guy. This is like fucking eight years <laughs> yeah. ago. And uh, so I go up first and like an idiot, I go right into my act and I just immediately start bombing. Nobody's paying attention to me. I'm working for free. And all I can hear is Patrice laughing oh, ah, shit, yeah. at the back of the fucking <laughs> thing, right? Each one of us tried to adjust somehow to kill and none of us could we all ate our balls and then patrice went up there and opened with talking about how he had a puppy for breakfast and went through the whole preparation of it <laughs> <laughs> and just pissed everybody off in the room and then went, right when he had everybody listening he just trashed everybody in the room and this whole thing so the lady who ran the event with her Fuck. i run shit fucking dress she had on was telling him she goes she told him to get off the stage and he's just going, and he's going, no, I'm not getting upset. She goes, she goes, I put this thing together. He goes, bitch, I don't give a fuck. And he just kept going. Oh, so then, man. No, he, he wouldn't get off the stage. That's and then they, they turned off the microphone. No. And there was a piano on stage. So he sits down at the piano and starts playing the piano, which he can't. And I remember he's just sitting there banging it. And as she's yelling at him, he just looked over the impish smile ever, just looking over, smiling. And I was just so fucking happy he did it. And I was so mad that I didn't think to fucking why I went up there like a hat in hand. <laughs> hey, my dad's wacky and just ate my balls. It was it was. I mean, I pair of uh, that's brilliant. He, he was one of those friends, Jesus. one of those comedians who could be your fucking hero in any given moment by doing something like that. Like yeah. God damn it, I love the fact that he fucking had the balls. He was uh, oh. he was very he was impossible to own Patrice because there's nothing you could dangle in his face mm. that he couldn't walk away from. Like he literally Obviously, could, yeah. could not Obviously. be controlled. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you remember when the seller tried to kick him out? The seller kicked him out, and then we all he hung around the corner, so we would all do our sets and then leave because we wanted to hang around with him. So Wait, then, why did the seller kick him yeah. out? Well, he had an I, argument it, with Manny, yeah. I think, but it was it was uh, it was it was a mistake. It was a misunderstanding. I, I watched it happen, and Manny mistook. Uh, Patrice was asking him if he had false teeth, and we. we <laughs> <laughs> but like oh we God. would tease each other all the time there, and he was it was getting to I, I think that was something Manny was sensitive about because he was seventy, and it was one of the only things I guess that was hit, that was like his Achilles, 
And Patrice really didn't know. That oh yeah, he was yeah. I, I wasn't saying anything bad about this. No, no, no. I, mean, I got kicked out for a minute. Everybody, <laughs> at some point, you know, you're 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 late or whatever. You do whatever, and then they they got to throw down the gauntlet. So, mm. so I think he didn't want to come back. I'm saying I think that like he just said, "Fuck this, I'm not going back," and and he just didn't want to go back. Well, all I know is, so now we would just all go hang where he was at. So then they had to let him back in. You just you couldn't beat him. Oh, just, so because everybody was leaving the club. Because we were all going to yeah. leave, yeah. And then, they, you know, they want people hanging around or whatever, so they had to let him back in. And then he figured that out going. That was kind of golden handcuffs that they let me back in. So then what he did was he was back in, but he wouldn't put him for spots. And we'd just go down there and hang out. It was always chess with him. Oh, I yeah, love it. Yeah. Yeah, it, was, it was awesome. you got to respect that, though, man. Yeah. He, uh, I, he was at Caroline's one night, and, he, and there was a work, like a Christmas party there. Fucking 25 people and their female boss. So, of course, like, you're waiting for it. You're like, when's uh -huh. he going to attack the boss? Oh, man. <laughs> and finally, he gets around to it, and he goes, let me tell you all how she likes to get fucked. Oh. <laughs> he, goes, he goes, see how she wear her hair up in that bun? She likes to let that shit down. She likes a dude to wrap that shit around his fist five, six times <laughs> and pull her head down like a horse and go, bitch, shut the fuck up. <laughs> right? Fucking all of her employees are laughing at her. She's staring at Patrice, dude, like venom. And Patrice just goes, bitch, don't give me boss eyes. <laughs> I don't work for you. <laughs> <laughs> fucking maniac. <sighs> That's fantastic. Gonna fucking miss him, man. Yeah, yeah. obviously. God damn. Want to thank Chris for calling in. Yeah, Chris, yeah man. thanks, man. Chris. Thanks for having me. I'm sure I'll see you guys tonight, unfortunately. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah there's uh, a bummer. But well, you know. What the fuck are you going to do? <laughs> yeah. That's the easy way Chris to get around. Chris is in great shape, so we're, that, we're good there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm in decent shape. Uh, yeah. let's, let's work on a towel. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. He won't stop smoking. I feel like a fucking nudge ant. Every time I see him, I want to just go stop. Because he, he quit drinking. He's doing good. He's like, he looks okay, but fucking he won't stop smoking. Yeah. I just, it's like, will you stop? Fucking stop it. I need one vice. Ugh. Yeah, yeah he, he he smokes a lot. He yep. smokes a lot. Yeah, maybe, maybe that's what we do next week. We just pick out a few guys to, you know. Guys, yeah. Even though people did say stuff to Patrice, we always feel like we could have said more. But again, he knew. He was he was the smartest guy in the room. I mean, he, yeah, he can't always be with knew. Him 24 hours either. Yeah, yeah. he was going to make his own decisions. And it's it's unfortunate. They said even, look, with diabetes, even if you're totally thin and you, you jog, it can happen. But by you overeating and stuff, and you just fucking put the odds through the himself. roof. Yeah, man. You make it much worse. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, See you tonight, brother. It was good Jesus. talking to you. Uh, thanks a lot. All right, Chris. Thanks, Thank Chris. you, Chris. Bye, Chris. Uh, Chris Rock, everyone. Yeah, yeah, that really did help Patrice, I think, when Chris, that day he was in, because it yeah. got to him. Because Chris wasn't coming at him like, you asshole. He was like, I wanted to give you. It was extremely real, remember? Yeah. And we I were think, like, whoa. And I think and Patrice, Patrice realized listened, it. too. Yeah. One of the, you know what? One of the only times you watch Patrice actually sit back and listen <laughs> instead no, of would, coming he, back he, with he, something. He would do that in rare occasions when, uh, and it was always when someone was being brutally honest with him. He would, he would actually uh, stop talking and making fun of you for mm -hmm. half a second. But, uh Yeah. Yeah, it's terrible. And it's, 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 you know, look, everybody always says too soon when somebody dies. It's, it's, it's a cliche thing to say. But with Patrice, I've just never seen it more applicable. This was such, yeah. you know, I, Geraldo was the first guy I knew in this business to go, and it was very upsetting. But Patrice was the first, I mean, I was friends with Greg, but Patrice was the first guy that I was really like, holy shit, like, this can happen, man. Like, mm. it can, you can go before. Even though you're loved and respected and have so much to say and, and are such a presence, you can go at any fucking time. It's it's really scary, man, and it's it's so upsetting because you know there was like it, seven more of those it, specials. Welcome there. to middle it, age, Joe. Yeah, <laughs> no kidding. <laughs> middle age is when you realize that life doesn't give a shit. That it right. just it doesn't. You know, right. it it's upsetting because he was young, but it's also like you're saying, upsetting knowing what he was about to do. Yeah, with his career, it was like you know, so there on was, both levels, it just is just sucks. Yeah, I have so wanted to see that it's, guy go go to that. Uh, <clears throat> it was going to be a whole new group of people who are going to meet him for the first time. Which I tell you, I can't oh, stress yeah. that enough. Watching somebody meet that guy when he was in that fucking mood, which he usually was. <laughs> yeah. I just love how he used to pick out. I remember one time this beautiful girl came in and she had this little scar. You could barely fucking see it. Oh, that motherfucker! He, he, he went right for it. Yeah, that's how you do it. Now, like that scar you got right there, right? And then immediately she's just all fucking uncomfortable. And just, he just brought it to this fucking real place that she, you know, 
hadn't probably been in since, you know, I don't know what. And it, he could just, I don't know. Take Did I tell it. that story about him talking, telling that girl to shut up? Uh, that, her could be, voice. that could be a thousand stories. <laughs> Was that at the cellar or no? <laughs> that time we were at the cellar and that, those girls were all talking. I think I told that when I called in. I'll tell it again. Who gives a fuck? Yeah, it don't matter. Just sitting there, like, you know, it's a loud bar, and you know, women, their voices go up. It gets fucking, and he just goes, they sit there talking like, and he keeps glancing over there as he's trying to talk to me. And then he did that glance for an extra second. I'm like, oh, fuck, he's going to say something. He's on, he's and he just going. picked out one. He just goes, ma'am, miss, ma'am. And she finally looks and she goes, what? And he goes, your voice. <laughs> and she goes, she goes, is it loud? And he goes, it's piercing. <laughs> right? And he just starts and just basically tells her to shut up. So then these girls are fucking gorgeous, too. So her two friends want to come to her rescue. So all three of them come over to Patrice. I'm like, oh, fuck, how the hell is he going to deal with this? And I don't know what he did. Within 30 seconds, he had them auditioning to figure out who had the best uh, sexy phone sex voice. Holy shit. And they were yeah. auditioning for him. And he was sitting there judging. And telling each one of them why, despite their looks, guys didn't find him attractive after like a third date. And he was so in there. It was wow. Hannibal Lecter. Yeah, he was in yes. their fucking heads. Hannibal Lecter. <laughs> it was awesome. Yeah. He was a psychologist, man. He really was a brilliant, brilliant, intuitive fucking psychologist, man. He just under... He read people immediately. He I know just, exactly uh, the way when you describe that. How I went, your voice! Yeah. Like he would just do that. Your voice. Shit. Your voice. Yeah. What was better than him shushing people? It's what was funnier than that? Oh. Shh. <laughs> he used to do oh. that. He, he used to do that on the subway. He'd be on the subway and it would be jam packed with people and he'd just go, shh. And everyone would shut up for half a second yeah. and then he would just start laughing. People would get so fucking mad. <laughs> and he was the one that brought that to the circle, right? Him and Keith Robinson are yeah. the two. I, could, I never, Keith is a I never heard that before. Yeah. Like, he could actually he would do, so loud. And he could do it so loud. He could do it yeah. in bars and everybody right. would shut up. Yeah. Yeah. And, then, and, and they, they all would look around like, where did that come from? They don't realize why they're being shushed. And, and you hear people start going, who keeps doing that? Yeah. <laughs> Dude, I would beg him to do it at the cellar. Because from the back of the room, I would like, just shush everybody. It was like asking someone to sing your favorite song and he would yeah. finally shush and the whole fucking restaurant would go silent and he's like why the fuck did we stop talking who is that who <laughs> who's, who's 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 like, dude it's like you got something on your shirt like the person would fall for it every yeah, yeah. fucking time that's so fucking funny oh, i think one time great. i was going out to his house in jersey we were way back in the day you know we were struggling we were on the fucking path trade he did it like fucking nine times to the point I was embarrassed going, please stop doing this. <laughs> <laughs> you never say that to him, no. He's going to just oh, do it more. No, and then I think the oh, entertainment was him watching me be Get so fucking uncomfortable. Right? uncomfortable. Yeah. Oh, God. And he could diffuse yeah. almost anything, too. Like, the, even though he was a big guy, he was so fucking, he just had that light, man. He was so fucking charismatic. Like, he mm -hmm. could diffuse any type of aggression. Um... He just knew how to fucking let the air out and, and make people... Uh -huh. Manny had the same ability. Manny Dwarman. No matter how heated it got, in a second, he could diffuse it. Whatever. Almost I, that, that, You know something? That's what I loved about Manny the best. Is because I came from that stupid Irish, you get into a fight and then you hold on to it right. for fucking nine Forever. years. Yeah. Yeah. He had that thing. He, had a, he, had a, he could actually just make it be like that. He'd come over and hey! And you just see that Manny laugh and you just start fucking laughing. And, be like, oh, I don't and then you start thinking, this is that what we should have done in my family? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Me and Manny had a fight one time, one of our grudge. rare fights, like a real argument. I might have told this story already, but Manny, uh, I didn't go into the cellar for 40 days. Uh, I stayed out for over a month. I was so fucking mad at him, and he was mad at me. And I finally went back in, because um, I just missed it. And, and I, he and I walked by each other, and we just kind of looked at each other and said, hello, hello. And then we were at this, in the back, and it was very <laughs> tense when he was at the table with me. Um, and he said, uh, he said, I have some, uh, pictures of you that I want, I want to give you that I took. And I'm like, okay, thanks. And he goes, let me go get them out of the garbage. <laughs> <laughs> immediately, <laughs> immediately everything was okay. He That's made me laugh. Funny. <laughs> so immediately. He fucking just That's took great. the air. That was another one. That was another rough one. Manny, Manny was terrible. Manny was the, and you know what yeah. I loved about Manny? Manny, uh, Manny fucking, he loved... He loved people. Like he loved the debate. Loved like it. he loved sitting there and like. Uh, so he didn't want to be mad at you. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like I learned a lot about not being oh. an angry psycho just through <laughs> that guy. Like how he had that ability. And interesting enough, Bobby Kelly living with Bobby Kelly. Bobby's really good at that. After you have this epic, Is I'm he? gonna choke. Yeah. Really. Choke you to death. That he can actually. You know, yeah, 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 he starts going, listen, dude, bro, and all yeah, that shit. Yeah, and you're like, yeah. and you're like, oh, this fucking idiot. I can't be mad at him. <laughs> he'll, 
<laughs> yeah, and Bobby Bobby does the great thing too, where he'll go. Uh, He'll be like, it's okay, dude. I'm sorry I snapped at you, right? And and then, like, he'll be talking to you. He'll go, he'll go. I mean, you know, nobody's got to think about that you got all this fucked up shit that you do, and it really pisses everybody off. Or whatever. Like, he'll slip it in. <laughs> oh, man. And you'll, you'll just be going, uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. And I'll go, I'm fucking with you, stupid. Blah, 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 blah. You know, and you're like, ah, you cocksucker. Like, <laughs> like the battered wife. <laughs> yeah. I, wor I worry about Bobby, too, with his eating. I mean, we tease him and stuff because mm -hmm. we're friends, but it's like, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, my friend, it's like, you worry about, like, dude. I it's said not. that to him yesterday. We went in. We went in. He's gonna kill me for telling this story, but we went in to go get a fucking sandwich, and you know, I picked out this little bag of chips, and then What's he that? It, and then he <laughs> picks up this big bag of chips. What's that? What's that? Oh, yeah. <laughs> so just, just Please ignore it. <laughs> okay. It's better Big that bag way. of fucking chips. I go, Bobby, you don't need all those. So then he grabbed like two little ones. I go, put one of those back. Two. He and I go, two right. little. Yeah, I don't know what he's. Uh... He, look, we were we went the other day. I made him walk with me to the Levi store. Uh, More fucking jeans. Like pants and jeans. <laughs> like, what are you? What are you doing? What are you jeans, raping Levi's? women? You're throwing jeans out when you finish? <laughs> he's the jean killer. Yeah. I, um, yeah, the blue jean killer. Blue jean killer. He the needs Pepsi Cola rapist. <laughs> oh, the, For uh, each trophy, he needs a new pair of jeans. Ah, uh, come on, guys. That's just dark. Yeah, he has a bunch of jeans with cum and blood. <laughs> right. Fucking a little long blonde <laughs> hair, hair samples. <laughs> and it all yeah. came out of the same hole. Uh, <laughs> uh, no, I, I made him walk. I had to return some. <laughs> but pants. seriously, folks. I had to <laughs> Come on, I had to go for it. I had to return some pants, and uh, I made him. Want, I was with him and Don, or his wife, for breakfast, and uh, and I'm, I go. I got to return some pants. Come with me. And his wife's like, "Yuck, you should go." And we're walking, and he's yelling at me, "Fucking stupid cocksucker!" I want to. And I go, "Dude, do you understand? I care about you. This is good that we're doing this." And we went into Starbucks. I'm like, "Don't get, like, I'm not trashing him. I'm like, don't get any fucking cookies, dude. Yeah. Like, I'm worried about you. It's like watching. Don't do it. Because Bobby's a compulsive guy, like I am with sex, and like you know, like, like everyone is. But he, he just the food is such an addiction, man, and it's a fucking hard one. It's it's hard because you cannot. We've talked about it, but you can't be fucking abstinent from food. Yeah, you got to eat some. And it's like uh, it's like I worry about him. Like, come on, dude. Because I I took some. I sent some pictures of me, Bobby, and Patrice from Brazil. <laughs> Um, you know, I, I was just going through some photos. Was Bobby a lot thinner back yeah, then? Yeah, man. And it's like, he has the ability to get thin. He really yeah. does. Because Bob's oh, yeah, like a fucking... Yeah. He could just lock on to like working out and work out. You know, he, he can do it. Yeah, it's on or off with him. Yeah, yep. I just want to see him do it for his own health. It's like... Dude, dude. Dude, dude. Dude, dude. Dude, <laughs> what is the theme from Fat Cell? This is what he sees, whatever the fuck oh, that is. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> du, du, du. Dude, I'm done with sugar, dude. <laughs> I'm fucking hitting your gym, dude. <laughs> Doing sit ups. Did it, dude. <laughs> tea, dude. Did it, dude. <laughs> Got a weight loss app for Getting my shitty, iPhone. Dude. <laughs> Gonna get my fucking abs. <laughs> <laughs> that last, like, <laughs> <laughs> he oh, really shit. is at that level of fat where he should just have the gray on gray sweatsuit <laughs> from Sears. <laughs> oh God, that's fucking. <laughs> Uh, All right, well, like, yeah, now that we expressed our concern, let's trash him. Yes, yes. Well, yes. Well, <laughs> well, you got to do it that way. I have no concern around. for uh, Roland. It's a good point. Yeah, you know, uh, what, you know what? I love Roland. Oh, um, but Bobby's one of my Roland closest well, yeah, yeah. friends. I've had I've had sit downs with Roland. He knows. Yeah, yeah. he knows. He he scares me. Dude, <laughs> food is fucking terrible. He scares me. Roland, I say it's Roland was just we when we were watching that baby calf get birth. Uh, get given birth to in a cute little calf face, and <laughs> Roland just goes, All I see is veal. <laughs> uh, hey, Roland. What's Roland. up with my stress? <laughs> we oh, he blames us. We don't get like the your fuck jets out of here. Yeah, what's up with the Jets hat? The new Jets hat. What are you wearing that for? What are you, why are you wearing that? It's fucking horrendous. You don't have the right head for that. Patrice would have looked great in that hat. Yes, he would have. Oh, yeah. I know. We can't Are you uh, loving the Jets? Yeah. We're a little nervous with this Sanchez. Jets, New York Jets. He did all right yesterday, right? Yeah. Yeah. Dude, the Jets can. They know the how Giants to win lost. in the end, though. They're seven and five. I, uh, I, I wouldn't want to play those guys. Packers are rough. Oh, the Packers are great. Packers are ridiculous. Yeah. The Niners don't count them out. No, the th Niners. I think if Drew they, if they, if they had a quarterback. Is Drew Brees not good? Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. Not you thinking. I'm thinking Sanchez. Niners. 
Well, let me put my two cents into this. You don't like football. No. Listen, boy, Joe. I, I'm On telling contrary, you something. This guy. It's Niners. a good year. It's a good year for football, I say, man. Would you just, would you just I, I mentioned Drew Brees because uh, he did, but I was thinking Saints. I haven't seen a player like Drew Brees since, uh, I would say, Namath was the last time I've seen somebody like play oh. like Drew Brees. Let me beat Bill. I'm, oh, I'm, oh, I'm, I'm very oh, serious. Oh, Joe. I'm very oh, serious. Oh, oh, Joe. Oh. Who, who said that, Joe? Oh, you didn't hear the Joe. whole conversation. Who said that? You're repeating it. <laughs> Drew, Drew Brees is. Oh, Joe. He's the old stuff. Uh, shit. All right. I thought that was going to be. What's the matter, Joe? Oh. You tired of being left out of the conversation? He's fun to do, Burr. Yeah. Like it's Burr. really mean, but really true <laughs> and funny. The eyes laugh get, and it hurts. The eyes get real squinty. Yeah. Oh, Joe. Uh, and he doesn't look oh, at you. He lifts the mic. Oh, it's not a Joe. This one, too. Uh, Jesus, Joe. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> nice long Jesus. Yeah, just a fucking. Ah, you gotta Jesus, sit like that. <laughs> Can't tell if you're doing me or an 80, 80 year old uh, fucking va vaudeville guy. It, I, I did vaudeville not... guy. I, I, I really <laughs> didn't have the reference. I was trying to think of the, that. What, what, what the hell did they? Poughkeepsie. Where the fuck did all those old Jewish guys go? Oh, Catskills. Catskills. That was what I was looking for. Old, yeah. old vaudeville <laughs> guy. Yeah, I wanted to ask you when you were telling that Patrice story about the, uh, the you know, the animal thing. And you said you wish you did that. Yeah. Was that before the Philly thing? Yeah, because you had your moment where you you turned it in Philly. At the oh, virus yeah. I show. mean, look, I, I, it's not like I hadn't snapped on crowds, but right. I was so like, it was different. It was a benefit, and I was sitting there, and there was there was some people there. Somebody oh, from NBC so, was there, so I was in this oh, fucking. Yeah. So you felt like you know what? I can't, even if I want to, I I just. Can't go I have there. to be a professional, gotcha. right. I and I, I felt like uh, gotcha. it was. I made, I, I basically kept giving them respect when they were showing me none. So I, <laughs> I it was one of the worst feelings. Now I understand. That's yeah. Now what you just said. It, it's it's not about. You it, thought there was way too the the people were way too important in the audience to yeah. You know, the fuck around. Cast with. from TV shows were there. Gotcha. Everyone was dressed up. This was you know I didn't have a like any sort of agent going maybe somebody from CAA is here like yeah, I was, I was in that stupid no it was a great give story me a deal it was a great story but I was confused because I'm like nah Bill would fucking do that but now I get it Patrice now addressed it. it the way you wished you had addressed it as a comic like ah he was yeah. being yeah I've been there too and man. also I grew into that like Patrice came in <laughs> like like that. that. He came yeah, in was, like that. He actually had to that tone it down and remember to do material. Standard equipment <laughs> with him. You, you, they yeah. should like you. Yeah. yeah. No, he from day one doing stand-up was already there. It took me, it took me years. Mm. And, you know, obviously getting to see a guy his caliber, it was, uh, you know... Ah, it's the worst, worst, his, his saddest laugh, fucking day ever. We've talked about his big, yeah. dumb laugh. But anybody that Greatest thinks Patrice ever. was mean, when you, when you made him laugh like that, like, you, you really felt like a funny person. Oh, you know? yeah, yeah, It was like, when he fucking let go, like, you that's know. the guy I think of when I think of Patrice. Not mean, or, and people have had horrible experiences with him, because he, 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 he was at times <laughs> fucking... Oh, believe me, there's a lot of people not sad today. I, I said there's many happy and sad, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Because he was mean to certain comics unnecessarily, and, um, you know, look, at, at one point he went back and started apologizing to guys, because he felt bad about the interactions he had had. Like, he has a conscience. But he gave you respect, man. You know, he gave you that over-the-top laugh saying, fuck, that was funny, man. something was funny, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think one of the hardest I saw anybody make him laugh was the time Voss did that bit. Hey, you know, what time is it? He, there was this Asian guy walking down the street. Like, I don't know, he's like in the middle of moving, and he had all these boxes. And the joke is you basically go, hey, what time is it? And right. as the guy looks down at the watch, you walk away. Sure. <laughs> and just the look of exasperation because the guy had to adjust the weight of the boxes. Like, I thought Patrice was, was going to fall down. Was he that was, in front of Boston? Uh, the Boston, yeah. remember that? And yeah. he was... He, he like he actually started running. He was laughing so hard. If you can imagine yeah. trying to run away from the he, laugh, he yeah. ran like like <laughs> from his own laugh yeah. and like leaned on this car and was laughing so hard. And the laugh was so great. I remember thinking like I wish I I could make him laugh that hard because yeah, that is yeah. like and, and it was that you know the, it was out there in the streets. So it was echoing off the buildings. It was just. It yeah, just was great. fucking. It was awesome. Yeah, anytime you made him laugh, it was just fucking gold. Like, it's like, right, oh man. man, okay, good. Patrice oh. is laughing. I kind of, I can be, I can be funny at some point. And the <laughs> impish smile too. You're right. That impish. There was that fucking that weird like. Uh, I know I'm yeah, being yeah. naughty. Fucking. He, smile. he knew exactly what he was doing yeah. at all fucking yep. times, yeah. and uh, <laughs> his disdain for authority. I fucking. <laughs> it's fantastic. I, I loved it. Yeah, I fuck. I remember one time we would drive. We used to drive down to New York in my piece of shit truck. I had this '83 Ford Ranger, vinyl seats. You know, we leaned all the way to one side because he's like could barely shift the thing, right? And uh, I remember getting we got pulled over by the cops, 
And I'm just typical white guy. I'm like, I was speeding. Yeah. He got me. Fuck it. And I'm sitting there next to this. The guy comes to the window. I just see, Pat I can feel Patrice oh. staring a hole through this guy to the point I'm like, I'm going to get the shit kicked out yeah, of me because, because of this. Is. I was speeding. The speed limit is <laughs> fucking 55. I was doing 75. Stop <laughs> staring at this guy. And Patrice goes, he had like this whole coat of honor. It's the way. It's the way he's talking to you right now. Oh, I man. fucking hate these cops. And then it became this whole topic of race on the way down that I don't get it. <laughs> and I was just like, dude, you know, they're kind of dicks to us, too. Yeah, yeah. And they also it's... have to come up to the car and be worried that they're not going to get shot. So they have to have... So I was obviously taking the cop's side, and it was just like... I remember I, I had no saliva left in my mouth. <laughs> like five, you know, he could just out-debate you. I think we just, we, <laughs> we just stopped talking by the time we got there. But, but we had this one moment on the trip that we always got a big kick out of. There's this tunnel that you go through on the uh, Mer Merritt Parkway. And we used to always joke that it was this James Bond kind of tunnel. So one time we were going down there through there, and he actually brought the James Brown, uh, James, James, Bond, the James Bond. Bond soundtrack cassette. This is how long it is. And he popped it in, and right as we go on the tunnel, I was like, bow, bow, bow. <laughs> and we were driving through, and then when it went, bow, 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 we both looked at each other, we were in a spine, we bow, 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 bow. became like, <laughs> became this fucking tradition. Every time we drove down, we'd be in the middle of talking. We both knew we were going to oh, do it. Great. Nobody said anything. And then we would, one time we, we were driving down with Bobby Kelly, and that was the best, because he had no idea. And we were sitting there talking, and, and you know, Trace these motherfuckers, blah, 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 blah. And we got to the bridge, and then we go, shut up, Bob. We popped it in, and it's like going down, 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 down. And Bob <laughs> just starts doing that high-pitched laugh. What the fuck? <laughs> and then we just looked at each other, came out the other side, and it was... Bobby laughed for, like, ten miles. It was fucking... <laughs> it was, he told me that it was story. Awesome. Uh, it, was, it was fucking... We had so many... Funny. So many great times, man. He told yeah. me about you guys doing that recently, and he was telling me, he goes, he goes, dude, they would drive through the tunnel, dude, and as soon as they hit the tunnel, they'd go, da 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 And I go, what the fuck are you talking? What are you singing? No, we put, and we he goes, put, James Bond, dude! <laughs> no, we had it down, and right when it go, ba na 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 we both look at you each other. You gotta look at each other. And then when it, when it, when it, was, like, it was like, go, da na na we'd look away back, going yeah, straight. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's fucking cool. That's hilarious, That's awesome. Yeah, and it, it's like it, a movie. Yeah. yeah, and when Bobby saw it, dude, I'm telling you, he laughed for fucking 10 miles going, what the fuck is wrong with you guys? And it was, uh, <laughs> it was awesome. And then we went down to New York and me and Bobby uh, felt like little kids and Patrice just walked in and immediately started trashing the club owners. And I, I, I was just, and I remember thinking like, how does he think he's going to get in <laughs> yeah. doing this? And then he would because he just had the, uh, he would literally de-pants these guys and they would just like, they're yeah. so used to being like mm. everybody just groveling, and Patrice would just come in and just you know bring them and down could, to bedrock. He could back any shit up with charm and charisma, mm -hmm. which is fucking like no one has both of those things. Where you can be a <laughs> utter prick so, and um, then be charming. Have. Yeah, well, we have the prick part, but that charming part we're all a little lacking. Ah, we're working <laughs> on it. But he was funny. He was almost funny at will, and that was what got him out of it. Was because yeah. you couldn't. Argue that this guy is not hilarious. Like yeah. he, everyone, you couldn't. He uncomfortable situations. He can make people laugh at mm -hmm. all the time. Like just start to start trashing somebody where nobody knows him. He didn't care. <laughs> he didn't give a fuck. And then people would listen and start laughing. I saw him. He trashed one time. We were at Montreal Comedy Festival, and the original star of Law and Order, really well respected actor. He passed away. <laughs> he came mm -hmm. walking up, and I was like all in awe. And Patrice started making fun of his fucking raincoat, and the guy loved it. He just, like, he immediately was got... Was that Patri Orbach guy? Yeah. The I think, old guy, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Jerry? Yeah. Who literally Jerry looked Orbach. like... I think it's Jerry, yeah. Yeah, and that yeah, was the thing. Matters. Like, when people immediately got Patrice, like, that was that was another, like, a whole nother level. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. then you immediately saw, oh, I bet this guy breaks balls, too. Like, he totally... <laughs> he, he didn't have, like, uh, that vibe, like, I'm the star of a TV show. He immediately thought it was fucking funny. And then I, then Patrice had that thing that like that's how people didn't realize that's how you got to him that if you actually could laugh at a trash and that then you'd get that that side of Patrice where he he showed you what a big hearted guy he was yeah 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 god damn oh and it just gets sadder by each story it it really yeah. does yeah. fucking horrible there was some wonderful savage beatings. Some fucking <laughs> verbal beatings and we've all been on the receiving end of them and oh. I don't think I ever got over that that bus beating. About oh, taking right. the bus. You know, and Kevin and, and them uh, came in and told that story. And this is what I never told because I was sworn to secrecy. I got, after that trashing, 
I was still going to do the gig. Because in my world, it was an easy gig. Just to tell the listeners, it was basically you had to do stand-up on a bus. On a bus, yeah. To Yankee Stadium, and they, they, they pay you like 500 bucks, and you get a free World Series ticket. And they were all Braves fans. So I'm like, that's the easiest fucking gig ever. All I got to do is just stand there. Every time I have a problem, I go, Jeter sucks. Or, hey, look at the tits on her. And I would be fine. But they pounded me so bad for 45 minutes. I was still going to do it because I didn't give a fuck. But in the end, Patrice said, he said, Bill, you're a friend. He goes, I can't let you do that. He goes, I will stand in front of that bus before, before I let you do that. He goes, you, ha you make enough money. Just buy a fucking ticket if you want to go. And I just remember that going like, oh, I should really have some sort of respect for myself. And that's what made me stop. And then I, this is where I was sworn to secrecy is I passed that gig on to somebody else and they did the gig. I'll let them tell it if they ever come on this show. And uh, I asked them the next day, I go... I go, I go, how was the game? He goes, oh, it was fucking awesome. I go, I go, how about the, how was the gig? He goes, dude, it was brutal. Because I'm not going to lie. He goes, he goes, I ran out of shit. We hit traffic. Oh, <laughs> oh no. Oh, no. That traffic, to, I didn't take into consideration there was going to be right. traffic going to a World so Series you, game at the Bronx. You had to perform for the whole ride, no matter how long the ride lasted. Oh, it wasn't like you're man. on the dude, I don't think Patrice oh, was shit. ever, was ever funnier. He said, he goes, so when they bring you up, are you going to come out of the bathroom? Or he goes, are you going to walk up those little stairs? <laughs> uh, the, the, one of my favorite ones he said, he goes, he was doing an impression of me. After uh, after at the end of the end of the uh, the gig, I was gonna be standing up, going like, "This is gonna be a visual joke." But you know, thanks a lot, everybody. You guys have been great. And then I sit down with my back to the crowd, <laughs> and, 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 as, and as they all get up, I'm looking over my shoulder, going, "Oh, thanks a lot." Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. <laughs> <laughs> and it was just one of those things. It was the easiest thing to trash somebody for, and then all the fucking Mount Rushmore people of trashing. Norton was there. Voss was there. Keith was there, little Patrice Kev. and Little Kev. Oh shit, dude! And two of them, oh. I never, I, I never recovered. They literally did a headlining set, <laughs> and it was one of those awful nights at the cellar where there was only it was like like a third full. So there was every, people who didn't even know me were hearing it, and they were either <laughs> laughing. Or I, one girl looked at me and she went, "Oh, like she saw me, <laughs> dude!" And I just was sitting at the bar, shifting my weight, and all they wanted to do from. 30 seconds in was run out of there, and I just, I couldn't. I had to sit, because that's the rules. I had to sit there and take yeah. it through. And every time I thought it was going to end, somebody else would just come back with something else. <laughs> and it, it just, dude, I'm telling you, that one, the Eddie Ift. Oh, my God. Was that, that was one. That, were you there for that? It was, was when uh, Patrice, a comedian, Eddie Ift, who's a funny guy, but Patrice killed him one time. They argued about something. <laughs> And it was so bad. Me and Voss were there, and like literally, we, we didn't even. You, you just want to jump in on a teasing. We couldn't even jump in on a teasing. It was. It, it felt abusive almost. Like to oh, jump yeah, like, in. Wow. wow. Some, somebody joked I don't that, remember. that we need to call him to make sure he's okay. Eddie, I actually, out of everything we said, summed up Patrice in a great way. One time, he goes, "Sometimes I would walk into the cellar, and I would just think, fuck, he saw me," <laughs> 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 which I thought was exact because I used to feel that. I used to feel that. Like, you would oh, come walking shit. in, and you would literally, like, dude, you used, before you'd walk in, you'd look at your clothes going, okay, is everything straight? <laughs> is my gonna, hat? Is my hair messed up? They're going to fucking rail me about this oh, one dude, really bad. I yeah. have closets full of clothes that got retired <laughs> from the <laughs> trashing. And i, I got to be honest, dude. Like, as much as I do that shit on stage, I'm not that guy off stage. Like, Norton and those guys really were those guys. And I used nice to, shirt. I used yeah, to oh, really... Boy. Great. He take a fucking pounding down there. He I was really trashing did. some guy's hoodie one night. I forget who the comic was. We're in front of the cellar, and Patrice was trashing his hoodie so bad. And he's going, look at this nigga's hoodie. Look at this nigga's hoodie. Right? And he goes, he goes, take that shit off, man. Take that fucking hoodie off. And the dude unzipped it, and he was wearing, like, a spandex shirt. Oh, and he goes, shit. put it the fuck back on. <laughs> put it back on, man. And it was like, the, it was like so, it was so oh, fucking fast no. and so insulting. Like, boom, 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 boom. <laughs> We were laughing so fucking hard. I love hard. when he used to call like older white people the N word when he was mad at them, <laughs> yeah. and he would talk to them like it was some dude on the street. And they, they, so he would be coming at them like forty different ways that they did not <laughs> handle. You can only see their clothes moving and the pounding that they were taking from the guy. And uh, totally, man, I never said that, dude. Now that everybody's fucking dropping, utmost respect for like the, the quickness you get, Norton has, and, oh, uh, and all those guys, man. Jesus They're just fucking, Christ, yeah. Yeah, it's just really. A... Uh, 
One of my best laughs I ever had was on this show when you you called somebody a zilch. And I literally, <laughs> the way he said it, I swear to God, like three weeks later, I was eating like raisin bran and the shit came out of my nose. I don't know why I was thinking it. I think because you were eating like a breakfast sandwich. I was eating breakfast. Some, there's some sort of fucked up connection. I was sitting there with me, <laughs> and I was eating fucking something. I just thought he went on, you know, one of those Norton rants. Yeah. Blah, 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 blah. Fucking zilch. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Shit just came out of my nose. So thanks, man. I don't know. Seriously, dude. Dad, it was so, the most. Uh, it was the mo moving up to the city with you guys. With you guys already being was one of the most intimidating things you could ever do because you walk into the. You know, you come from the open mic scene in Philly. <laughs> And you go, all of a sudden you're like it's your first night in New York. You walk into the cellar. It's Norton, Burr, Patrice, Bobby, Voss, DePaulo, Keith, oh, Keith, Keith Geraldo, yeah. DePaulo. I forgot DePaulo. Oh, and you're yeah. just like you know, <laughs> oh, it's that we're not in Kansas moment. Not to use yeah. a cliche, but I mean, it's yeah. like you know, and just watching that, you're just like, I better shut the fuck. <laughs> up. Yeah, don't talk. <laughs> oh, dude, I, I gotta tell you something. Oh. The amount of comics who came down there and took one ass beating. And just hit out up at the strip <laughs> and the fucking uh, 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 stand up New York for the rest of their and time. Just there. Never fucking never came, came back. back down, dude. Like it was a serious caning. <laughs> <laughs> and the thing is, you never really got beaten into the gang. It just <laughs> it just came, yeah. it just continued to happen. I remember nights. Even Keith, remember that night? Keith was wearing something, and somebody got him with something so funny. He literally stood up. That's how I got the idea. He literally stood up and ran out of there. And I remember thinking about that bus pounding going, why the fuck didn't I ever think to run out? Why did I just sit here and take it? Sometimes you got to just leave. Like when you yeah. feel the roll starting and you got to go, you're like, I'm out. I've been no on a few. Right? Yeah. But the worst is when like Artie, Artie will like, they got smart to guys trying to run out and they'll block you. Like you'll try to dash out of the fucking spot. Where the fuck are you going? Sit there and take your fucking pounding. Oh. <laughs> Who got me mad one time? I came. I was when I was opening for Dice. It was probably ninety nine or two thousand, and I was at the cellar, and they were killing me for probably for opening for you know, you know right. or whatever they were doing. Oh, yeah, 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 Patrice. Patrice was killing you. What was he saying? I don't remember. Oh, he was saying how much of a lackey Norton was to, to fucking Dice. So he started imitating Dice, calling Jim up, going, "Hey, let's go to the mall." Oh. <laughs> <laughs> fucking pounding the table, dude. That was a great smashing. Oh, and I was shit. I was overtired because I used to fly home in the morning and land at like six p.m. and then go mm. right to the cellar. And because uh, it was before, obviously, the morning radio. And I'm sitting there. I think it was Patrice that pulled my chair out. <laughs> and I was like, "Don't touch my fucking chair!" Like that's when I decided to get oh, indignant and angry. Yeah, now you're I, yeah, I made it real. Like, Don't touch my fucking chair, and that just made the pounding worse. <laughs> <laughs> it just made my Jesus. beating worse. And I had to take it. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> It's Dude, so I remember like bro. times of like trying to sneak out of there, and you just literally, Keith, be like, "Where you going, Burr? You got nowhere to go. Sit down. <laughs> you got nowhere to go." <laughs> and then you look like an idiot. You try to make something up. I got it. Uh, you got an audition for what? Stupid. <laughs> You're not getting it. Nobody cares. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Oh, fucking brutal. Sometimes when you're getting beat up, it was fun though. Like I literally have been killed by those guys, and you're thinking like it's it is fun because I know I'm loved oh, here, yeah. and I'm getting pounded by some of the funniest fucking guys in the country. It was it was kind of a weird thing to enjoy. Like even when yeah, you were I getting only killed, saw you only he only I got upset a lot. He only got upset a couple of times. But I don't remember what time. Like he was always good nature. I remember time Jim was playing chess with Bobby. Bobby's on the phone too. And uh, fucking. Uh, Patrice is just being just fucking with Norton, and he goes, uh, he goes, Jim, what would you do if I punched? You? What'd you do if I punched you right in this chin right here? And he, and he just started. And he just started. I don't know. I just watching the way Jim was laughing. I literally learned from you guys because I came from such an angry background where it wasn't done with any sort of love. That's why I sucked at that game because I didn't take it in love. And then I also went right for your jug. I was the guy. Oh, right, yeah. yeah, at least my mom didn't die. <laughs> that's, that's how I initially <laughs> played it. So it took me the just took everyone out of it, wrecked the whole Sorry, thing. Yeah, yeah, the whole fucking. Yeah. Bobby was like that too. Like, and he, but Bobby had a way of saving it. Bobby, Bobby would go for the jugular, and then then everybody would be like. Jesus Christ, and just go, Bob Kelly. <laughs> Bobby's I, on the line. I butchered it, sorry. Bobby. Hey, Bobby, yeah. Bobby. Hey, what's up, guys? How you doing, Bobby? How you doing, man? Bobby. Bobby. I was, I was at that pounding too, bus, Bill. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you were there for that one? I was, I was I'm the one sorry. You come up to the front, the yellow line, and that's the stage. <laughs> the yellow line? <laughs> I don't know, Bob. I got to admit, it was all kind of a blur, you know? <laughs> I still have brain damage from that one. <laughs> 
That was an ep- that was one of the top. We went over it one night. I remember Patrice was at the cellar. <laughs> That's so funny the, the, that he got kicked out of the cellar and then back in, and then he just refused to play there. That's funny. <laughs> Dude, I heard I didn't I wasn't there for this one, but one an epic one. Bobby got off easy because it was overseas, so none of us saw us. There was oh. something in Amsterdam about a hotel room. You guys went over to do a gig over there. It was you, Keith, and Patrice? Well, I you know yeah, it was Keith and Patrice and me, and it was uh, they put us they tried to put us in this you know boutique hotel right in the LED, red light district, but it was really just like you know a, a flop house. <laughs> to save money, and, you know, Patrice and Keith flipped out, and I was just wanted to be a people pleaser, so they had me back to Amsterdam, and I'm like, it's not so bad. And, uh, yeah, it had, like, it had, it was a square room, four metal bunk beds, Ugh. and it had a, a, a five by five window. It's a hostel. Jesus. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, they complained, and I didn't. I told the guy, I'm fine, this is great, I'm, I'm cool here. And the, the guy was lying to him, like, yeah, it's 30 minutes away, and blah, 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 trying to get him not to go. They were like, fuck you, pick us up, we're out of here. They left. It wound up only being 10 minutes away. It was the nicest hotel ever that they put Patrice and Keith on. <laughs> <laughs> and I had to spend the night by myself in this fucking hostel. I was fucking shitting my pants. And then the next day I come out to get in the van as they're picking me up to go to the show, I had bought a black shirt and black polyester pants, but I didn't know that I bought bell bottoms. <laughs> oh no! So oh. I came out. I came out of the hostel, and it looked like I had a fucking black evening gown on. <laughs> <laughs> the pounding, the pounding that went on in that van. I'm not even kidding you. It was so brutal and so rapid fire between Keith and you know Keith laugh and Patrice's laugh. Not only did Patrice hit you with a fucking crazy fucked up, just right on the money slam, his laugh just mushed it into your face. Oh, and, and drowned out anything you had coming back with. There's nothing you could, his laugh was like the extra just foot on the face in the <laughs> mud. And I remember the guy, Franz, who didn't laugh at us all week, thought we were assholes, had to pull the fucking van over. He was laughing so hard. <laughs> this is a French guy, too. I don't even think he understood English that well. Then, I, 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 I'm, I'm going to be honest with you, I had a, a tear in my eye. Like, I welled up. It, <laughs> it, honestly, honest to God, sometimes I got pounded by these guys. Because it's hard to fucking take somebody, because they're being so honest with you. I look like I got raped, and I was somebody's bitch in prison. I mean... <laughs> And I fucked up, and I was so scared to walk out of that hotel with my fucking bell bottoms on. Your evening gown. <laughs> and then the fact that they didn't even give me a second. You know, there's some comics would be like, hey, what's up, man? Nice pants. And they just talk about you behind your back. None of our crew would do that. It, it was sometimes that hurt so bad that you, I mean, dude, I, I literally had tears in my eyes. And it they, they, they told me, Bob, they told me that they actually invited you over to their great hotel that they stayed at. And then you came walking in and acted like you were going to stay there, and they didn't let you. They made you go back to your <laughs> flop house. <laughs> they said, after the thing, Patrice looked back and saw me. My feelings were hurt. He saw that I was legitimately, my feelings were hurt. And he goes, Bobby, you can come with us tonight. And I go, I go, can I? He goes, absolutely not, stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was listening before with the, uh, the weight stuff, and I, I really, it just... It really bugs me to no end that Joe DeRosa is fucking saying that I need more help than him. <laughs> the fact that he looks like his body is any character out of a Dr. Seuss book. <laughs> Joe really I, is the wild card. Like, Bobby's the obvious choice. Yeah. You know what I mean? But like, when you gamble, you always got to bet. You always got to pick a couple of upsets if you want to go yeah, undefeated pass. on the card. Yeah. Please, the pass line. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the point. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're still on the board, dude. I'm telling you. And, and don't forget about that fucking lunatic sitting next to you with the megaphone in front of him. Who, Andy? Oh, me? Yeah, Andy? we, we got to save you, too, you fucking Howard Hughes. He's not uh, going to come out of his house one day. Yeah. <laughs> well, I like my house. Jesus <laughs> Christ. Nice. How are they going to find like my house, my beers, and my guns. How, how and where are they going to find you in that house when it all goes down? I, I say in the... Uh, let's see. <laughs> yeah. That was a logical question. Uh, I know. I know. 
I know. I, gonna who's going to be brave enough to go wait, into wait, the wait, house? Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. What do you got, Buff? I, I, it's going to be. It's going to be in the hot tub. There's going to be two young girls dead with him. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and there's going to be. He's going to have his fifty cal going out like uh, a legend. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Anthony's going to be the first person where it's literally from my cold, dead hand. He's going to be dead <laughs> yeah, with the fucking gun. Take, oh, gonna, fuck. It's going to involve some, 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 uh, some, some sort of barricade. When you barricade it into your own house, the word estranged is going to be used. <laughs> Former. A lot of kids. Yeah. It's going yes, down like that. Yes, yes. Hist- history of. History of. <laughs> yeah. You're going to yeah, find you in some room. things. Some room behind a three foot iron door. Sometimes, <laughs> with sometimes food controversial. In it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, God damn it. Opie, uh. Opie's going to go in a park. <laughs> I can see him feeding Opie. birds and just keen on He's going to last a while. He's going to last a while. Like, but like uh, Michael Corleone. Yeah, he's going to go like Michael Corleone. Three. Hold the chest. <laughs> Yeah, just the watch. Watch. At least that one you live long. <laughs> yeah, that's a good scenario. What the fuck? Obi's gonna Obi's gonna go learn Tai Chi in China. Oh, right then. Oh, well, I guess we gotta go tai, home. Tai Chi. Why don't you try taping it right or something, Bob? Oh, fucking chip. When is he gonna go? Bobby, you missed the John Jones interview, and uh, and uh, Jimmy took a pretty good fucking hit today. Really? Why? Well, you know how Jimmy likes to try out some of this. John shit. was great, and he gave me a a, a shin a, kick, a to, shin the kick thigh. to my upper right thigh, and 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 uh, Jim <laughs> Norton's color left Fuck his you. body. Wait a minute, dude! I'm so sorry I didn't make it in. I I had some problems. That's right. Late last night. Um, he fucking know. dude. It was so bad. Can I just tell you what a fucking moron I am, Jimmy? What? You said yesterday, Jim Jones is coming in. You got John Jones is coming yes. in. Yes. I, who's that fucking? I thought you met Tom Jones, the singer. <laughs> no, that's and I was like, you kept saying yeah, we're you're going to come in tomorrow. You're going to come in. I'm like, yeah. all right, all right. And I was like, I don't give a fuck about Tom Jones. Yeah, it was Johnny Bones. <laughs> Johnny Bones. I didn't know it was John Jones. I'm a fucking moron. He, dude, he gave me a fucking. That was fucking bothering with why? Like, why would Tom Jones kick you? <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> that's a good question. Yeah, I go, <laughs> well, so I like, kick you. <laughs> It's like a David Lee Roth kind of showbiz kick. Dude, there's a... Yeah, <laughs> yeah it was like a can-can fucking thing. That really is the difference between me and Bob, too, because when he said Tom Jones, I literally was like, ooh, well, that would have been exciting. <laughs> we, oh, Opie Twittered it, and I retweeted it, dude. He kicked me, and there's a better video of it going up. Sam has a better video. Yeah. He gave me a shin kick to my upper right thigh. It was. It hurt so... I, I literally couldn't breathe, and then I had to leave the studio because I thought I was going to throw up. It was a shock to my system. <laughs> I almost fainted from the kick. His color was fucked up. I almost fainted. I had why, to walk. Why? Why are you into this? Why? Uh, that why? one. That one I would never do again. Like it is a uh, masochistic thing. No, but it's not that. It's 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 just what yeah. what fan wouldn't want to? You get a chance. Well, come every on. Other it's like fan. taking a catch from Peyton Manning or fucking Staubach. <laughs> every time I sit here going, maybe I'll t- nah, nah. Fuck that. I want to see if I make you kind of want to do it. For I know. A second, I, I, and then you realize, and then, nah, nah, how, no way. How, how big is he, dude? How he's a, he's he? a fucking. Oh, yeah. He literally is sculpted. He's six, out of human tissue. He's got to be <laughs> six five, right? Right. He's deceptively massive because he's so tall. I don't know. Yeah, he's and he's he's uh he's uh, he's a really sweet guy too. Really nice guy. Real right? nice. He smiles a lot, which would really suck when he's beating the shit out of you. Oh, Jesus, he would, he would probably keep smiling. But he doesn't smile when he fights, man. No, they, they were showing clips on TV before of his fucking uh, some of those spinning elbows, and I just I don't uh. understand how people get up to take that. I don't comprehend how a yeah, man can crazy. take that to his face. Yeah, that's the worst person is the the, born, the you know because he's a Christian too. He believe, really believes in God. And you know that other side of those people. Yeah. You know? <laughs> oh, that's why he brought up Tim Tebow, I guess. How's your leg, Jimmy? I'm trying to see. I've been icing it too, because as per Kenny's, uh, oh. no bruise yet. Yeah, no. he's a he's a he's a he's a monster. He's gonna <laughs> he be a heavyweight. Fucking, his fucking little midget Schwarzenegger legs are hilarious. <laughs> Tim Norton really Tim, is in fucking shape. Those legs are ridiculous. From the They're from the waist shape. down, he is. The waist down, from the waist up, I I I, I literally look like I was just pulled off a clay table. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you have legs that are sculpted? Well, he, I don't know. 
You know how hard it is to bend it, down in the what? meat packing district? It makes no <laughs> sense. It doesn't make sense. You're, you're right. He's, you have you're half, half sculpted. You have calf <laughs> muscles that like bodybuilders would kill for. But no, I, I really His belt is too fuck? tight. All the fat can't sit. <laughs> sit, sit <laughs> the fucking thing. It's so bizarre. I really do. They fucking they rolling pin my feet up to my cock and balls <laughs> and I belt it off. <laughs> and then his thighs are sculpted too, man. Yeah, it's like, very it's good like thighs. a balloon animal that they squeeze the legs and everything just... <laughs> But you, I'm an unfinished sculpture. You're you don't, exactly right. You don't walk. You work out every once in a while. I elliptical then you three treat, times in a row. But then you treat yourself. Oh, yeah. No, and I talk very about strange. It. No, that's genetics, dude. I it mean, is. Yeah. Yes. Gen- yeah. yeah. I used to hate genetics. those guys in the gym. They lift once uh, and they're ripped. It's like, what? Uh, why, why? What is, is that nobody? about? Come on. Uh, I know. Why did you not get shit for that? Because he knew I meant it as a yeah. horrible thing. Uh, we, uh, <laughs> we got a really busy day. We got to wrap up. I would never yeah. say that. Talk to you guys later, man. <laughs> we'll see right, you later. Bobby. Bye, guys. I love you guys. Uh, uh, bye, bye, love you. Bye, Take care of yourself. Bye, everybody. Bill, what do you got? Anything? Bye, buddy. Podcasts, anything you want to promote? I'm here for You're good. Patrice. Yeah, That's it. no, I know that. But That's it. You might as well at least get a plug in. What the fuck, dude? You know what? I wanted to tell you. Remember those tweets? Was I showing you those last nights? The fucking tweets I got from some people, like how showbiz never never ends. Hey, Bill, sorry to hear about Patrice. I know he's a real good friend to you. Listen, I just opened this room in Reno. Oh, it's a three hundred seater. I got a couple of those. Oh, yeah. fuck sorry about know. Patrice. Hey, can you do me a favor? Do you have Kevin Hart's number? Yeah, I would really yeah. like to. Uh, yeah, using your grief to segue into something. <laughs> yeah. Just, so. Some asshole fucking. Now, look, this is hearsay, so if it's not true, fine. But right. if it is true, you're a <laughs> fucking cunt. But some comic, female comic from L.A., supposedly tweeted, like, when he died, like, oh, you know, rest in peace, Patrice, something along those lines. And then, like, but I'll be at the uh, such and such. And, yeah. We, like, I plucked Ugh. their fucking gig off of his. Uh, MTV.com did fucking that. Fucking asshole, really? Man. MTV.com did, uh, they said, uh, they said, and this is, I'm not making fun of any of these people. It's just who they chose to retweet. Uh-huh. They said, like, uh, Charlie Sheen, Aziz, Sarah Silverman, and Nick Cannon all grieve the loss of their good friend Patrice O'Neill. I'm just oh thinking, did we God. not have enough credits? And then, at the, and then at the bottom it said, uh, uh, Vinny from Jersey Shore. Uh, said it's, it's going to be a huge loss to the comedy world. So they actually used Patrice's death as a way to cross promote cross promote their, their, their show fucking believable <laughs> come on dude it's oh show and God. Patrice would have laughed his ass off of at course. that yes. he would have blown yes. off his blown off his real friends yeah he he would have actually fuck? enjoyed he actually would have enjoyed our subtle humiliation at that yes <laughs> that's what you get stupid you're not famous enough yeah, yeah. he would have really berated us <laughs> <laughs> what about Piers Morgan thinking uh, Patrice was a girl that happened his whole fucking career. I remember yeah. I did but, it. P- but I, Piers is like selling it like, oh, this is a tragedy. She's going to be missed. She was so this. She was that. Yeah, but you knew that. You know, when the that, Jim yeah. Norton is the only guy I've ever seen actually reads the book before the author comes in right. and then apologize and says, I'm only up to page fucking 201. Yeah, I'm yeah. sorry. The other them just go like, you know, I, I, this book is just, you know, the the. the I, thought I, it, I the just back, thought the back cover, yeah. yeah they I, don't. I thought Piers was just a little different than the rest of them. Like, he, I don't know. Right, more thoughtful maybe? Yeah, or, yeah. man. Nah. We had him in and in the end, he's just like the rest of these He was fun. He was a fun guy he to hang with for an hour. He didn't fucking I mean. know him. And may believe he did. Joe, let's not promote Caroline's then. This is about Patrice. Sorry. You'll have to come back and promote uh, that you're going to be at Caroline's the 14th, 15th, and yeah, 18th. You wouldn't uh, we do can't do it today. We can't do it today. You're too much of a man, Please, Joe. please. Yeah, don't don't, don't make a house of comedy in Minneapolis. No, don't do it. Not no, today. No, no. <laughs> not today. But any other day, you're more than Out of respect for Patrice. Out of respect for Patrice, I will say this. I will be in Doylestown this Friday and Saturday. And not only should you come, you should buy my merchandise. Why? It's what he would have wanted. That's right. <laughs> there you go. Hey, um, That's true. Tomorrow we're finally going to breathe, and uh, Iraq has like bonus Patrice stuff. Okay, Another good. five hours of Patrice tomorrow that he couldn't fit in the weekend special, so that's going to be great. And um, we'll see you guys. Wednesday. I just wanted to. I want to tell you about some yes, big Sam. news, though. Porn sites are moving from the dot com to the dot triple X. Yes, you know how difficult it is getting a dot com name th- uh, these days. Patrice loved porn. Yeah, if you're going to start a dot com porn. porn site, it's almost impossible to find a memorable name. Uh, that hasn't been uh, taken already by someone else. That's why you need to go to www.buy.triplex. B-U-Y uh, dot triple X. Right now, because it's unbelievable what the domain names uh, are still available for you to check out. Think about it. 20 years ago, people probably laughed at the guy who bought up uh, collegegirls.com. With the new dot triple X domain, now there's a second chance of uh, being the guy who gets, gets those names first. As of September, uh, December 6th, that is December 6th, anyone could buy dot triple X domains. Think about it, huh? You got a clever dot uh, triple X name? Check availability at 
www.buy.xxx. That's www.buy.xxx. Yes. And uh, you know what? I don't even care. We're going right up. Is all those? Are you kidding me? You know the holidays are always about <laughs> bringing people together. Uh, yeah. The love of everybody. Oh, Joe. Catch you later, man. Ah, it's all right. Huh? What, what do you want from me? Bring the people you love together this holiday season with a festive mini Christmas tree from Pro Flowers. We love these things. Have mine set up in the uh, in the house. It's beautiful. Little lights on it. This week only get Santa's Workshop mini Christmas tree for just nineteen ninety nine. That's nineteen dollars ninety nine cent. It's fragrant tree and it comes with free festive tin uh, in a festive tin with free colorful lights, twelve free wooden ornaments for you to decorate it with. It's an amazing value. Or upgrade to a larger angel and snowflake ornament with uh, white lights for just $10 more. The mini Christmas tree would be a great surprise for kids, friends, coworkers. It's an amazing mini tree. It sells out every year. So order right now before supplies run out. Here's uh, how you get your mini Christmas tree for just $19.99. Call them. 1-800-PRO-FLOWERS. 1-800-PRO-FLOWERS. Mention OP or go to the ProFlowers um, or ProFlowers.com, I'm sorry, and click on the microphone in the upper right-hand corner and type in Opie. ProFlowers.com. That's ProFlowers.com. Click on that microphone in the upper uh, right-hand corner. Type in O-P-I-E. Don't wait. The offer expires at midnight on Friday, so order now. Oh, yeah? Well. <laughs> oh, yeah? Oh, yeah? How you doing there, Iraq? I'm doing good. Anthony, how are you? Well, uh, you might not have heard this, but uh, there's big news happening. No way. Yeah, porn sites are moving from .com to .XXX. <laughs> you know how difficult it is getting a .com name these days? Very. If you, yeah, if you're going to start a .com porn site, it's almost impossible to find a memorable name that hasn't already been taken by somebody else. That's why you need to go to www.buy.XXX. That's buy.xxx right now. Because it's unbelievable what domain names are still available. Check it out for yourself. Just think, 20 years ago, people probably laughed at the guy that thought to buy collegegirls.com. With the new dot, uh, triple X domains, there's a second chance to be that first guy with those great names. As of December 6th, anyone could buy dot triple X domains. Uh, think you've got a clever dot triple X name? Check availability at, at www.buy.xxx. That's www.buy.xxx. Opie and Anthony have left the building. After ONA Live is next. Serious XM. Hey, hey, hey! And now, the Opie and Anthony show continues. continues. This is After ONA Live. Here's your host, Sam Roberts. Hello, I just started the show. Uh, there's a button on the board. It says Sam. I'm Sam, so I pushed the button, not realizing that it would turn the microphone on in the space where I usually sit. So I just said hello into a microphone that wasn't on because I have to hit Opie when I'm doing After Opie and Anthony Live, which is, by the way... Mistakes and All, brought to you by Trojan Bearskin Condoms. Trojan, America's number one most trusted condom brand. Uh, a really great show today. Bill Burr, Joe DeRosa in. We talked to John Bones Jones. Chris Rock called in again. I mean, we, so we've said this every day for the last four or five days, but really giving you an idea of the amount of people who, who felt like Patrice had impacted their lives. Chris Rock. It uh, doesn't get much bigger than him in comedy right now. He called in to talk about how much he loved Patrice and uh, some of the sabotage that Patrice did to himself. Now, the special, phenomenal job by the sex man, Eric Nagel, the Patrice special over the weekend, I heard nothing but good things about, other than Troy at one point introduced Kurt Metziger, which <laughs> is, I believe, Roland speak for Kurt Metzger. Um, beyond that, I heard, I mean, I'm just nothing but fantastic things. So, Did Pat, you hear this, any of the special? I couldn't, could I, I couldn't yourself? listen to it, to tell you the truth. I, I tried, even though I built it, I tried to ignore it as well. And Saturday, when we were getting into the car, we were leaving from the place that we were at. Um, my wife had the, had our channel on, and it was right when Warren Haynes started speaking. Oh. 
Yeah. So I yeah, that, I, I that, that quickly went or, off. No, I, I had it to turn it off. Yeah, I mean, I was I was on the road too this weekend. I went to Philly for a wrestling convention of all the terrible things. It was chronicled on my Twitter, but um, I couldn't. I couldn't. I was listening to other stuff. I turned Howard on or something. I couldn't. I couldn't listen yeah. to. Oh, oh, you said it. I couldn't listen to the Patrice special, but um, the the Chris Rock thing where uh, where Chris was kind of. Uh, convincing Patrice that he needed to shape up in show business and explaining why he lost the role on Everybody Hates Chris. That's going to be, that wasn't part of the special, but it will be on tomorrow. Yeah. Um, while we were building all this, we thought, you know, there was a chance for on Friday that Chris might call in and I was saving it and it didn't. And then it worked out for this time. Yeah. So I'm going to mix uh, what Chris did today with that old segment. And well, good. I mean, it sound good. And, and, you know, nobody got tired of it. So it, definitely uh, look forward to tomorrow morning. It's the bonus Patrice tribute. Another five full hours of stuff that you have There's not so much stuff. heard yet. Five more hours on top of the 16 we aired this weekend. Five uh, new hours of Patrice material. Also, I was talking about Joe DeRosa was in here. If you guys are going to buy tickets to see DeRosa at Caroline's this weekend, they just set up uh, a code. The promo code is O and A. It's all lowercase. Letter O, A, N, D, letter A. O and A, and you can get uh, the tickets are eighteen bucks to see DeRosa, which is cheap already. This is a pre-sale. Yeah, uh, I don't think it's a, it's a Caroline's. Just a regular. Yeah. Okay. But if uh, it's just a Caroline's dot com, it's not a big deal. But uh, tickets are eighteen dollars. If you put in the promo code, it's ten bucks. So the promo code is O and A, all lowercase. Ten dollar tickets to see Joe DeRosa. It's at Caroline's dot com. Just make sure you put in the promo code, and uh, and you'll be able to see him. I also need to talk to you about Argentium. What? Yeah, that's right. What, are you asking what it is? I'll tell no, you. No, I'm saying like Ar- again. Argentium, you see, is Steven Singer's new super silver collection. That's right. Steven Singer's brand new collection of silver is made from Argentium, the king of all silver medals, this brand new collection. It starts at only $149, something even I could afford. Argentium is more pure than sterling silver. It's brighter than platinum, white gold, and sterling. You know this already. It's low maintenance. It's tarnish resistance. It's good for the environment. It's everything that you've ever wanted in a silver, all in one affordable piece. You got to get it. Uh, go to IHateStevenSinger.com right now. You don't even have to get off your couch, you fat piece of shit. Just go to the website and get it. Uh, the new collection of super silver. Have it shipped directly to your door for free, 365 days a year. Uh, visit him online now, IHateStevenSinger.com. On the phone now, 888-IHATE-STEVEN-SINGER. Or in person, on the other corner of 8th and Walnut in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. That's I Hate Steven Singer. Uh, we were talking about John Bones Jones. Yes. The video, Opie uh, hit it from one angle. The kick. He kicked Norton right in the shin. Uh, it's hilarious. Opie's uh, phone video is already up. Twitter, Opie Radio, he's got it up. You got to check it out. Later on today, Opie, I gave him the card. I was filming it. I got it from the other side. Uh, Opie's going to put it up on Opie Radio on YouTube, so make sure you check that out. Um, today's show was brought to you by... Today's show, of course, Eric, was brought to you by Trojan. Today's show it was five minutes long. It was brought <laughs> to you by Trojan Bearskin Condoms, Trojan, America's number one most trusted condom brand. And tomorrow, I know I had the big shout-out with Sterniolo on Friday. He invited me to be a part of the phone show. What? Don't He said, listen... I know you're upset about it. I know you don't like us giving away all this money. I know you can't figure out why anybody would ever listen to this show, and all those things are true. I know you'd want to keep plugging it, but we really have to go. But tomorrow, I'll be on the phone show on Raw Dog Sirius XM 99 at, I think, 1 p.m. So uh, check it out, and remember, we're going to have a new Patrice special. Not the 16 hours you heard over the weekend. Five more hours tomorrow morning, starting at 6 a.m. right here. Stay tuned. Ron and Fez are next. Uh. Opie and Anthony show is now over For real this time Check out the ONA show on Facebook At facebook.com slash Opie and Anthony And catch Opie and Anthony live Monday through Friday From 6 to 10 a.m. Eastern Fun and Fez are next Hey, hey.